a new guy. Did you know we're the Phantom Thieves? Ryuji! And we're here. Hello. We oh, did it. Shit. Here. Hey, a new guy. Did you know what the I know what you're all wondering. <laughs> Zero, thank you for the reset. Oh. Much appreciate, much appreciate. Was that this, what? You're probably all wondering. No, this is not have a tarp. This is. What is this? You're probably all wondering. How come the last episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Darps hasn't went on to YouTube yet? Anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh! <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, that's, that's mostly because I've been busy. I've been, I've been messing with, with, uh, with, with, with new house things. Uh, here's proof. I have it on my phone. Here's, here's my house. It's, it's, oh, here's my, here's my room. Poor. There's Actually, there's my there's my room. There's the dog. His, his name is Scooter. Um, and then I turn around and there's my here's my new room. I don't have a door there yet, but there's my bed. It's a door big. in there. Uh, I got a cab. I got a little cabinet. And then oh, what is what's that? Oh, it got zoomed out some more. Oh, geez. And then we walk in here and it's completely not done yet. Woo! 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 Yeah, baby. We got it. Not done yet. Woo! Oh. Woo! But I do oh, have the cur- I do have the curtains up though. So that's going to be that's going to be fun. And uh, I'm going to hopefully get everything moved in there tomorrow. And, and this might be the last time I stream from from this place where I'm at right now. So we'll have to, we'll have to see. Tico. <clears throat> What's up? What about it? What about that thing? That chair? Oh, it's still here. <laughs> OK. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I was getting, I, I, I didn't know what you were talking about. So I was like, I was like trying to get my, my dog video up. It has dogs in it. <laughs> like it has dogs. Look, look at dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good, good dogs. Dogs. <clears throat> look at the dogs. Uh, but yeah, as Will was saying, uh, we don't have, we don't, we, we're not doing Avatar today. Um, we're doing, we're doing uh, some Yu-Gi-Oh. Maybe you heard of it. Um, uh, what's the G Fuel of the day, you ask? I yes, I did. That's still not a thing. So, like, did did Monster Hunter have two different G fuels, or did only have the one? Because the one that we have right now sucks. Is it playing the fucking intro right now? Yeah, yeah. Is that what we're all... okay? All right. The G fuel of the day today, just in case you were wondering, is actually this bottled G fuel that I got for free. Whenever I ha- I ordered I whenever I ordered the uh the jingle juice. Uh where's the jingle juice at? Jingle juice! It's um, 6 p.m. It's not even a day anymore. Oh, jingle, juice. I'll jingle your juice. Jingle juice. Okay, what? Where's where's my jingle? Hold on, I gotta find my jingle juice. I gotta find it. It's, it's... No no, we're not gonna just keep going past that. Hold Emerald, on. what did you just say? <laughs> I'll jingle your Here juice. Is. Here it is. is that legal? I ordered I ordered my jingle juice. Who knows? I also ordered uh my hydration. Black, my hydration uh, uh, shiny splash and my hydration divine peach. When I ordered these, they gave me this this heckin' bottle of of G Fuel like 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 freaking freaking stuff for free, and it's it's real. It's, wow. it's, it's it's I don't like it actually. Um, so you know, it's, there's one thing wow. I, I I wanted to bring up. I wanted to bring up. They gave it to me for free, which is very nice of them. Um, but it's it's uh, some kind of a pina colada <laughs> coconutty flavor, and I don't like it. Mm. Oh. So whatever this flavor is, I, I would not recommend it. Um, like but it was still very. I mean, if you like it, then then this is probably you, this. Is pro- I'll send it to you, Will. Um, <laughs> I'll send this. I'll send this exact one to you. Uh, it got a little spittle on it. Um, 
but uh but it's 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 pretty it's pretty nice that they gave it to me for free though so they've been giving me a couple of freebies lately every time i order so that's, that's pretty neato uh last time they gave me some some little tetris flavor packets uh so that was pretty fun but uh this what? one's bebot mix apparently um and uh yeah that's the g fuel of the day uh i hope everybody how 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 this is good thank you uh, for asking uh, to do, for us to do that, uh, it is you know something we do every single week, and we have done since uh, the beginning of time. This is when I wish I had a soundboard to just put the audience clap. <laughs> well, we'll get on that for the next time. We need a soundboard for real. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Nar. That is not a clap. <laughs> Nar. Nar. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, that's uh, all I'm not playing League of Legends, you're penis. not going to set me with... Oh, there we go. Penis, penis. Oh, there you go. There Finally, I'm going to recognize. Clap. Clap. Penis, back here. penis, 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 penis. Yeah? What are you doing, Eric? It's Wednesday. Nar! How are you? Uh, er... What are you doing, Ella? Uh, 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 er... Oh, that's a squeaky. Wow. That's How lovely. many are these? <laughs> That's Aaron. Anywho, uh, <laughs> the girl was bred. <laughs> but, Is uh, this what you've been doing? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, there we go. We have. No. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of the G Fuel of the day. We're done with that now. Okay, good. So. <laughs> It's now penis Wednesday. So even though I, I don't have, so even though I, even though I don't like this G fuel, uh, I do have a drink. I have, I have, uh, I have what's left of my of my orange juice that I got from McDonald's. It's pretty okay. They I didn't give me my it. holiday cakes, my little holiday pie thing that I ordered. Will they didn't give them to me? What? They, they didn't give them to me. Fuckers! They didn't give me that, and they didn't give me my burger. How the fuck did they not give you your burger? I don't know. What? I, I I got I got these. I got these instead. <laughs> Sell your new food. They gave, me a, they, gonna... they gave me a twenty. They gave me a twenty piece of nuggets. We're now assigning foods based on vibes. We're no longer selling food. So I fuck? I I I messaged them already. I I already messaged them. Be like, hey, um, you didn't. You gave me my drink, and that was pretty cool of you. But you missed my burgie. Uh, and they gave me my fries too. They gave me the fries and everything. They just give me, give me my freaking burgie. But I do have orange juice and it's pretty good. Mm. I hope you can keep the nuggets and the burger and the pie. Oh, I'm I'm keeping. You freaking believe I'm keeping it? Whenever like I don't know how I don't know how you guys are. Whenever whenever you guys have to like talk to uh, stores or anything like that. Like let's say they get your order wrong or let's say they do something like that. And let's say that you're, let's say you're, you're, you're going to be an Allen about it. Right. And you're not going to, and you're not going to, you're not going to want to, you know, you know, bring up a big deal. It's like, oh, you know, yeah, they just got the wrong size or it's always the other. No, I am literally every time I order something and they do even the slightest bit of thing wrong. I'm just like, I need compensation for this. You fucked up. I gave you money and you didn't give me my fucking burgie. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> fine. for no pickles. I it's literally, fun. I, I literally, I literally, uh, whenever I told them about it, I used the automated service and they were like, uh, okay, here, we'll give you a refund. How is $2? I'm like, the fucking meal was 12, bitch. So I sent another thing <laughs> and I'm just like, and, and I, and it was, it's one of the direct message things. I'm like, Hey motherfucker, I'm not accepting $2 back. <laughs> Give me my twelve fucking dollars back. So uh yeah, that's I'm 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 usually not I don't I don't I don't uh I have no mercy when it comes to shit like that. <laughs> Anytime my friends ever have like any problems with that as well, I'm seriously just like, give me the phone. <laughs> give it to me. I'll do it. I'll get it. I'll get your money back. <laughs> so we now know who is in the pickle line. You a Karen? <laughs> listen, listen, if it's something like pickles, I'll just pick them off. I'll just pick the damn pickles off. If it's like I asked for no pickles, that's not that's not a thing. If I don't get my food, I'm not giving them money. <laughs> that's the yeah. thing. If I get something wrong, or if I don't get my food, I'm not paying the extra money. <laughs> it, it's okay, I'm Satsu. I'm okay with the pickles. You don't have to no! kill them over. It. <laughs>
<laughs> but if you know, if, but if that does make me a Karen, then I guess I have to be a Karen. Although I will say, uh, I never, I never, uh, I never consented for you calling me. A Karen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah. my god! Oh. Yeah, what Amber. Did I do? Yeah, Fuck very. <laughs> Yeah, Varric, I, I know for this joke. I'm always on to put boy Varric. You know, Varric didn't consent to being called a villain. You're not allowed to use that. <laughs> you can't do that. But I made it! No, it's, it's, no, you can't. Sorry. <laughs> that works, I'm sorry. We draw, we draw a line. We draw a line. We draw a line at standing for Varric. Okay, fine. I'll leave then. <laughs> oh. Be Emerald. Leaving. Emerald. 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 So guys, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I did. I, I enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh. Do you guys like it? Here we go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, ahead, go again. I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh Legacy of the Duelist. I was I using the story. I was doing the upgraded version. The Link one. He was doing the story decks. And... Every time I face jaded fucking Yuki, <laughs> I want to claw my eyes out. Because <laughs> when I play jaded, it's not that Yuki, ugly. It's fine. Whenever I play <laughs> jaded Yuki, I never have the fusion materials, and if I do, I never have polymerization. I face a computer playing Jade and Yuki. They get out fusion gate, summon two fusions. That's game. Yeah, pretty much. It, it it's a feeling of not being the main character. Like this is how it feels to face the main character. Speaking of the just, like, speaking of the fusion, okay. we got a we got a thunder giant Kirby here. It is mine. And I definitely got that from the first time I saw it. No one did. <laughs> Who wants to tell us what happened last time? It's a good question. Well, no, you want to fight to death for this one. <laughs> Nah, I'm I'm gonna be real. It, it's not being uploaded to YouTube, so I can't check. Okay, all right, I'll oh make the goodness. valiant effort. <laughs> oh my god! I'll make the valiant effort. I'm back. Will Welcome it change? Back, will it change any of your uh, minds on doing the recap if I say that today's the daily double? I was already <laughs> gonna do it. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know why you're increasing it after I said yes. This feels like bad economics. <laughs> You got this, Fomo. I'll jump in for any bits I remember. The Daily okay. Devil! Fomo, I know you're hesitant, but you got this. <laughs> I literally haven't said anything. You, you guys are just this. saying shit. I believe in you. Okay. All right. Now that we've got that out of the way. <laughs> uh, Break a leg. <laughs> so last time, in Five Dives Return of the Chronicles, music came on. Yeah, I'm using your favorite, your favorite playlist. Oh, thank you. I don't know which one it is, but it's, I appreciate it. It's the chill Metro music. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. We're good now. <laughs> so last time in Five Dark's Rise of the Chronicles of the Jedi, the trilogy, uh, the gang once again split the fuck up because we cannot stay still for like five <laughs> seconds and just do the thing that we were going to do. We kind of have a little bit of an ADHD going on. So in no particular order, uh, Riku and Piper went to their rooms to clean up and make sure everything's good before, you know, uh, they, the, the fucking wars begin and the law the snubs existing in the satellite, whatever fucking inch of it existed before. Uh, and then they do the little they're gonna do and they get distracted looking for a rat. For some reason, I don't know why uh, you guys the, started looking for that rat. <laughs> the rat has taken an entire room hostage, and we found a sawed-off fucking dual disc with a regulator in it that we have not looked at. Uh, it, we all we're not sure if the rat has learned how to duel like in, in fucking GX or if it's a different thing. I think we'll never know. Meanwhile, in Otto's beautiful perfectly stable apartment he wanted to say hello to his uh, to his uncle and his new mom or <laughs> his mom and his uncle's mommy 
and they they want to catch up and also be like, yo, the world's going to fucking, it's not gonna end. That, that already happened. And she's like, yeah, I know. And it's like, well, the world's not gonna end, but we're going to, you know, we have to move shit around. And Hextrude mentions that she's starting to get some memory back. Well, Trudy is getting some memory of Hextrude, if you're, if you're caught up with that. Um, if, as well as that can be explained, she doesn't have everything, but she's getting some idea of how some things are happening. And also, by while we're talking about that, the fucking evil something question, a chattel duel is happening somewhere, and it's accidentally pulling people towards it, which is the reason this conversation came up. The reason why, I mean, I, I mean, Otto kind of just used the power of his soul for a little bit, in which they mentioned that, you know, the Yerlinger magic runs within. The Yerlinger magics. You know, they got, when they were blessed, they were blessed, like, with some, like, with fucking Sleeping Beauty with, like, two talents, and one of them is, uh, protecting some god cards that they passed down, and the second one was fucking, like, porn stars, so, you know, <laughs> I... <laughs> And, yeah, the other, and, and the other one is punching up out of our league. <laughs> yeah, baby, they left the bat. <laughs> call them, call them Christopher and Woody the Pooh's baseball flash game because they never let down. <laughs> and it's like I'm pretty sure your uncle's gonna be fine with the longer magic of his, but we'll, we'll, we'll catch up with you. And you can go to that shadow game or not. Your friends may have figured it out already. You know, do your thing. Uh, while we're while they're talking about that conversation, uh, Priska discovers she's a lesbian, or more likely, she very very slowly discovers she's a lesbian in a crawl because Priska is is a lesbian, and the problem with that is that she is also Priska, which means that she she needs to really first of all convince herself that she's not gaslighting herself about it. So he talks with Susie uh -huh. about 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 doing that, and it's like, what do I do now? I'm I I don't know. I've never. I mean, I've always liked girls before, but I've never liked girls before. And she's like, Priska, get your shit together. If you wanna be gay, you gotta be gay. All right. If you gotta go, you gotta go. And she's like, you know what? I'll take that to heart. One plus one lesbianism get. <laughs> uh, we all we all reconvene. We're all like, well, this is what's happening right now. We're trying to be like, all right, this is what's gonna happen when we go fucking to the area tomorrow and try to not die to you know a potential fucking raid that we're doing on a different gang because that that always goes well. I think that's never gone bad with no consequences. Uh, we all also take some moment to call Priska gay. Uh, Piper decides to <laughs> Piper decides to spend some moment uh, doing another kind of therapy, which is demon therapy. For some reason, it it is unclear, but it's also some inconspicuous weird shit happens, which is actually not that weird compared to everything that's happened. They just talk about the past and the future, etc. And also uh, that we might, I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a thing from always, we could always die tomorrow, but we could also especially die tomorrow. And and, and just kind of like, listen, if you if you get in trouble. Oh yeah, fucking goddamn it, the video's playing off. Whenever I look at these things, by the way, here's a behind the scenes thing. I have a screen with a still shot of where we were in the game, so I know what happened in what moment. I, I'm basically spitballing here. <laughs> and... I accidentally played it, so I just heard Lindo's voice, and I'm like, what's going on? Where am I? <laughs> anyway, we all go, yeah, we're ready, and then before we are like, yeah, we're ready, Otto fucking transforms into a being <laughs> of shadow, and the rest of us change clothes, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Uh, I'll add that We're all happy that Otto transformed into a being of shadow. <laughs> uh, I'll add that unfortunately we did actually learn about the giant rat in the dual disc. The giant rat had nothing to do with it. Oh yeah, it belonged to, to some mysterious man named Nate who will never know. <laughs> yeah, but um, um, currently Gear is looking into that dual disc rather than us taking it out and, you know, doing stuff with it and handing it to Street. So we might learn about that person. Why the fuck do you two have a eidetic memory of Nate's appearance for 15 <laughs> seconds of the entire stream? I remember the important things. Also, we gaslighted straight into talking to his friends again because he was still uncertain about that. And he felt really weird because, you know, um, 
Tex Truth made those friends. He didn't make those friends. And it's weird that everyone knows him, but it's not him. And we're like, you know, they're still here for you. And it was like, I'll get to it slowly. But, you know, for the longest time, the only person I could relate to was you, Otto. And Otto was like, yeah, tr that's true. I'm the normal one. And then Street was like, nah, that's bullshit. You ain't the normal one. <laughs> and yeah. Good job, guys. Everybody. Also, um, Silo dropped her cards and we were telling her to, you know, stop doing that. Yeah, stop Sano fucking does not stop respect disrespecting cards. your cards. Every card wants to be played, Sano. Uh, but yes, thank exactly. you guys very much for, for your uh, your thoughts on the on the last time. I'm glad we got the recap out of the way. Uh, also, thank you, Artie Verse, for the raid earlier. Thank you very, very much. Hey, y'all. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Uh, we are welcome here, we are here for the for the Lindo Bully stream, obviously. Um, with a bully stream. <laughs> Listen, every stream's a bully stream. I'm ready, Lindo. You're gay. <laughs> I mean, apparently with my design, I am. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, that fade can go either way. Oh, look no. at look, look at that fade. You're so you're not my other design. You're it's it's not that you're gay. You're a Genshin Impact character. These may also be synonyms. That's you also know, true. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he is a Genshin character. Oh no. <laughs> I'm I'm not a Genshin Impact character, and if I was, I'll be a five star, so don't even bother rolling for me. I I got yeah. I got a when the very first day that I played Genshin, I got uh I got I was it Mona? Is that the the one that that I got yeah. the first my first stream of Genshin whenever I first started playing? Uh yeah. that was pretty fun. <laughs> Mona's yeah, cute. cute. I, I like Mona. Mona was what I, I like Mona primarily because it's the only good one I got before I realized that I should stop playing Genshin. Otherwise, I will uh, give them all of my money because uh, I have an addictive yeah. personality. <laughs> I remember true. you would try to figure out how to give your money on stream. Shout out to your <laughs> Yay, Mona! No one's gonna get that. <laughs> no, we Never get it. Yes. Yeah, it's... Yeah. We get it. But yeah. Mona the vampire. You guys are all making your way out of here. You guys are going to head off uh, and attempt to do the the different uh, sections of your guys' uh, your guys's thing. Uh, currently, uh, the squad that is going on foot is going to end up being Riku, uh, Susie, and Priska. <laughs> you guys are going to get dropped off at some point to where you guys can mm -hmm. go into the base on foot. Uh, definitely won't be dangerous or anything. Um, mm -hmm. both uh, Street and Otto are going to be driving getaway. They're going to be trying their best to get away with the cargo that, uh, that they're going to be taking. Definitely nothing will wrong will happen there. Um, and obviously protecting uh, the two getaway drivers. We have the other getaway driver who's going to make people get away from them. Uh, Piper is going to be uh, going ahead yeah, and uh, trying to do their thing. See, so. I tried to make a deck at first, and I realized that if I just took a knife and tied it to my hook and just threw it at something, it might work a little bit better under some circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you all very, very much. Let's go ahead, and because you gave the most of it, I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna give you some things. Obviously, you're gonna, you're gonna want to use. I'm gonna give you uh, a trick. Here you go. Hell yeah. You're gonna yeah, get, you're dude. Gonna uh, you're, you're welcome for, for not having the eidetic memory of, of Nate's entire backstory. <laughs> you know yeah, what? That's right. true. I'm taking I, a trick away. <laughs> Listen, I did not give Nate's entire backstory, but I can. <laughs> but I can. <laughs> Technically, we already did an Akira slide. <laughs> you don't know Nate like I do. <laughs> Oh, and also before we before we do start, uh, I don't have the thing that uh, that Artie had whenever I um, uh, went and uh, went over to their stream uh, and they pressed a button on their thing to like link back over here. But you guys should go over to to Artieverse. They are oh, yeah. a very very nice uh, VTuber. They they do some streams with Lindo. I had linked them already yeah. before over on the Discord. If you guys want to scroll up a little bit in the schedule chat. But also, I think you can just kind of go there by like clicking on them right there. They're right there. They're they're, they're, yeah. they're, 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 they're click. right there. Or, yeah. Over there. You can also do a shout out, Blue. I don't know how to do that. Slot. I'll do it for you. I think. <laughs> do that for me. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Linda on the job. Linda on the scene. I don't know how to do anything like that. I'm I'm a dumb. I'm a bit. I've been doing uh, this. I've been doing this okay. this this longer than you. But I I don't know anything. <laughs> well, yeah, you're like I know I need to press stream. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> I have I, I have Emerald and... change on my info for me before I. 
and I do it without <laughs> fail. Yeah, you fucking do. You even you did do. it today. I didn't expect you to get it done today, but you did it, and it was great. Why would Emerald I do such it? a good boy? Emerald is Emerald's such a good such boy. A good boy. You know I am what, a good Emerald, boy. You know what, Emerald? Yeah. I'm gonna give you another trick. Thank yes. you. I love tricks. Uh, go, God, man. have I struggled using them? <laughs> <They're mechanic. laughs> well, you better get ready for them today. And I'm playing anyway. So, oh, um... <laughs> that means I'm canceled. <laughs> Good. I mean, your thunder giant does look like a sheep. <laughs> yeah. Bah. Do with anything. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, man? With all that being said. Let's go ahead and get into all of this. Thank you guys very much for uh, giving the recap. And with all that, you guys, the three, the three, uh, du uh, the three dual runners, take off out of the Brotherhood base, uh, which definitely doesn't have anything weird behind the bee. Don't even think about it. It's, it's just it's just a regular everyday bee. Um, yeah, dude. As you guys will make your way onto the map over here. Ah, da, da, da. Um, currently, you'll be leaving your main base here. I would like to know, mm -hmm. as you guys are making your way out, you guys do know mm -hmm. that apparently the rare hunters are aiding you guys right now. Mm -hmm. I think you guys keep on hitting uh, freaking uh, Canis rare hunter L plus ratio plus no maidens over here, and that's why you guys keep on falling over. I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> okay, he deserves it. <laughs> but yes, I would like to know, as you guys come out from over here, you guys know that apparently there is going to be some fighting going on with the rare hunters and the harbormen. I want to know where you guys are going to be dropping off uh, your three, your three, uh, your three charges here, because you guys are still somewhat making sure this is a stealth mission. Uh, mm -hmm. So I want to know where you guys think would be the best place to drop them off, where they won't uh, be spotted nearly as as much. The front door. No, uh, <laughs> they'll never see us coming if we knock. So uh, knowing uh, that the fighting is likely going to be up yeah, in this so area. This area is basically a no-go. Mm -hmm. And knowing that uh, the front door is like right here. Wait, Phantom, what are you talking about? What, what was it over here? <laughs> Phantom said something sussy in the chat. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Phantom, are you so, being sussy? So like if I'm remembering right, Deco, the, the front door is like here. Yeah, I'm pretty sus. <laughs> yeah, <she is>. Hello. <laughs> uh, the front door is Hello. here. It's right there. Yep, okay. That is the gate yeah, you guys could, went in last time. We could probably go here, I would say. But then so, it's a bit of a walk. No, I'm not gonna let you guys here. I'm not gonna give you guys any hints, but you guys do know mm -hmm. uh you guys do know every all the information you need as far as gang violence and things of that nature. We've we've mm -hmm. had a crash course in gang violence before. Yeah. Uh so it is all up to you guys what you guys want to do with the information you guys have gained I throughout the entirety of the campaign. <laughs> I so, think because we're doing stealth, we have to be ready for a pretty long walk, no matter what we do. That's okay, true. so from what we know, this area, and I'm going to go ahead and grab a little marker here. Oh, I finally this remember what you're talking about, Phantom. <laughs> area over here was contested uh, territory yeah. between the crawlers and the hovermen. Mm -hmm. We have no idea this is still going on. So, mm -hmm. that, that was but always like... I assume that it's going a little bit on. Yeah. The Would only you... thing we know that's going on there currently would be crawlers and um and rare hunters. No, sorry, harbormen and rare hunters currently because which is they're what makes us. which yeah. makes the most sense. But the the thing that's always got me about this area is it's the harbormen and the and the crawlers over here fighting, mm -hmm. but it's not but it's not this area that's like the, the most contested. The don't, that's yeah, weird. Probably because the harbormen don't which know, is... but the crawl base is there, or all, all the hovermen live in that area. If you guys or do remember, really uh, smelly if you guys do remember, and again, because you just mentioned it, I will say it out loud. Uh, the uh, the crawler base, its entire compound is a very guarded secret. So <laughs> yeah. you know, it's if they were to know. if they were to do it around here, if there was a lot of crawler activity around here, it would probably kind of suss it out where they're where they're, where they're yeah. Going. So like anywhere here is gonna be basically safe. We could try and ride underground because that's a there is an eight circuit pathway. underneath yeah, yeah but you know yeah it's a regular pathway that people are aware of in air quotes but the issue with that is we make noise but it wouldn't be suspicious noise if that makes sense hmm. and again you can yeah. take your dual runners wherever you guys want to i'm wanting to know where you yeah. guys are going to drop off your walking people 
without yeah. letting them know mm -hmm. that there are people around. Like, because yeah. this is again, this, this is a stealth mission for those guys, the walkie, the walkie yeah. peeps. Drop us off at school. We need to do. I, I think because okay, so we first we need to start by saying, do we want to go up or down? Because I know for a fact we have upper walkways and we have down walkways. Yeah. Uh, the biggest problem with up walkways is the height. We can't exactly airdrop. It's gonna, yeah. <laughs> we can't just not with that Prisca attitude. <laughs> not with that attitude. Have we you can't. seen Prisca? Listen, listen, have we? Don't you remember what Officer Venture dropped from He Survived? <laughs> <laughs> it was a 50 50 chance, though. Prisca. Technically, Prisca's bones are like broken, but she's also very light, and with light weight, the velocity can't get. Like, you ever see a mouse or rat drop off a building and just keep running? Look at all those crawlers. No. <laughs> That's not going to happen to Prisca, but I'd like to dream. So like... They're going to take the attention up here more than likely because it's just. But you also don't the... you also don't know if there's any crawler activity today because you know that yeah, things have been basically. still somewhat uh, somewhat calm recently. Mm -hmm. Things have been pretty calm, so the crawlers are probably uh, shoring up their numbers and strengthening their shit inside their. Either base. way, yeah. if they're looking, mm -hmm. if they're maybe if they're looking out for something, it's probably gonna be looking in this direction because this is where mm -hmm. they usually have to do stuff. So. Mm -hmm. And one thing to keep in mind, with the harbor men, like, very much down in numbers, there's not going to be as much open conflict. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much... Unless the harbor men are really arrogant, they're probably going to try and avoid the conflict more than before. Mm -hmm. Why aren't these locked down? I'm locking these down. What well, I mean, cool? aside from arrogance, we're not really looking for like yeah. that area. We're looking more for where would they be yeah. least likely to see you coming. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I think like down in this area is probably the least the docks, likely. That's probably gonna be there. I thought that this was their dock, their main docks. Yeah. That is their main dock. Uh, all yeah. of this down here is docks, docks, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they? So like for the harbormen, do they assume that they just own this whole area down here? Do you they got, just assume? You guys don't know. Yeah. You guys haven't really. No. Here's the thing. You guys know the wall that the harbormen have are, are these lines here. Mm -hmm. You guys have not talked to the harbormen about where they, where, where the the extent yeah. of their actual influence is. Because again, so, if you guys no want to know, way. these lines are just the wall. This is just the yeah. wall that surrounds their compound. You don't know if they have. It's like other a big things. junk wall that they built, basically. Yep. 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 Uh, if you guys want to go the 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 the, the gamble route, there is a gigantic fuck off hole right here. That is, true. is that a fuck gigantic off fuck off, right off hole? That is a gigantic yeah. fuck off hole right there. So in yeah, Fury, yeah. if you could find its pathway through the underground and on here, you would have to skip this wall entirely. Yeah, but they yeah. probably have that shit guarded, right? Maybe. I mean, who mm -hmm. knows, man? They might so have that shit guarded, is... but yeah. If they if yeah. they are low on numbers. They are completely rowdy at the moment, and their leader is not around. What says is they're going to keep up every single bit of uh, that guarding that they're doing? You're telling me Rander Looker of the Hole is really doing his job right now? You guys, guys really also know. You guys also know that the one calling the shots right now is Mars, and Mars's yeah. entire thing right now is wanting to make this work. So, <laughs> so knowing her, she would probably make sure that there are at least some ways, multiple ways in. At the moment that nobody else is going to notice. Okay, so when it comes to the sewer, like if we were to go from the, the underground, sewer, the underground, yeah. <laughs> How much do we know about crawlers in the underground? Uh, you know that the crawlers mostly stay out of the underground. Yeah. Uh, the crawlers usually uh, don't go anywhere near the underground because the crawlers. You guys don't really really know this right now but you guys know that uh that I'll, I'll say that riku would know this more than the others mm. uh the crawlers are actually very superstitious against the rare hunters yeah they actually <laughs> they actually stay away from them quite a lot uh which is something you guys have not found out yet but riku would know <laughs> this is the only time this is really again, it's... again riku refers I... to them as a cult so <laughs> 
I, it's it's you been you. so great that this has not came up. You guys have only <laughs> ever saw the crawlers as a big threat. You guys have never thought of the harbormen until now or the rare hunters as a threat, but all three of them have their big problems. And one of the big yeah. things with the rare hunters is the crawlers won't do shit to them. The crawlers are like, mm-mm. And now you guys know why, because the Demons. crawlers because the crawlers know magic exists. So they don't want to get don't want to fuck with the rare hunters who they think are completely magical. <laughs> like nah, we're nah, no, we're good. The rare hunters for those guys in cloaks that we fought that like work with Zara the Mint. <laughs> Can you imagine like the fucking like I guess like fucking Airstats boss and Neo Domino like no you guys are not fucking the people here are fucking insane this fucking rare hunters do it shit no don't fucking do that Magi Magi brings up that. a really fun point Magi brings up a really fun point and it's something that I brought up last game as well them uh, Magi brings up the Harbormen have been more like neutral I do want to remind everyone literally the first <laughs> time you guys interacted with the Harbormen you got decked and double battled. <laughs> it is true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't friendly. Only until recently the crawlers have actually become a bigger problem than the hovermen yeah. were for those fucking five minutes. Honestly, the the rare hunters have done the least amount of shit. That's it. <laughs> uh, you guys could have definitely had the rare hunters as a as an as a enemy, but the literally the first thing Otto did was go, "Hey, I can help." <laughs> Hello, so it's me. Hello, I'm Otto. Hello, I'm Otto. <laughs> Hi, I'm Otto. I am good boy, and I would like cool cards, please. Look at my puffy cheeks and fire attitude. I'm five foot five and I'm here. Wee! <laughs> As Otto's just like, I'm here. Jet's like, hold on. I think that's your longer magic. No, I think you're just gay, but still. He is a precious boy. We should listen to him. Imagine Another point gets brought up by Magi. Magi's like, didn't Riku break a Harbourman's arm? That wasn't a Harbourman. That wasn't a crawler. That was a guy. That was just but a that dude. Guy's <laughs> There's a high chance that random guy's in the crawlers now with all going on. <laughs> it's evil backstory. So I'm going to tell you this right now. If anyone in the satellite wanted like something out of this, it's just like this dude who got his arm broken, his car's stolen. He's like, I want to leave. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, he like, he just got way. sent from Neo Domino. My, my, like... fear, my fear her real bad. <laughs> my fear her real bad. <laughs> he goes to Neo Domino, Priska's mom. I want to sue Riku. <laughs> Didn't you also steal his necklace that you then broke? Yep. <laughs> that, that was a different guy, actually. Oh that yeah, was that was the same guy. No, yeah, same you guess, guy. It's the, um, it's the it same like little yeah. little thing he had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've done it twice. I don't have a token for the new necklace though. <laughs> but I'll yeah, do one later. Uh, Dang. But yeah, on um, subject we, though. Yeah. Oh, that's we a lot. That's a lot wordier than the average one. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think oh, yeah, that's a good one. Would be um, a good approach because you know. There we go, Ben. We do lower holes. I will say the only problem with go with going into the one there, uh, with the with the big hole area there, it does it, uh, it does have the thing of you guys don't know where that is. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to get there from the underground, you don't actually know where in the underground that is. However, if you could find it, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. And you guys want to want to have a fun adventure where we just don't see you for the next four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do we have money since the last card game stream? Because we might be able to bribe Phantom Dealer into helping us. <laughs> I mean, that's. I think it'd be really funny if we won this approach and we all just like entertain some random guys for free hours and we come back and you guys are just fucking lost. <laughs> You're in crash down somehow. We're like, how the fuck did you get the crash down? Phantom Dealer's pretty much omnipresent, so I think Phantom Dealer can give us a little guide. Also, how stealthy do we need to be? Because we could just knock on the door and say Mars sent us. You guys know, first off, mm -hmm. uh, you guys know yeah. that the, uh, the Hardman do not like you guys right now. Mm -hmm. The Hardman don't like anybody right now. Uh, yeah. But especially, you know, they don't like uh, people who, that th who they think have uh, wronged them. Um, Man, and we currently, give them gold. And currently, uh, the biggest thing I can give you guys as a, as a, um, as like a, a thing here, um, you guys are wanting to run away with the mm -hmm. things after you guys hitch them up to your bikes. You don't know exactly where they are or what they're doing. The big plan is to, once you guys secure everything, 
to literally have you got uh, the the ones on the bikes roll in as quick as they can and roll out like you guys are mm. setting the, the the on foot team are setting things up for the um, uh, for the bike team yeah. to get there and go like mm -hmm. so until then you want to be as stealthy as possible yeah mm -hmm. so we could try underground we could try going to this side and swimming across uh but i expect them to be like you know more fencing um like someone keeping an eye out uh, uh where was the spiritual area that we bring up sometimes and like talk to this one that would be the red dot right here yeah yes and this, that this area, area around is here. an area that we were kind of thinking of what do you mean? Thinking of in what way? Like, um, we were thinking around here, I think, but like, if we go around that area, that area shouldn't be too bad. You guys don't know if anyone, uh, would be around there. This place is usually very, uh, very lightly, uh, have anything happen to it. The last time you guys were there, though, was whenever you guys were running away from the crawler base. Now that you guys know mm -hmm. the crawler base is super close to this, you don't know how much surveillance they might have there. At the same True. time, though, you're not the the crawlers aren't your enemies today, even though they are. Yeah. They're kind of they're kind of probably still sore at you, but you know, <laughs> a little bit. We only <laughs> broke into their house, stole something they had, nearly um, burned down something. <laughs> took a traitor with us. Found out their secret base. Found out that they are way more financially supported than anyone should know about. Really? literally broke someone's arm we metaphorically broke their arm while you guys are still contemplating things again just kind of just kind of think on think mm -hmm. on things you guys have learned throughout this uh, stuff you guys are basically uh, at a position where i think you guys can make some decisions but uh one thing i will say people are bringing up like the spiritual necklace thingy that you do have um, uh that's something that basically we know what it does it refills uh one of your uh, yeah. one of your abilities yada yada it's pretty it's pretty fine to have um we don't know where those came from yet uh just so chat yeah. knows um, uh, we don't know what we don't know anything about those yet uh but you guys yeah. have seen those necklaces literally if you guys look at any in any of the random ass people uh like for example just zoom in on the crawler base there you'll actually note that m uh most of the random uh guy images they have those that same kind of necklace on them like that little diamondy mm -hmm. necklace uh, oh, that wasn't no. something that Lindo had asked me to do or anything. It's just something he put on there, and I, yeah, I decided I to make it into a thing. Uh, but yes, if you look at each of the each of the 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 regular male characters, they all have that for some oh. reason. So who knows where they came from? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we don't mind, and this is just putting it out there, because honestly, I have no idea yeah. what this does or where it's going to do. If you don't mind also being like corresponded with me for a thousand years, I guess I still have this gigantic fucking plate circle around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> so if oh, you yeah, guys want to take that, that, I don't know yeah. if it'll help you or if it'll explode with when it's out of my neck, killing me instantly, like that one ring in that one game with Emerald. If you uh, were to I, take the, if you were to take the Millennium, uh, the Millennium Ring, um, you don't know if it'll work with other people. Most likely, who knows? Uh, but um, no, uh, it would. Ring, if we try to take it, it'll be in Piper's stocking like the next day. You do know that uh, that it is supposed to show you what what you're looking for. So if you gave that to one of them and then and then they went underground, they might be able to find uh, how to get out from there. Maybe. Do you guys want to take the chance of being correspondent for a thousand years? We could be besties. I could make you necklaces. Uh, you know what? You know what? Hey, yeah. Piper. I. Uh huh. Do you think we could borrow that? Um, like this. I'm just gonna pull down on the fucking gigantic fucking gangster necklace. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it might be useful for us. You guys will be able to drive away but we're gonna be a lot more vulnerable i mean i'm not following what was that i'm not following i do you need it for something it looks like it's magical in some way <laughs> I, I do <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is. I'm not there. I'm on the different bike. <laughs> <laughs> You're walking away. 
I mean, I guess it. I, I think it's relatively magical. Yes. Sure, man. You just here you go. Don't throw it into the sea. I think it might be evil. Oh wait, it's evil. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's evil, but, you know, I don't know if that part was actually reality or if, 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 if you know, if I was, if Tamer was just making the blood thing up to scare me. So, you know, take it with a great assault. Triska's going to look at it and do a vibe check. You vibe check the ring. It vibe checks you back. <laughs> <laughs> they say when you vibe check the boy. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but no, it, for real, do I feel anything when I grab it? Uh, as you go and grab it, uh, is it still on your neck, Piper? Uh, if she hasn't taken it off, then yeah, it's still on my neck. Uh, as you go to grab it, uh, you don't really feel anything. In fact, as you grab it, uh, you don't really want it. Oh, what was I thinking? Let's go of it. No, <laughs> okay. It's probably magical grabs it. I don't know though. Let's go. <laughs> just just take, take it. Yeah. Right, take it. <laughs> Essentially, take that's it. how you're feeling. Yeah. <laughs> just pushing it to you. It's like, God, just take it. Maybe that was just me being yourself, just, but it feels like the ring doesn't want me to want it. Uh, who knows, man? Who knows, dude? And I think Piper just forced it upon me out of the neck. Uh, did, you, did, you take, did you take it off, Piper? Yeah, I take it off. Uh, you take it off. Um, you um, uh, you have it in your hand, Prisca. Yeah, yeah. You can you could probably use this, maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't do it, man. I need to work on my indecisiveness. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a problem. Yeah, I've been told that at school. All right, let's go. What? <laughs> anyway, As you have now <laughs> been handed that over. I will say, uh, Prisca. Um, you saying that it looks vaguely magical and you having it in your possession, uh, I... You don't really know what it does at that point. <laughs> oh, I know that. Prisca <laughs> just a, Like, here's... Here's Prisca's mindset right now. Uh -huh. Okay, magic exists. We have magical stuff. That thing looks cursed. Therefore, it probably has an ability that. Prisca, why don't you just ask me what it does? Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> like, you, can type in the... you know what it does? I'm on a different bike. I can't tell anything. <laughs> I mean, I, I can kind of guess. Last time we got lost, it helped us find where we were trying to go to our apartment thing, so. Oh, you were also that's told a lot more uh, than what I was thinking. You're also told that it apparently is something that helps you find what you're looking for. That is true. That might have been a sales pitch. I'm not super sure. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. That that changes everything. Wow. Holy crap. OK, you're going to you're going to take it now. All right. They, 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 yeah, th this is going to be really helpful. I, I thought it was going to be like magic. No, don't, now don't say it out loud. You have to take it silently because if you say it too loud, it's going to backfire. And then we're going to find you like <laughs> five miles into Neo Domino. And we're going to be like, where did you go? And you're going to not respond to us because you're in Neo Domino now. All right. I need you to take it silently and with no further commentation. All right. Is that a movie trope or is I'm that... just, it's just common sense. Just take it. Uh, okay. All right, you yeah, have a uh, magic blast or if I, I thought it was I thought it was going to be like an evil spirit that could like tell us where to go. Like, I don't know. I Maybe it's it even be, British. A British. I don't think this plan is going well. <laughs> You, got you know, I'm starting to think, why did we spend this whole time doing that? Why are we all planning it now? I feel like we failed at planning stuff <laughs> in this whole thing. <laughs> Hey man, I can't do anything without you guys. Without you, you guys got to. I'm asking guys. Street. <laughs> oh, you're talking to Street now. Okay, I, yeah. I didn't know we had changed. We had changed vehicles. My bad. My bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, what was that? What was that, Riku? Any suggestions on how we should get in? <laughs> uh, I was gonna ask you if this if this thing had any uh, any quirks I should know about as far as uh, driving it around. <laughs> 
Um, it drives perfectly. If you scratch it, I will punch your face. Okay. All right. Cool. I understood. Um, I probably mm-hmm. could take you. I'm just saying. But you know, either way. Uh, <laughs> in a fight, right? We both know that's not in a fight. In a fight, right? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in a well, fight, right? Well, uh, d- depending on how we go about things, I would say that one of their weakest areas is most likely going to be around the actual perimeter of their wall, since we know that Mars is going to be sending them off after whatever's going to be happening with the rare hunters. Uh, mm-hmm. We might be able to slip in in any sort of defenses that might be there, either uh, one of the entrances over toward the seas or something. We could even attempt to slide in the front door but well you never know um mm. if it wasn't for the fact that Prisca and uh, Susie are there I'm not entirely sure um anything about Susie's uh way of going about things but I know that Prisca I think that she might die if she fell out of bed let alone trying to jump down from the top of the wall um, yeah so I'd say maybe around or just go right through if you walk in like you have business, maybe they won't even notice. That's true, but right now they're not really looking at us favorably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Man, if we would have thought about it beforehand, we might have been able to use that to our advantage. Mm. They said that they're... we've only thought about it just recently. Mm. They said that they were waiting for their things back. We could have brought those with us and tried to barter at the front gates. Hindsight right. being 2020, I guess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> In my defense, I never saw the things. Yeah, we have those downstairs. I like the fact that we're all like simultaneously going, what the fuck did we not plan this? <laughs> Why did we not do any planning b- between games? Why are we this bad at <laughs> I'm just sitting here like that. That was my first. Bunch of cocky twenty-somethings whose first thought when going to the fucking shadow realm was just to be whatever was near us until we got one. So you know. Here's okay. the thing. Here's the thing. We did do play on our decks. <laughs> <laughs> All this time, we're ready to fight, but we didn't think about anything else. <laughs> to be Maybe fair, I didn't have to get... think about anything. Thumbs up. <laughs> Maybe we should get half the regulators and say we have business. Uh, we could try going back. Yeah, right now, the only thing we were rushing for is all because right. we knew that there right, was right. things going on. Uh, we could go back, though, if, if you want to flag them down. It just might take more time yeah no we don't have that time the only other options i can think of is either going underground going through the ocean or finding a gap in the gates and uh, swim bitch i mean i can swim but i'm not sure how the others are again it's his it's probably pretty strong waves for prisca um i'm not sure about you and Susie. uh what do you guys think hmm I'm not sure. Then the other part is like... Do you think I would just punch one of the sides of the gates? Uh, probably not normally, but if you if you had that ability you had, like, back in the spirit world, maybe. Yeah, it sucks that I'm a good person now, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh it makes you feel any uh, better. I'm, 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 glad, I'm glad that you've repented for that. Thanks, Street. Thanks, Street. <laughs> I Probably. really needed someone to say that to me. He's like crying. <laughs> Magic, I thank you for the $60. Uh, Street could, to- could totally take Riku. Hell, he'd be able to take Tank and Otto at the same time. Anyway, here's a prestige to help him. Hell yeah. <laughs> we do In love a fight, right? Riku. In a fight, In a fight right? Since that, is another, uh, since that is another prestige and I'm being a nice guy. Uh, and then I saw this and maybe I won't be as nice anymore because you guys haven't gotten rid of this. Uh, I'll give each of you a guy as token. There you go. I'll be nice about it this time. But you know, right. you should get rid of the, you should get rid of the evil face. No, please. <laughs> don't you like the egg? I don't. I don't at all. I I don't. The boy is complete. I don't like it. Happened to the turn his feet. Expelled this. I want to take it back. <laughs> Okay, that's good, okay. that's good. There you go. I don't want to take it back. SP has returned. <laughs> oh, so that's the A single tear removed. It's now less sad. 
Uh, Otto, <laughs> is there anything you want to go over while you're on while you're on your bike? I barely know <laughs> Susie. <laughs> I don't know what I would ask her about. I, I can just. I think I'm starting to feel something. I think I'm starting to feel the darkness welling within me. Are you sure? No, I might just be cold. I mean, we're going. We're on a bike, and my mids are showing all the time. Ah, I see. You know, so you can talk to your dark bike and tell it, oh, my, my friend's kind of cold. Maybe you should give her dark powers and cover her in skin tight freaking biker armor or whatever. Well, bike, you heard her. Go ahead and try. She really wants it, I guess. I'm ready for it. Let's go. You're really bad at this. Yeah. Uh, do I hear this? <laughs> <laughs> you, we're, we've gone on the assumption that you guys can't hear anything on the other bikes currently. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, Otto, if you don't have anything in particular to go over, we don't have to go over anything there. Um, yeah, it's just, just a fun little <laughs> ride. Bottoms <laughs> only, baby. We haven't, uh, I will say, we haven't decided mm -hmm. at this point. Um, now that you guys have, uh, now that a couple of you potentially have the starts of plans, you guys want to maybe uh flag the other bikes down and like stop a little bit out and talk this over <laughs> what are no. you saying that miscommunication isn't the way to best do our problems <laughs> it'd be really funny <laughs> it, it'd be really funny just like piper what happened to your ring did it get stolen Oh no, I gave it a piper. What's that dark cloud over the underground? Hey Riku, should we fly the others down and see what they think? <laughs> yeah, probably. Hey guys! <laughs> what? Wave, 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 wave. Wave, wave. I, I probably, uh, are, is the bike stopped or am I hearing, hey guy? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna assume that uh, Riku and uh, and Street have flagged you guys down uh, as they fall what, off the bike. fall off? Um, and uh, as as you guys slow going to the next corner uh, from where you guys were making your way there, uh, Riku and Street, Riku, you uh, you see the others have started to slow down. You see that Priska currently is holding on to that uh, golden necklace that Piper usually has. Uh, uh, you do see I that, want it uh, though? Yeah, you, you're fine with it. Okay. That was just okay. me. When it was on when, when it was on Piper, you didn't really seem to want it, but like now it's fine. Well, you know, it's, it's not I, even I, like you want it. It's just you know, it's there. It's neat. It's whatever. Uh, yeah, before I was just being indecisive. Yeah, yeah, you obviously, know, obviously. Obviously. yeah, obviously. Uh, okay, um, everyone. Mm -hmm. We didn't think about this part of the plan, did we? <laughs> not at all. <laughs> we just kind of set up our dual. This and we we thought about the end game. We didn't think about the beginning. To be fair, we solved basically every single problem we've had so far with the problems for friendship. So you know, I don't I don't know what to tell you. I don't you. think the power of friendship works in stealth. I played. I don't think game. so. No, I'm just telling you. I'm just giving you the justification. I'm not trying to say anything else. Oh, no, I agree. I agree. I agree. I apologize if I come off as hostile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you will be forgiven. I. I have no excuse. Usually I'm better than this. I apologize. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're a team. We work on I... our failures together. Um, Otto, is there anything you would like to say? I am sorry that I didn't think about anything. I was far more distracted by the fact that my bike gave me a cool outfit. And that's just like me trying to figure out, okay, how is this going to work when I get off? Is it going to stay? It, I, it was very distracting. I'm sorry. No, no, it's completely fine. Your defense is a really good outfit. Everyone looks great on their bikes. Yeah. Thank um, you. So the planning section. We're uh, planning with just, like, winning with straight swagger. <laughs> swagger usually helps. So planning. Um, yeah. So our options are, we could go back, get all the regulators, go to the base so we have business. The second mm -hmm. option find a way in and i can't think of that many uh, one involves swimming one involves looking i was thinking of using a cursed object through the underground <laughs> uh, one involves jumping off you know the wall they have but you know uh, we don't want to injure prisca thank you oh, and then our third option is fuck stealth let's just do what we normally do i, I do not want to fuck stealth i uh i do think stealth is good but 
dealing's also good. To mm, be you. fair, we should also mention the fact that this is probably going to be used against us later. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the big the issue. Reason yeah. I wasn't really thinking of the regulators because if we mm. go, hey, we have a business deal, then that's us and, in a way yeah. admitting we stole it, even though we didn't steal it. Are yeah, but gonna... we're going to be stealing from them anyway. So we're just and then we're going to have to fight them probably. Yeah, probably at the tournament again. Yeah. Like, we're not going to have a good reputation the moment we free two extra people. At this yeah. point, we're digging our own graves in this, and we may as well keep going because, I mean, what's it really going to change? Yeah, it's our foolish burial. Gotcha. So, do we do we want to do this underground then? Drop That's the three of us off. Yeah. Uh, Sounds good. Gotcha. Um, right, and we know a good spot because we know the harbor men and we know the gang infested battle area. The eight circuit shouldn't that. be oh, a yeah, really strange place to, go the to get dropped. Oh. All yeah, right, I've, Susie. Yeah, I've lived here my whole life. I, I, I know these. I know these places. I love poles. Do you, right, you have no one that bleed? Hmm? Do, do you know how to get into the harbor base? Uh, I mean, I've never done that on the record. Okay, perfect. Okay, <laughs> then, the record. Well, you know what? We're gonna <laughs> trust your instinct. You're just going in a random direction. Yeah, just you know, just um, I'm looking yeah. around. You know, we can look around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let, let's okay. look around. You're just gonna lead us in a random location that yeah, just, just happens to probably be the base. Having a, having a good time, mm -hmm. just looking around. Yeah. That was yeah. Susie. You still know how to fight in air quotes. <laughs> Like, okay, do you still know how to kick people in the nuts? No, oh, no, definitely. Oh, you're talking okay, about playground rules. Fine. Playground oh, rules. Oh, I can do I playground meant, rules. I thought gotcha, you meant perfect. dueling. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, that, we could also we could also we could also duel in playground rules. I, I have to convince that. people to duel in playground rules. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Look, I don't you haven't dueled have... unless you've ever dueled playground rules. All right. I don't uh -huh. believe it's dueling. They don't know what playground rules is. Please explain it to them. Oh, okay. So, uh, well, back whenever you know we weren't like you know we were all we were all in the we were all in the orphanage and we were all having you know good times or whatever. These guys are like, oh, we have these these cool new things that we found. They're like these cards or whatever. And I'm like, oh, that mm -hmm. sounds pretty lame. Uh, and then they decided to make these decks with them because we started seeing on the on the TVs. We started seeing other people playing around with it because we got TVs then. It was pretty cool. We found them in the trash. Uh, and then they started doing things with them. I'm like, oh, that sounds that still sounds really boring. And then I started seeing uh, that there was a crash that was happening. And I'm like, whoa, crashes are pretty cool. Uh, why don't they just race around and see if they crash? That sounds like a much better idea. But uh, I guess it's a little a bit harmful to them. So I decided that instead of racing around because we didn't have any bikes at the time, we would just, you know, stand still and do, you know, like, uh, pretty analog back and forth with each other. And anytime we ever dealt life points to each other, we would punch each other and then we would punch each other in different places. Can I kick? Oh, it, de it depends. It, de it would depend on the amount of life points, obviously, you know, probably unless you were really mad at the other person. I could kick them in the shin. You probably could. So uh, we could try and convince playground rules, but I don't think that's going to be that helpful. Oh, if we're doing anything, I'm doing playground rules. You guys already reminded me of playground rules. We're going playground rules. You barely know how to duel. Well, that's why I'm going to go playground rules. I'm going to hope to knock them out before, you know, anything ever happens. All right. Yeah, that's true. You know about it, okay, playground rules it is. <laughs> <laughs> but how about I try to duel them first and then you could back me up with playground rules? I mean, I guess we could. That's easy. Yeah, true. Okay, underground it is. Uh, Susie knows the way. Um, I, I, do you guys I don't know the way. First? You don't know the way. We could, we could try. We could try looking around. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Let's look around. Just mind your own business. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. So why are we dropping off? <laughs> that is the question, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That is the question that started all of this, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That Where would true. you guys like to go uh, as far as uh, letting these guys off at? All right, so see, where'd be the closest place? Well, not the safest. Hmm. <laughs> I think the least weird place for a bike to stop would be at the 8th circuit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. 
We're in the eighth circuit. You see us? Oh, me? What? Hey, there you go. What? Oh, oh. I was gonna say, uh, either Piper or you, Susie. What about? Where in the eighth circuit would you suggest? Um, uh, uh, wherever. I mean, um, you see Susie just kind of like close her eyes for a second, like kind of like move her head back and forth. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, I'm probably just gonna be wandering around until I figure out where I'm at anyway. Like, nah. probably anywhere is fine. As long, I mean, the closer we go, the easier it'll be for us because we don't have to walk as far, I guess. Mm. I'm not really good at the thing, at the whole yeah. planning thing either. We, we all suck at it, we know. <laughs> so, how about we uh, get as close to the wall as we can, huh? Okay, sounds good to me. Uh, I mean, if we're wanting to make sure we don't get seen, probably, yeah, probably over at the 8-track. At the all right. Is we got something resembling a plan. Everybody good with that plan? Yeah. Yep. It's the only one we got. Sounds good to me. <laughs> the one plan we have, baby. You got Put a post-it note in all of our brains right now. Plan first, planning our dual strategies after. Okay, okay. Uh, so, an hour into the game, uh, I'd like to ask you guys... Good job. Good job. <laughs> plan or plan. I'm a plan, obviously. Uh, an hour into the game, I'd like to ask you guys, uh, are you wanting to go this way? Are you guys wanting to go this way? Or this way? <laughs> if you're wanting to go uh, down, you have to go to one of those three roads to get there. I think down Almost. allows us to be hidden by more buildings. Potentially. Hmm. I am I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything else. Yeah. This entire this entire excursion is you guys using the knowledge you guys have gotten through through being in Neo Domino this entire time. I just wanna make sure. Yeah. So uh, if we go around the big issue is recycling and cops, but um not, not just recycling cops. cops, but if anyone's looking for us, Priska's old like lab. Not everyone's caught up. If we and... go this way, mm -hmm. the high roads I think are over this side, so they won't, they won't be able to see us from above if they're there. Maybe. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. From this area, we probably don't want to get too close with the crawlers. Yeah. It's the crawlers for general be reasons. And straight along. I mean, the they're not snitch on us because I think that's not the bigger problem we have with the crawlers. But we we we'd be wasting time. Yeah. Um, so if we, you know what? Yeah, just go straight across. They'll hear us, but again, they'll just think eight road. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna go. We're gonna straight. go the uh, the the gym, uh, the way off to the to the left over there. Yeah. I'm I'm down for that. I will grab one of you. I'm gonna grab mm -hmm. this one. This is the one that's gonna be where you guys are at currently. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm just gonna I'm gonna make a tiny bike. Oh tiny shit! Bike. Make a tiny ass bike. What's this shit? We did. Ah! We made all the swagger rules, and yeah, we didn't come up with a cool operation name for this. This sucks. <laughs> no, we can we can name it operation. Just give it a second. Okay. All right. I'm waiting. Don't touch okay. the sides. Okay. You guys uh, will start making your way off this way. You guys want to uh, stick to the high roads, from what you guys have said. Mm -hmm. Uh, as you guys are making your way off in this direction, uh, do you guys want to name your operation what, before we get into whatever's going to happen this way? Uh, operation Snake Eater. Operation Snake Eater? Oh, Snake oh, Eater! I thought you said Sneak Eater, and I'm like... <laughs> operation <laughs> Sneak Eater! <laughs> Straight to the point, let's go! <laughs> operation Metal Gear. Oh, call Splinter Cell, Operation Sp Splinter Cell. <laughs> We're getting people out of the cell. Ooh, that is true. G Gate Crasher is pretty good. Gate yeah, Crasher is real good. Gate Crasher is pretty good. Um... Yeah, you guys aren't fighting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that ship that, uh, what was that ship that fucking stopped the Suez Canal? <laughs> Oh, Operation what's Evergreen. Evergreen. <laughs> Operation Evergreen. Let's go. <laughs> Let's stop the hub. Operation Evergreen. Did the second ship also close it recently? Operation Second Evergreen. <laughs> oh my god. Operation Operation Evergreen Two. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with Operation Evergreen. 
Okay. <laughs> really? Wait, let me go and ahead. It'll be the evergreen in the one universe with the monument uh, ARG, the one with the crab legs. All right, I'm gonna name. I'm in gonna this name the universe, bike. the bike is gonna be named Operation Evergreen. <laughs> I like when you're disappointed. Why are you disappointed? It was no, a pretty it's, funny it's, joke, I no, think. It's fine. It's good. You guys did it. It's, there you go. Thank you. Wait, did you have suggestions? We didn't listen. I did to not. You I did not have suggestions. That was not. That was. That is not what. That is not the tone you hear in my voice. Don't worry. <laughs> As you guys. Start making your way uh, mm -hmm. down in this direction, heading off uh, toward the um, uh, toward the the um, uh, connection that will take you guys down to the um, uh, to the eight uh, eight thing. Uh, I would like for you guys, uh, one of you, we'll say Otto. Otto, roll me a roll me a d twenty. It makes sense. We are technically going to be following uh, Susie's direction, so. I mean, not yet. Mm, not yet. Not roll, yet. We got a this. Uh, 13. 13. You guys will note, as you guys are keeping your way uh, on the high road of this place, you will note that as you are going through, there is a lack of uh, door runner noise in the city. As you guys are going through, the only door runners you guys are mostly hearing right now on this side of the city, at the very least, are your guys's. Upon making your way through, however, looking down into the area below, you do see that there is uh, quite a number, uh, quite quite the number of movement happening in the uh, in the um, uh, sections off to this place. You guys do know. Um, uh, actually, I don't think any of you guys would would know this beforehand. Huh? Shit. Uh, one thing that I talked to Anthony about back whenever we made his character. Uh, oh, amazing! Was that uh, <laughs> Anthony was actually super tied to this area. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, one of the things that uh, usually happens whenever people are fighting over the area here is they keep trying uh, is that both of the uh, both aggressors usually try to take over um, uh, Doc's clinic uh, as easy like um, uh, quicker than the other <laughs> because ah. Doc's clinic is an actual is an actual hospital um, <laughs> it is connected to an actual hospital you see uh, one of the only ones in the satellite that have literally anything there nothing is actual good grade in there like even the bandages i wouldn't call sterile um but it's better than nothing uh as you guys start making your way over you will see that uh you guys will see that there is a lot of movement happening down there there's not a lot of uh there's not a lot of activity as far as door runners happening so you do know that as you guys go over you will be heard going mm -hmm. off in this way you guys want to mm -hmm. still go this way uh, they probably already heard us at that point, maybe. Or yeah, uh, if you wanna. Yeah. I think at this point, what we yeah. wanna do is probably do a split here, because they already to... heard us. But if we can at least throw the trail a little bit, throw off the trail a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you can yeah, try to you can try to get off of the high road um, uh, around here if you'd like. Uh, you would either have to make your way into. Uh, the section where people are doing the fighting, mm -hmm. or you'd have to go off into the, um, uh, the lowest part of the city. It's it's yeah. it's not depicted there, but there are exits along the the high road. There are uh, there are exits like basically not every street, but like every few streets there are exits that would take you down. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, there would be no reason for the high road to exist. Yeah. yeah. Then I guess we go away from the fighting because we're probably going to be like, ah, you can, you, they already heard us to so keep on biking heard, there. Yeah. But if they think it's just one of us, they aren't going to pay as much attention. Yeah, uh, if they think it's a turbo deal going on. You want to role play a turbo deal? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. You want to role play a turbo duel actually. between four people? <laughs> it's a turbo turbo duel. I mean, they won't be able to see us if they look up. That's probably they true. just hear us. That's probably yeah. true. Oh man, only if we had the sector bite to give fake sirens. <laughs> oh, so hey, just get... woo, yeah, woo. dude. <laughs> it's just straight going wee woo, really fucking loud. Yeah, yeah. I, so I, I, I would need, I would need to know. Do you guys mm. want to get off of the high road, or you guys want to keep going and pretend you're turbo dueling? <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna fake a turbo duel from up here if they can't see you, but <laughs> uh, we just make sure one of our holograms is flying up. I mean, <laughs> I think I think the 
the simple solution is here. If they hear less bikes, they're gonna pay less attention. Yeah, that's true. So if we throw yeah. our scent off here, we will, they'll <laughs> notice that we're here, but they're only gonna be keeping track of like maybe like a single yeah. bike. Okay, mm -hmm. one of us can go off road on onto this track, and then we'll meet up again. Right? Who's Sounds veering off track? So uh, I'll probably veer off track. I'm done with that. <laughs> Tiny bike. No, all we need to do is have another bike drive into Crash Town, and that way we'll have a true experience. <laughs> there we go. New tiny bike split off from Operation Evergreen, gonna make their way off and go into this area. It was ever given, by the way. We got ever given. My bad, my bad. Yeah, well, I, I already evergreen. typed evergreen. Well, evergreen so you're, so was evergreen now. <laughs> okay, so we got Evergreen, and now Operation Split Off Evergreen. <laughs> well, Evergreen was the thing printed on the side of the boat, so excuse me. <laughs> I think we're having a Mandela effect thing going on, brother. What? No, it didn't say it. Hold on. <laughs> you know what? Because we don't, anyway. have the, we don't have that tiny bike, I'm going to make another tiny bike. Yeah. <laughs> it's such fun. There we go. Now we have three tiny bikes. No, no, it is. So these two tiny bikes are staying on the on the high road. Mm -hmm. So these two tiny bikes are going to continue going. It evergreen on the side of the boat. <laughs> and this Sorry. time, this tiny bike's going to make... Yeah. No, it's fine. And this tiny bike's going to make their way over that way. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. going to go ahead and... And this little uh, farm wants them all. Uh, yeah, we'll see how things how things kind of kind of get going there. Uh, da, 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 da. I'll make this one... Yellow for so since we're splitting off, we can call this Operation Valor Bill. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, technically, oh, Operation Valor Bill is also on the book, it's not both, but it's like <laughs> small text. As you guys are going off in different directions, we're going to stick with the ones that are going past, uh, past the clinic. Mm -hmm. uh, as we are going to be going past there, you will note those of you who have remained on the high road, you guys are not the only ones on said high road. As you guys continue forward, you guys do see that there are a couple of scouts who are up on the top of the, uh, the section up here who seem to be keeping watch over the hospital that is down below them. Uh, you see that they have uh, two large binoculars uh, as they are looking down. They do appear to be uh, harbormen, from what you can tell. As they're going by, is there anything you guys would like to do uh, before you are before you are immediately spotted by these two harbormen? Because they're gonna hear you. There's there's no way they're not at this point. Hey, meow! It was stupid before. Role play a duel. Play. <laughs> it's you and me, Otto. You want to role play? Yes no. Or no? <laughs> I mean. One of us could just surrender an actual duel. So you want an actual duel and then we just randomly surrender? Yeah. <laughs> okay, done deal. Let's fucking go. <laughs> as you guys are going to second decision. As you guys are gonna turn on your turn on your uh, your duel runners, go ahead and uh, set forth a, a duel. Uh, the first thing that will happen um that i'm gonna have you guys roll for some for some rolls here uh the first thing that'll happen is you guys are gonna get a warning because you guys are over the over the weight limit uh for for th uh for duels without sidecars uh which is going against safety protocol however you can you can x your way through it so, like you can so here <laughs> Can I say a funny thing? Yeah. I think only Otto gets that. I think Piper's fine because of Prisca. <laughs> <laughs> you, that, oh my god. That would be correct. That would be correct. <laughs> you know what? Prisca. Yeah. I will let you have a roll for that. Oh if you succeed god. this roll, I will not have you and Piper roll for what I'm about to have auto roll for. Uh oh my god. Okay. So Prisca, roll me. Roll me. I'm for, roll me for your uh for your resilience. Do you not weigh? <laughs> Light as a feather. 15 goes down to 11. Roll me again, because typical officer gave you another, gave you a uh, fleeting. Roll me two That's more where times. where we are right now. 
Six, this is a good roll. We're getting good. 17, okay. lowest is six. I was looking for the lowest. Uh, lowest was six, minus your four. That is a two. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with, yes, Prisca does not trigger the safety warning on <laughs> Piper's bike. <laughs> so I will not uh, have Piper roll for this. Otto, I will need you to go ahead and roll me for your, uh, uh, for your finesse to try to get through all of the uh all of the triggering dialogue on your bike to start this duel before the others <laughs> notice that you guys were there one sec i was gonna say you could use some of the fleeing not fleeing uh, inspo you know you're right let's see here there we go oh and then some tokens <laughs> yeah God, don't take his eye take the leg fine fuck the There's leg a system. There's a system? <laughs> there, God. I didn't know that that's what you meant, so there we go. I'll yeah. roll it three times. Go ahead. Because your finesse is good anyway. Yeah, so first up is a 19. <laughs> yeah. Two more times. Like that's not 20. 20. Did you get that 20? And the final roll, so now. You don't get that 20, but Otto, you are able to uh, start pressing things uh, as much as you can. Uh, you uh, quickly exit out of the dialogue as the duel does start. Upon the duel starting, I would like for the two of you, and this is this is just to make it look, you know, Realistic. legit. I would like for the two of you to roll me either for your experience or for your uh, or for your uh, negotiation. I, I'm gone negotiation. I have a minus four on experience, like it's negotiation. All right, you it's guys time both for negotiation. Role playing. You guys are both. Oh wait, no, it wasn't. It wasn't experience and negotiation. It was demeanor or negotiation. My bad. My bad. Demeanor okay. Demeanor. Now that I can do. Because <laughs> both of those are your are your kind of how you how you go about things stats. I'll grab two of these and one of those. First roll. It's a twelve. Second roll. Is a 16, 17, 18, 19. I rolled a 20. Oh, one. <laughs> she rolled a 20. Ah, 20 out of 21, nice. The two of you. Piper has activated fret mode. <laughs> the two of you, as you start rushing forward, uh, Piper, you adjust, you draw your first hand and the entire thing in your brain is that you're just wanting things to to look as if they are uh, they're in the, in, in, they're, they're trying, you're trying to make it look like a duel is actually happening. So just, nonchalantly as you're going about things you do your first move as quickly as quickly as you can you could have just ended your turn or something but you're like no that's not that's not realistic enough you somehow get thriller killer out in your first turn <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> this is like the somehow <laughs> we're joking about this we're joking about this but last time we had a practice duel with piper she brought on dark Rum dragon so, <laughs> you somehow get your you show. somehow get thriller killer out in your first turn uh you, you have, have in your speed deck you have th you guys did not have enough enough time to ch decide which deck you're playing <laughs> <laughs> you guys had two you know? seconds you guys are i'm gonna say this you guys probably aren't even or, you, you guys are just trying just threw something in at this point um as thriller killer is out floating next to the next to this um uh, next to everything uh auto you make your way through and as soon as you see thriller killer you're like no I have this, and you just end your turn. <laughs> At which point it goes to Piper's turn, and this is the turn that they see. As they start going by, they see Thriller Killer rush in and do 3,000 damage immediately to Otto. As Otto, I need you, as you're losing 3,000 life points and have turned off all your safety protocols, I would like you to please roll me for finesse. <laughs> like how it is important to know that Piper, in a hard and dangerous situation, would throw Otto off the bridge. <laughs> Um, I'm just you gonna probably, take a, uh, Here's the thing, you didn't have to turn off your safety protocols. You probably think Otto's fine, but... <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm just gonna throw this in for safety. Uh, my last... Mm -hmm. in My last uh, inspo, let's see here. Uh, three is a... Yeah, not a good do. baseline. Not, 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 a, not a good baseline, you know? It's, it's, it's not a good baseline! <laughs> Roll me one more time. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um... 
monster tamer. <laughs> so um, I I guess uh, <laughs> it would be uh, really funny if you just fucking dropped I, into I guess, the sea and had to reroll on your character. I I guess Adrius is on her success ha activates. Uh, you're gonna use you're gonna uh, use you Adrius. Could just use the regular auto success. <laughs> no, you're right. I'll just use regular auto success. Fuck okay. it. With that being said. You are able to keep your keep yourself on on the bike. Uh, you see that uh, we'll, we'll say because of the auto success, we'll say that Susie like reaches over as well and tries to keep like your both of your arms on the we like on the on the freaking um, uh, the um, I can't the handles anyway <laughs> as, as both of you are like struggling to keep this straight you guys go by these two. Yeah, they fucking believe it. <laughs> they believe every second of that. They're like, oh, fuck that guy's fucked. <laughs> He's gonna die. That guy's cool. so, that guy's losing. <laughs> that guy's losing Monster hard. Tamer, uh, Actually, they Tamer and Serpent Knight ever are just like what the fuck? They, they, they probably think it's like two pro duels dueling <laughs> from from the way that they look. As you guys are just going by and this happens, uh, you guys turn down the down the way, uh, and I'm I'm going to assume you guys stop the duel. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The way we mutually draw, so no, no one wins or loses. <laughs> well, oh, I was like, damn. <laughs> uh, as soon as Sorry I saw that, that, as soon as I saw the nat twenty, I'm like, all right, they're gonna believe you. But this situation is you were you were so convincing that I'm making this be a problem. <laughs> You know what? I'm glad. <laughs> Suffering from success, am I right, gang? <laughs> Sometimes nat 20s are great. Sometimes they're overkill. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to Riku. Riku. Hi, I'm Riku. Mm -hmm. As you're making your way uh, down into the uh, the lower section of the crawler, um, uh, the crawler territories, uh, a little bit away from where your own base would be, a little bit lower uh, on the grid there. You remember going through these areas whenever everybody was running away, except you were all off on the opposite side of the area before. Uh, as you mm -hmm. are going through this place, I will make note to you, you immediately feel like you're being watched. Oof. As you come into this place, Da -da -da -da. Let me switch over to a. Uh, let me switch over to a. Da -da -da -da. Where's it at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? We'll go with this one. No, that's 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 way too that's way too folky. Hold on. Why do I keep forgetting the horror experiences? There we go. As you start making your way through this area, you do start to realize as you turn a corner, you see what appears to be a drone flying overhead of you for those of San you San Francisco if you guys would have went this way the first time I would have had this uh, show itself almost immediately but now that you are using this area in a in a different light uh, the crawlers are still looking around this area you guys have only been gone you guys only ran away from them like a day or two ago <laughs> well this Maybe area is still not... being very this area is still being very patrolled by them. They're wanting you guys to leave so they can jump you. <laughs> you know, maybe it's not the drone we think of. It. Maybe that's the chicken nuggy drone. So as one of the drones go overhead, you immediately know that uh and again after after remembering the um uh the near miss that the others had gone through where they were literally crawlers patrolling every street down here. I would like to know, how do you, how are you wanting to get out of here without, uh, without uh, attracting much more attention? You know, someone has seen you at this point. Oof. Because I can't just go straight out. That doesn't work. Uh, You're decently sure that somebody has seen you. Somebody might stop you from going immediately out if you are doing so. Who knows though? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's... Shit. And Mega Man mm. has some great music, man. Yeah, do it, do. It really do. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Shit. You can just try music to make your, up way... your plan too. You can just try yeah. to make your way straight out by going straight down. Uh, or you you can start taking some other uh, some other courses around. You can turn around and try to go another way. That, that you'll lose a lot of time that way. Um, yeah, that's the issue. Uh, the only thing I can think of is like trying to get them to lose their sight on me, but it's a fucking drone. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, 
Yeah, I think the only reasonable thing to do is just carry on. Um, one second, actually, one second. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't have a trick, unfortunately. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Well, of course. Tricks yeah, are for kids. Uh, I have a pocket knife. <laughs> you do have a pocket knife. How how much like Kaiba do I believe that I am, and how good is my aim on the bike? You can attempt if you would like to to try to take out the drone. <laughs> yes, I think I'll do the anime thing of trying to. Oh take my out god! The drone. I will. I will warn you. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is something that uh, I'm gonna say would be between finesse or instinct. Um. I would be nice and I'd say finesse. <laughs> yeah. Finesse is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for I will have the drone right? also roll. That's fine. That's fine. Because <laughs> it would uh, see you going to attack it. And whoever yeah, is no, no, piloting no, no, said drone would, would try to take evasive action. Uh, I'll take. I'll take four of these four. Oh my god. Destroy the golden calf. See, this is this is why this is why prestiging NPCs is good. They can just decide to win sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'll add another one. Um, I remember you can only add three. Alright, I can only add three. Mm -hmm. Um see here's where the trick would be involved. But <laughs> no. Nah. Um also I'm gonna challenge the power power of Sasuke because the drone's probably in defense mode. Okay, oh no god. jutsu. Uh, I will I will also say yeah. I'm uh, kidding. You have you have six <laughs> fleetings. Yeah, but like I want that twice. I know. So, I'm just you know. letting you know. Yeah. Okay, is this I'll helping you? Away. Yeah. No. No. That's great. Thank you, everyone in chat who believes. Music to throw knives at a drone too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Cool. All right. Uh, this is, Whatever so any of these are gonna be, it's gonna be six. plus four. Okay. All right. Get rolling. Second roll. Okay, All right, nine. Then. Third row. What? Three. Three. I Four. swear, we go tonight, I brother. swear, if you don't get... Oh, ah, yeah. damn. Uh, <laughs> I also be like, I swear if everything's below eight. <laughs> so that was my fourth row, right? Yep, Fifth that was row. Your... Go ahead. Sixth row. Seventh row. Three more. Eighth <laughs> Look row. Look at you go. This is less than a statistics, bro. everyone. Yeah, the statistics are on my side. 15 free times. That's the... Doesn't that work? If it makes uh, you feel better, so getting a 15 free times is a very low statistical chance. So, in order to make this in any way potentially something that's going to happen, I'm putting three yeah. shadow tokens in this. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Because there was ten rolls just made against me, and I feel <laughs> like I wanna, I wanna try to. <laughs> My guy didn't even pop on a surprise. I press a knife back at you. <laughs> See, I'm about oh wait a, minute, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yeah. Interesting. You are correct. Yeah. I could use my surprise now. <laughs> you want to use a surprise now? You are correct. This drone is a pretty big surprise, isn't it? I'm going to use the surprise card and I'm going to double my roll. <laughs> this is some bullshit. <laughs> okay, we're playing this game, huh? We're Evil playing this laugh. game, huh? I mean, you still you still have uh, a 24. I have to beat, dude. <laughs> no, no, the spare yeah, music true, is playing. True. I don't like our chances. <laughs> First check. Let's go 20. Second check. I don't think there has ever been a funnier 20, I think, than the one time. Oh, 19. Okay, then the um, one time in Net Navi mm -hmm. where. Um, uh -huh. I, would like, I would like to use one of my hermits. Uh huh. <laughs> You're gonna make succeed. that a Nat one? Oh, yeah, critically fail, actually. Yeah, let's use this one. You wanna make that Nat one? Yep. I will say that that will counteract my my shadow tokens. I, that is a forced nat one. Hey. As soon as you throw that off, I, dude, I'm good. I'm good making you get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> like that is fine with me. <laughs> That's a win. That is a that That's is a win in my book. <laughs> that is a that is a super win in my book. You have three uh, hermits. Get cards. Don't worry. Look at all those, look at all those hermits. Yeah. <laughs>
And two lovers? You're full of pussy, dude. Holy shit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use it on the base if I need to seduce anyone. Hold on, let's go ahead and let's do let's do this. You did oh, it. Oh shit. <laughs> you did it. You oh, throw... uh, if we do it as my rules, can I use a card and stuff? My knife. <laughs> what card are you throwing at? It? What card are you throwing away? Uh, you can try. use Sasuke, dude. I can't use Sasuke. <laughs> you gotta turn trick up. Let's see. Can't believe it's peak gonna... anime rules. Can't believe you just told Sano not to throw their cards. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I'm throwing it at a drone. It's different. <laughs> I poop a fly. Uh, I'll use Shadow Slayer instead. <laughs> You're gonna throw Shadow Slayer? Every card wants to be played, man. Yeah, and I'm playing him really well. <laughs> <laughs> you toss a Shadow Slayer out and you pierce through the metal hull of the drone <laughs> with Shadow Slayer. <laughs> hey, it attacks directly. Yeah. It's at this point that you notice that shouldn't have happened, and then you feel a slight spiritual connection. Oh, that must have been a. Oh, that must have been a spirit. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> as you toss Shadow Slayer, it destroys the drone because <laughs> it does, I guess. Stri, <laughs> uh, I don't think I can do that again. But you know, I, you bet I don't even. I did that. How the fuck? <laughs> Rick, how the fuck? I'm going Sometimes to. Sometimes you just have to be really confident. I'm going to say that because you have done that, uh, you will get to the end of this area just as you see what appears to be a crawler coming out with like an oversized like freaking controller, and he's just like waving his fist at you, like, "Hey, that was fucking mine, you asshole! <laughs> how the fuck did you do that?" <laughs> You have ruined it. You have ruined his day. He, he, he's he's Fiverr. Fiverr just wanted just wanted to do good. <laughs> Riku just looks back, smiles. The Kaiba dub theme plays. That dude is just. I only just now convinced him to let me fly the drone. What am I Not supposed to tell problem. them? Tomorrow is my retirement. <laughs> what am I supposed to tell them? A car killed the drone. <laughs> As, as you just see a guy with chicken nuggies. All right, I'm back. Did you, uh, what happened to the drone? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that guy, he, he threw a card and it destroyed You know it. how much we spent on that drone? I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's going off of your paycheck. As you leave the man to get, to get yelled at by his superior crawler. Um, you, <laughs> what's, What's up, Will? 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 Uh-oh. People? Oh, dude, he just fucking got vanished. Uh, Will? Hello? Hello? Will? Hello? 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 Is stream still gone? Okay, yeah, stream was listening to yeah. me. Cool, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess it was a Discord hiccup because stream could still hear me. <laughs> Must have been. Oh. All right, so, uh, but yeah, Will, what'd you say? I said he wasn't mad. It was worse. He was disappointed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh. My father. <laughs> Riku, you get there. You get there uh, skidding into the into the area just as you see uh, the other two coming in uh, right after you. You you just, it's, it's, man. <laughs> Hey, guess what? Um, turns out the drones were out, but I took care of that. I threw a card and blew it up. I wish I could tell you he was kidding. What? <laughs> yeah. I was gonna do the pocket knife first, but then I was like, you know what? A card might be stronger. What? What? And it was. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay, man. I believe you. It, it happened. I... No, I decided I, that I can't believe it. We've been I, for wars. We've had. Oh my god. Are you, you okay? Card wants to be played, and you decide you want to play 52 pickup with just one card. Like, it wasn't It wasn't even like it got, got in the propeller or it got in like in a joint or something. It went through its hole. What card was it? I don't Shadow know. Slayer. Oh, Shadow Not Slayer. Not safely. <laughs> All that explains it. Yep, that, that explains mm. it. The That's drone not Drone was Slayer. In <laughs> it attacks directly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, See, it no one understands. 
sense. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. Mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. makes sense. Man, cards are cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. The three of the bikes, you guys get up off of them. You set down your uh your 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 three your three uh walkies, your three walksters, the the walkie walks of the group. Uh do, 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 do. all right, ready to go walkies. Yeah, I go walkies. <laughs> Come on, Piper. I want to go walkie. I want to go walkie. <laughs> All right, just fucking, just get the fuck out. God damn it! <laughs> Spinning around doesn't go out the door right away. Just, just kind of looks out. Do you want to go out or not? Just kind of. You're about to close the door. The Piper just, <laughs> Christian just runs out. My God. <laughs> Why are you a dog? <laughs> <laughs> As Susie, Priska, and uh, Riku, you guys get out, uh, get off the um, uh, off the bikes. Uh, Street will then take control of said Riku bike. Uh, as this happens, uh, the current plan, from what you guys have have uh, said to me at the very least, is that you guys are going to infiltrate, get things ready, and then call the other three uh, using uh, using gear to hopefully mm-hmm. get through to everyone. I want to know, until that call is made, people on the bikes, where are you going to be? Well, we just want this entire area as drone behavior. Maybe we only have one. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> to be fair, we're also trying to, 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 uh, I mean, at this point, are we, I, I'm, I'm even lost in this part. I'm, I'm assuming we're trying to, you know, at least wait until we run in and then we are, are all the ruckus. Yes, there will, there will definitely probably be a ruckus when you guys rush in. Yeah. You guys going to rush in quickly. You guys going to rush in quickly, attach the sidecars to two bikes and then rush out. Hopefully. So we want to be <clears throat> as close as we can, but also not in clear view. So if we can find the clear, the fastest path there without leaving too far is probably our safest path. Hmm. We're currently, you know, it's like, okay, so there's two things we can do. Right? I mean, there's, there's infinite things we can do. We could drop them into the sea. There's a thing we can do. Uh, we are currently in the 8th circuit, which is underground, and bikes normally are here, so we could just sit ducks, but really, that's up to us. It will take a little bit of time to get there from here, however, it is it is decently close. I'm only saying that in case they fuck up, because if they fuck yeah. up, they yeah. might need you guys to get there quicker, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The the only thing what I'm th- what I can think of is I don't know you'll need to be like really quiet. it could be closer to the wall but at that point yeah. it's like you know yeah these yeah. ominous bikes just chilling right next to our wall yeah. like normal people <laughs> like if you chill over there get ready to go in that's possible but also eight circuit like yeah okay here's the here's the thing if we stay in the eight circuit we're probably not gonna get we, yeah. we're, we're probably gonna be out of the way because it's like we, we were bikes and we went into the eight circuit that's not weird that's what yeah. the eight circuit does uh yeah. but then we're gonna take a longer time to get over to this yeah. area over here at the front gate we could it's move the... closer to it but then yeah. you know we yeah. would probably have to be either closer to this area which we know kind of more what's happening if we stay away from docks we'll probably be fine mm-hmm. Uh, or, I mean, we don't want to go down the ports. Yeah. What am I looking for? You guys continue your thing. I'm doing something else. (laughs) Is there another hiccup? Is Discord hiccuping again? What the hell, Discord? Yeah, but that's just a side of... Yeah. That, Discord hiccuped detail, again! Yeah. yeah, dude. Hello! Yeah, Discord's being weird for you. Discord Hello. hiccuped again. The stream was still going. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's I don't know just what's Discord. On. What do Why? we do if this breaks off? Do we go to Skype? I've been thinking about Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> 
we'll figure we'll figure something out um yeah. but yes uh did you guys say anything important while i was while i was flailing uh, not really <laughs> okay uh, let me know whenever you guys have an idea of where you guys want to wait my my thing right like if i role playing as piper I would want to stay in the eighth circuit. If you yeah. guys want to get closer, that's like up to you. But just, I mean, to make the situation simpler, that's where I would stand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm fine with that as Riku. He doesn't think we'll fuck up, and if we do, um, we'll buy enough time. <laughs> we yeah. got playground rules. Playground um, we rules. could, yeah. You would you could switch out um, Preska for someone who's more of a fighter, but then Preska would be one of the drivers. <laughs> that's the only. That's that's, that's the wrong. Uh, yeah. That's like yeah, a, 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 a double negative. Yeah, right there. It, yeah, I know. Uh, Fumble can let you know. Never let me drive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's the double negative. Where is it? And I think Prisca can talk her way out of any situation. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be oh. the positive. Um. So we just go. Yeah. We'll just yeah. Guns blazing. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Well, not guns, guns blazing, but you guys. No, stay no on the selfie. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's fine for you guys. Yeah. And then we come out of the circuit once we call yeah. ground and then do the front gate. Is this yeah. how we're gonna get in? Yeah, unless you guys are feeling anime enough and feel like you can jump the wall. I'm a horror protag, no, not an action protag, but I will do my best for you. <laughs> then yeah, I don't oh, know if Otto can do that. I don't know if I have enough I tricks in me to do that. Yeah, but that's all I was going to say. I have been um, watching a lot of LaShawn the Wick. We could probably do it. The <laughs> only other thing I could say is like, if you guys are able to drive underground and end up here, so you guys are instantly ready, but they'll be aware. That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, of. they're aware. It's fine. We'll, we'll think about it, I guess. Because what you guys could do is, while we're invading, you guys can turn off your bikes and just walk to that area. We could. Yeah. If we know where it is, I mean, we, I mean, again, yeah, from the, the underground, that's a hard issue. Yeah. And uh, the one single item that maybe has a chance to help us get there is oh, not, yeah. yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. And then the other I thing is, it, you guys I, can... I think it's maybe best to play it safe here. <laughs> yeah. And not yeah, just like right. get like the other part of the team lost. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. The other thing I could suggest is like. You guys continue role playing the world longest duel. <laughs> no, no, they think they all think that. I think they think everyone's dead. Yeah. It, you, you can do that, yeah. Or you can make it look like Emerald had a really good comeback. <laughs> yeah, it's just like he pulls out his own it's like the big comeback muscles. of the century. I have Jinzo yeah. on the field. Spitter Killer's nowhere is on my side of the field. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, you, what you could do is. Ride around in the eight circle, prep your field. Yeah, we and, can prep and, and our out. field and then go yeah. off. Yeah. That's a really stupid thing, but it's so funny. It might just work. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I think. Oh and God. then you guys just have to stall. Like, you guys just have to stall and make it look like one well, of you just doesn't know where the eight circuit is. So we're so, so just... street going to be during all that. And then street will be ready on the ground in case we will be fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a random guy who came to look. <laughs> you know, you know, I just realized we should have brought our pro duelist. <laughs> no, it's fine. She's there as backup at the base. It's you're fine. right, you're right. We should you have just sit here. Up. I think that's the simplest yeah, option. Here is the safest option. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> also, I mean, look, you, look at what yeah. Phantom did over here. Yeah, we yeah. were just talking ah. about it. It looks great. Yeah. It's Christmas. It's it super cute. Great. And Otto's hair is still down, and I love it. No. You're perfect. no longer five up the hair, or <laughs> Riku's higher now. I love the idea <laughs> that it took magic to get whatever the fuck gel you put in your hair in <laughs> Neo Domino out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like no, so no, whatever right. company did that to you like they they no, no, really no. meant permanent no 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 it, i have it i have what happened to him all the electric electrical shocks that went through him in prison forced his hair to stand on end ah, and then the whenever and then whenever it got fixed <laughs> and then the magic happened yeah yeah okay okay I think and if you gave like a general description of each character, I think no one would ever figure out that it was fucking Otto who went to jail. 
Yeah. <laughs> like if you didn't describe the like just personality wise, if you just described Otto to someone, they'd be like, no, that guy's never been to jail. Like, all of them, like all of them, they'd be like, oh, Piper's too obvious. Prisca probably accidentally did crime. Riku's also obvious. Uh you know what? It, a good boy. It's probably Prisca because it's funny, and then they didn't even think of Otto as a crime. <laughs> no one thinks of Otto as a criminal because he's not a criminal. Hello, he's I'm not. a crime lad. I'm crime lad. I was horribly traumatized in prison. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it shows that the prison system works. <laughs> oh, damn. I was horribly traumatized. O oddly in enough, Otto, you are you are a you are a shining example that that the that the system works and they're gonna keep doing it. <laughs> look how yeah. look how well you came out. I went in, came out worse. I've been traumatized just because I'm not a. And you're not doing crime, right? I am still doing crime, fucker. What do you mean? Don't Frankly, he's doing him. worse crime. I'm don't doing worse him. crime. Don't tell him, you're not supposed to tell people you're doing crime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing crimes because I'm forced to do them in this horrible situation that I was thrown into because police didn't want to throw me back on the right side of the wall. <laughs> Imagine if they just let you be a Neo Domino instead, it's, yeah, and then Riku just died as soon as. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas! Or Hanukkah, Christmas. if you celebrate it, or Kwanzaa. All right, I'm going to assume or then Christmas. that the three of you are yeah, going to be waiting at the at the exit of the uh, of the area here. Yeah. <laughs> the other three are going to be going down into the underground. As you guys do. There are two things that I would like to say. One is, this is the most nonchalant, like literally easiest thing I'm ever gonna have any of you do. You walk mm -hmm. in a direction, and thanks to Susie, kind of maybe knowing where to go because maybe they've been down here. Uh, you guys probably won't get lost. But you know why else you guys won't get lost? You have the fucking Millennium Ring. <laughs> yeah. No, so no, I'm not see, gonna, um, there's not going to be any there's not going to be any 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 you guys being in the underground maybe you guys get lost maybe something else happens maybe Priska's mind wanders to want something else uh no it's you guys you guys are going to get where you're wanting to go <laughs> no, no, you see um it's actually because uh one of her exes was a harborman and so she you know would sneak in at night you know I was like that Priska was right for the wrong reasons <laughs> If it was, I will say, the reason I had Susie here is because Susie did know how to get here. However, Susie yeah. was still gonna have to do rolls. <laughs> because a lot of a lot of things would have changed since the time Susie had came here. But the fact that you guys do have the Millennium fucking ring with you, there is literally no way for this to fail. <laughs> I think it's so funny that we're doing we have this part of a thing now because we found out a I, fucking yard sale. I made sure I made sure before the the assault on the harborman happened that you guys would have several ways to go about it. One of those ways was the Millennium Ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a yard sale. Don't Another worry about way it. was you guys finding all of the uh all of the uh the things that were stolen. Cause that was the first thing that crossed my mind is they're probably just gonna take them back and that's how they get in <laughs> that was also on my mind i just forgot about wanting to do that oh that's why i had to bring it up today because I, I didn't even I, I didn't think that any of you even thought about it i thought about it at one point but then the thought <laughs> left my mind i know that i did think about i don't it. regret it Peace was never an option. as you guys begin to make your way through the underground you do find that as you go further and further on there are more showings of uh lived in areas going this way looking off into the random grottos that usually would have the uh, uh that would usually have the cards or the uh lockers or the um uh, uh vaults that you guys have been used to going throughout the undergrounds here that would usually have those you would find that instead of those there are doors and other things set up down here almost as if there's an a uh, several apartment areas down here as you guys do begin to make your way through, you do find that there are some doors that are closed. 
uh, but most of them seem to be thrown open uh, and potentially having people left in either a rush or a hurry. You guys probably assume at that point that it is because of the attack on Harriman territory by the rare hunters. As you guys continue going down, you do find uh, Riku as you would mm -hmm. make your way through. You do find what appears to be uh, a, uh, a section that would go off where you look back to Susie and they kind of rub their hand on one of the doors for a second and, and then just keep walking. It was joked just a minute ago, but yes, the reason Susie knows how to get here is because they had somebody around. I know around. her well enough at this point <laughs> to understand how she is, Nico. She's very simple. You look back at R Riku, you look back, and there's just a smirk from Susie, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know I'm not impressed, right? This is normal. <laughs> and so just What's like, oh, you're just jealous. <laughs> just no. what? Oh, the uh, other exit. I wouldn't call them an ex. In fact, Prisca, okay, if you are looking, in fact, Prisca, if you are looking to try to explore different things, <laughs> I would, I would mm -hmm. highly recommend them. Are you a lesbian salesman? <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, I, I, explain. If you Get that notebook. All right. Well, you see here, this. But as soon as they start trying to explain Riku, you're like, we have a timer. We're on a. We, we're on a clock. You can explain later. Heck, you oh. could even do it later in the base. I don't care. Let's go. She's taken, Riku. Yeah, <laughs> do you really think she believes that? I do. Yeah, sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, if a threesome came your way, you wouldn't reject it. Riku, I believe that you are just, uh, Pushing your own thoughts onto those around you. You told me what threesome was. <laughs> <laughs> As okay, this is getting a bit too saucy for me. Let's go. You see Susie just start making their way up the uh, the ramp leading up to what you guys can see is a little bit of light. Upon getting here, however, you guys do hear that there is sound coming from above you. Potentium, uh, you hear the sounds of machinery going and different things of that nature going up here. You haven't heard similar sounds like this and anywhere except for over at the recycling areas. You guys do know that before you guys were shown, uh, you guys were not allowed to come this far into the uh, into the Haruman base. As you guys, the three of you kind of like bring your heads up and over the section that uh, would lead to the underground, you guys see off in one of the areas just away from you, what appears to be a large, almost like humongous mound of recyclables. And then you remember, and you guys had assumed this was magic before, but you do remember a couple of days ago that people were talking about a lot of the recyclables having gone missing from over at the, uh, over at the recycling area. Huh. You oh, see, nasty boys. You see a humongous area, uh, like, like, uh, thing of recyclables, and you actually see them all parked outside of what you can assume is a, um, a similar plant for either refurbishing, going through, or disposing of different materials. You find that there is an entire recycling plant here. It's not as many as the ones that are obviously in the, in the, mm -hmm. um, uh, the area of town over here, but you do see that there is quite a number of uh, of things over there, and you see that it is currently being manned. There are a couple of people still in the base over in that direction. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Hmm. Because they're at the harbor, there are recyclables that be obtained through the water rather than yeah. So true. Oh uh, yeah, they're, they pulled still some of them. They're supposed to have some kind of a submarine or something, right? Mm -hmm. I thought that was just a rumor. This wall now. No, it's legit. Oh. At least, this... at least they're keeping the waters as clean as they could get here in the satellite. I mean, I'm gonna be fair. She's gonna like point over toward the large mound of trash. That doesn't look like it was wet. Yeah, it's probably stolen from the recycling plant at that point. I saw a wish for it. Well, Strange they wish. They go to Neo Domino, don't they? They they could just steal from there. <laughs> It's they don't have an actual. Recycling. They don't have an actual yeah. ship. Yeah. They have a submarine. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably from the plant. We just didn't notice. 
And same thing with the crawls, we didn't notice what they were doing. Hmm. Well, I mean, it looks like they're the that's the only place where anybody currently is right now. Everything else is a ghost hmm. town up here. Perfect. As long as we don't make any noise, they'll be distracted by the noise in that place. Hmm. Should we just make our way over to wherever it is you guys are wanting to go? Or do you want me to go out for you? I mean, they might notice you guys. I mean, to try to distract someone, I can go and distract you? someone. Oh, uh, let's not do distraction yet. Let's see if but we I'm got such a good that. distraction. Look how I'm dressed. Yeah, but the guy probably asked why you snuck in. Look, I really miss Tana, all right? Uh, I'm sorry, what? I really miss Tana. Is she there? Uh, probably not, no. I don't even... Uh, this, that was years ago. It was like eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, the satellite, that girl ain't even alive anymore. <laughs> Did, okay. Do you have a moment? Hmm? No, no, I was saying that that's why I was here. Right. Probably wouldn't work out. Gotcha. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like I was, just, I was, just, I was honestly just trying to like, you know, see how far I can. You guys are like thinking about this seriously, and I don't like that. I want to be by myself. Okay, okay, that's completely <laughs> fine. You go flirt with everyone over there. I don't you, want. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to do that. <laughs> then what do you want to do? You just. I want, said I want to stay with to you. I said that. I, I said I was joking. You did. You, did you not hear the thing where I said I was joking? I don't want to be myself. Okay, I didn't hear that part. I'm sorry. I don't want to go. Are you? <laughs> okay, you're not going. <laughs> <We're>, okay. <laughs> Let's not cause a commotion. Let's just go where we need to go. Um, where would Mars be at this point? See, all you have to do is cry around and Priska and he'll give you whatever you want. Oh. I can hear you. I'm not deaf. I'm blind in one eye. Hmm. I don't think I could physically cry like that. Which way are we supposed to go anyway? Which which uh, which one of these buildings? Uh, the one where Verna is usually, right? I think. I believe so. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at the looking at place. the area here, you guys yeah. know that you have been to two buildings in the Harborman area. Mm -hmm. You guys have been to the warehouse here, mm -hmm. uh, which you guys are not sure if that's where things are being held or not. Uh, and you guys have been in the main gate area here. Whenever you guys mm -hmm. had gone through, they had stopped you from going this way, which is where you guys are at currently. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you guys are pretty sure and, over here is just like housing and shit. Yeah. So, so this area here would be like any extra shit. Uh, uh, over here, you guys did not know what was over here before. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now, from what you guys can see, they seem to be doing recycling or some kind of uh, some kind of manufacturing of something over here. Um, Susie, do you know any place where they would store people? Um, the freezer? I mean, are they going to eat them? <laughs> no, like prisoners. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I, I haven't been kinky. around. I haven't been really around around here. Do you remember what you talked about at least? <laughs> Please tell me you I listened. Mean, that's, that's something you really bring up in a date. I don't think. Oh it's yeah. Like uh, while, while, really it's like while I'm sitting there, it's like oh yeah. While I'm down here, can you tell me what your prisons are? <laughs> I don't think that's gonna you help you how things go. Either way, let's yeah. see where would we put. We could go to the usual place if Renner is there, which I hope he is. Then he might be able to direct us to where we need to go. All right, uh, let's let's. Uh, which way is that? This way. Okay. Yeah. Riku, are you going to be leading? Um. Yeah, I'll lead. Okay. I'll make sure to put on my ray band so they don't think it's me straight away. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, uh, you guys do have the... Uh, you guys do have the uh, slight advantage of being in different clothes and having a new fade. Uh, that I do these like guys... the fact... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do like the fact that he's putting some fucking ray bands over his missing eye patch. It's just like, yep, this will fool him. <laughs> <laughs> it's both eyes covered now. <laughs> <laughs> They'll never see it coming. 
<laughs> you guys are wearing new clothes and you got and you do have a new fade riku uh, some of the harbor men might not notice you guys immediately uh suzy would not be recognized by any of them uh so suzy will mm -hmm. not be incredibly uh needing to roll this right at the moment uh suzy has still got a bit of a use but we'll talk to that in a second i need both mm -hmm. of you uh to go ahead and give me a demeanor check gotcha Run, oh, no, it's your no. time take up your shirt riku you have one fleeting hey this, this is what you've been straight. waiting for Oof. second roll 11 plus three plus four and Friska, you also 19. have one fleeting what? One second. okay and three seven First oh sorry 18. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. That would have been bad. <laughs> Roll again. Hilarious, was it almost? <laughs> Roll again, Prince. Oh. oh no, the first was an eight. No, you have one more. Oh, okay. Kaladin just gave you one. Come on. And Eggy, that one to go to Riku's next one because we already know what Riku's uh, last roll was. 18 plus uh, nothing in demeanor. Cool. <laughs> You guys yeah, start making 18, your way 18. through, uh, as you guys do. The very limited number of people that are here in the Harborman base uh, go by. Some of them looking over towards you guys, some of them not. You note that you guys aren't really throwing off any sort of suspicious vibes yet. People seem very busy currently. As you guys are making your way through, uh, you will find, as you guys are heading over toward the warehouse in particular, do 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 you will find that there are... Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? You over here? Yeah, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> you find that there are a couple of people outside of the warehouse. People that you immediately recognize. Uh oh <laughs> oh, Lincoln Park. You find the two They're of them friends. are standing outside of the warehouse as if they are guarding it. Uh, they seem very much like they are looking restless. Uh, both of them uh, seem seemingly going through their decks uh, quite a bit um, and looking off toward what you guys know to be the, uh, the front of the Harriman base. You do know Riku because you, uh, because of the situation you guys were in before if you were to come out even with the fade even with the glasses they yep. would most likely recognize you yeah it's uh, just your british aren't they the yeah. ones that kidnapped me <laughs> no not these guys oh they're the ones that me and him uh, uh tag dueled at first yeah. oh yeah the one who kidnapped you had the red shirt uh, doo -doo -doo. I think Prisca and Susie should be good to go. Just playground rules it. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna? Would you want to? You want us to to do a, a duel on them? You want to? Do you want to duel them? We, we, we just got here. Listen, they're, they're gonna recognize me straight away, and we need to get those guys out of the equation if we try to figure out what's behind the door. I will also. Rem I will also remind you. Talk to them. I'll also remind you, Briska mm. tried doing business with everyone as soon as she showed up here last time. Right. <laughs> Susie, <girl. laughs> I, I'm only saying that because mm -hmm. if you want to think of some way else around things, you can. If you want to mm -hmm. try to throw some sort of distraction somewhere, you can. Uh, if you want Susie mm -hmm. to try to go up, that Susie could go up there yeah, uh, with, I, with varying levels of success. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I want to know what the three of you think you can do currently to get them basically away from the warehouse. Yeah. You guys could just duel mm. them if you wanted to, but it's up to you. Yeah, no, that would take time and we try to be you know not suspicious. Think, yeah, I think it's time. Oh, yeah? It's time for the distraction. Huh, what do you want me to do? You want me to whack a guy? You want me to off a guy? Whack off a guy? Uh, don't put those two together in the sentence no uh, the, saw it on this ancient show it was great those two know i'm a well-established saleswoman <laughs> and oh, so the, mm -hmm. 
Riku's kind of nervous sweating, so I think they know that. I'm too. not nervous sweating. I just want to punch them in the face again. But I can't do that unless Otto's here. Fine. What, you, guys, oh, what, you guys think you guys are you guys you guys think that you're big shots around here? I probably made out with their girlfriends. Wait, they probably don't have girlfriends. Look at them. Yeah, yeah they look like life partners, honestly. Oh, you know, good for them. Oh, good for them. Yeah, you, you good know. For them. Uh, we could try and cause a distraction to get them to move, but like, how do we distract? Okay. Uh, what do you, do you need me to do anything in particular, or just just get them somewhere? Like, what do you want me to do? I want you to get I... them away from there so we can sneak behind them. Oh, easy. You sure? She's already walking. Do you want to stop okay. her or? <laughs> uh, I'll stop her for just a second if I can. Hmm? Uh, what are you planning? I'm just going to get away from the door. <sighs> are you sure you got this? I mean, no, but <laughs> shrugs. Uh, <laughs> we could probably come up with a better plan. That's the issue. Well, we could come up with one. If not, I'm going to go over there and get them away from the door. I mean, are they aggressive? Uh, you no. know that Link was uh, was the one that punched out Riku that first time. Yeah, that punched him back. Anyway. Wait, no, or was uh, it yeah, Otto? Link. Who, who got punched last time? Oh, no, he punched Otto, yeah. Yeah, 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 it was Otto. Yeah. Yeah, he, he punched Otto, so... Yeah, they're aggressive. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, Unless you think you can lead them away Susie somewhere, and then I can knock them both first. out. Let's watch Susie do things first, and mm -hmm. if things get out of hand, we come in and save the day. Guys, I got it. I got it. And if I don't, just come out and do that card thing or whatever. That's what I'm Fine. All right. Yeah, whatever. Don't worry about it. Do you want Susie to go on? You know what? Um, they're encouraging it, so fine. Uh oh. <laughs> not much I can do. Okay. Again, not much I can do. Oh, I know yeah. Susie. Susie People will make leave. her way out, uh, just sort of walking out in front of both Lincoln Park. As they do, you guys are close enough. You guys are a little bit off away from them. Uh, as Lincoln Park kind of like look up toward uh, toward Susie, uh, look back down toward their toward their decks as if they're messing around with stuff. Do a double take up because they realize Susie is still there, and then just go back to their decks, and then do a triple take. Like, wait a minute, that person isn't a harborman. <laughs> oh, see, I just... As, oh, as this Hold goes on. down, as this goes down, mm -hmm. Lincoln Park, look over to Susie. Uh, you see that Susie starts talking to them. They are a little bit out of the way at the moment. I know exactly what Susie is going to say to them, and I'm going to have each of them roll something really quickly. Come on, Susie. Come on, show Riku what you got. I mean, do the plan well for... Uh, this is this is this is not a, a great check uh, for them. Uh, I mean, it's it's I mean not a great check for her. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything will be fine. Um, mm -hmm. She's doing great. Yeah, she's yeah. doing great. Anyway, she's doing great. This will be from Susie. This will be from, this will be from Link. This will be from Link. Link is gonna roll a fourteen. This will be a ball energy, everyone. Oh my god. Well, you know that fucking like stick man game that I played for you that one time? Oh. Yeah. Do you know the guy with the fucking helicopter? <laughs> this is the greatest play. <laughs> so I rolled for a certain thing for mm -hmm. each of the NPCs before game today. Yep. Mm -hmm. I rolled for a uh, negotiation check for both Street and for um, uh, and for uh, Susie in case you guys made Street come instead. Susie rolled earlier mm -hmm. a seven for their negotiation oh. check. Nice. Hey. Somehow, <laughs> Park yeah. got lower than a seven. Some fucking how <laughs> that check was still was still not beaten. Link is still around. Link is not going to be paying attention at all to Susie. But you do note as Susie walks up to them and starts talking, uh, she immediately goes into Riku, what you can only remember and understand as a flirty mode 
as there is there is a a walk up a look over uh, over there uh, over there uh, their dual disc uh, there is a uh, there is a uh, a bit of physical touch going on where she seems to laugh at something that you a thousand percent can tell just from the look on the face is the fakest Susie laugh ever uh, because Susie some and whenever something is actually funny she just goes ah, or something this is yeah. a ah. um, <laughs> <laughs> as as things are going down and again there's just like a, a there's just a lot of a lot of uh pda there's a lot of just like just like mm. hand on shoulder like touching and things like that uh going along with Susie right now and park uh seems to be completely down uh down for it um as after a certain point uh Susie looks over toward link and because link is not falling for this there is going to be one final check uh and that <laughs> is going off. to be uh that is going to be a check from link to attempt to uh not be hit by a certain thing <laughs> um, all right that come on come on that's yeah two. they failed didn't they that's a two <laughs> i do these roles in front of people for a reason that's a two this is the greatest plan as soon as she gets close to park and as soon as they are showing any sort of any sort of things and as soon as park uh turns around to start looking into uh into his other deck as if maybe maybe this person just really likes cards i'm going to show her some more of my cards everything's going to be great maybe i'll get a girlfriend after this or maybe i'm on the spectrum i don't know um <laughs> and as soon as he turns around to do something like that she reaches down to link puts a hand on his shoulder he just kind of like looks up you, he mouths something uh to her she seems to knee him Lean down and take his cards and start running. That a girl. Let's go, Riku. <sighs> As this happens, Link with a seemingly with seemingly a small a small amount of blood going down his nose jumps up and starts rushing after her. And Park, completely dumbfounded, sees the two of them running and runs after as well. <laughs> Let's be quick. We don't have much time. <laughs> He got a two. <laughs> he got a two. This is the greatest plan. Damn it. Is that Park is by and was like actually feeling it. Link is gay and has been <laughs> wanting to tell Park forever. And then like when she tries to do it, he's like, I know what you women are like. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and oh my that God. deserves a knee in the face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, as as Susie takes off uh, cards and hands, you guys rush over toward warehouse and go to get inside of warehouse. I'm guessing. Yeah. Upon getting inside of warehouse, let me move you guys over to warehouse because we have map for warehouse. It over here. Look at warehouse. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very good. Very good warehouse we have here. Uh, the two of you make your way inside of the warehouse, just sort of sliding yourselves in. Upon getting inside, you do find that while there is no actual whew, while there is no actual um jail cells or anything like that in here you do find as you enter this place that someone uh of note is in here as you look forward you do find that mars is in here as soon as i find out where mars's token is there it is you say that place when you find mars <laughs> okay riku this is when you flirt with mars <laughs> As She's you guys, outside. as you guys <laughs> enter, Mars seems to have a large suitcase. You guys remember said suit. You guys remember mm -hmm. said suitcase as one of the ones that had all of the things in it from before. You see that there is a large rolling suitcase, uh, seemingly beside of her. She looks back to you guys. She goes. She just kind of, kind of raises her hand up, like, "Oh, you guys made it." Yeah, we don't have a lot of time. Susie kicked Park in, in the face, and is running off with his deck. Fucking. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, we didn't have much planning. Uh, all right. Um, Ed, do you know if she's? Are they gonna catch her? She can run. Okay. All right. Um. Well, if they do catch her, the only place they're gonna take her is where we're going anyway. So I guess mm -hmm. come on. Uh, is there any? Are you guys the only ones? Are you the only ones here? Um, once everything's ready, we'll get the signal to take the bike in, and then we leave. Oh, all right. Um, 
We just gotta do this right and clean. Is Runner here? Runner's with um, the others. Um, gotcha. She looks uh, the two of you up and down for a second, and then uh, seems to uh, bring her bring her eyes down toward the suitcase that she's holding. Uh, as she looks to it, she looks back to you guys. I mainly got everything around here that I felt like we could get away with without causing too much of a problem. Uh, some of the gold that you guys had sold us is in here. Um, we have, uh, well, I found a lot of the old access uh, terminals for the uh, for the um, communication tower here. Some of the old passwords that they like cycling through. Uh, as well as a cipher to determine whether or not we can actually lock other people out of it, if not. Um, other than that, there's not really a ton that I can think of to have the two of you do. Um, I'm gonna go and get everything ready. I have to make sure the sidecars are up and running. I have to oil the, uh, the wheels. Um, if your mm -hmm. friend gets caught, they'll probably be brought directly to me. At which point, she looks to, um, uh, to Riku. <sighs> It's going to take me a couple of minutes. Um, mm -hmm. If there's anything around here that you feel like you want to check out, uh, now is the only time I would say is possible for it. Gotcha. Um... At this point, I will say to the two of you, if you guys have any questions mm -hmm. about the Harborman base, because you guys have not went through a lot of rumors with yeah. the Harborman base right now, so there's not a ton that you guys immediately come to mind on what you guys can search for here. Um, but if you guys have any questions uh, about anything around or anything like that for Mars, now is the, the time. Uh, uh, I remember the thing about the auction. The um, auction? Yes. Yeah. Um, so the auction, would that place have anything? Or do they just keep it somewhere else? Well, um, currently we don't have much things around that can actually be thrown about however uh you might have heard rumors about it over if you've been to if to the northwest of town but there is something the boss has been keeping around in the in the auction house people have been calling it the harborman's jewel hmm. though i'm not entirely sure what it is myself to be fair Okay. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth anything about it. You'll have to go into the more populated area, which is a little bit off to the west over there. You'd have to sneak over and try to do anything you can to get to it, but that's the only thing I can think of that would be anything worth going for. And again, mm -hmm. I don't even know if it would be worth it. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of in terms of auction stuff. Honestly, you don't really talk about the Hobbit when you're home. <laughs> yeah, I don't usually make it up mm -hmm. to spilling my... Uh, I guess former team secrets, huh? No, completely get that. Shows loyalty. Respect <sighs> it. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is is the worth getting that jewel or should we just stick to the plan? Not get anything else that not get anything extra, just the things we need. It's gonna take me around ten or so minutes to get everything ready. Um and then it's gonna make uh, give me a couple more minutes to make sure that the runway's uh, open for everyone. The front gate has to be open before any sort of uh, dual runners can get themselves in uh, mm -hmm. there's going to be time if you want to just stick with me the entire time that's fine as well what are you thinking Prisca I agree you know that there's other things around that you, uh, that you yeah. potentially talk about and, uh... again I don't want to say many of them but I have mentioned <laughs> several of them in this in this conversation that we just yeah. had anyway <laughs> and that's the recycling plant bit um but like i doubt there's anything worth taking there um yeah there's that there's the jewel um yeah i don't, I don't know yeah, what, we can open because because Will isn't isn't uh, responding. Oh. We can we can have this open to sorry to the about that. Well. Sorry about that. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Uh, what's everyone else thinking? This could be a group combo. You guys you guys mm. can can chat about it as well. We can oh, hell, we yeah. can say we can say that Riku brings up uh, his dual disc and 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 fills the fills auto and uh, and uh, Piper in as well. Yeah. 
Hey, yeah, the silver lining of me needing to be RB quick. <laughs> I thought I said it, but I don't think I did now that I think about it. Yeah, the current thing is it will take around maybe 20-ish minutes before things will get completely ready. Um, currently, you've asked about the auction house, uh, and you've learned about something called the Harbinger's Jewel, which Mars doesn't seem to know much about, but is apparently something there. Uh, there are other things you guys can ask about or talk about if you guys would like to, but currently Riku doesn't have any ideas. Uh, Otto uh, and um, uh, Piper, if you guys have any ideas either, or um, uh, Priska, up to you as well. I, I do, actually. Uh, when it comes to the area outside of the Harbourman's walls, uh, like to the, like, north, to the east, is that, like, considered y'all's territory, or is that just, because it's not contested as far as I know. Uh, you mean the other parts of the pier? Yeah, the pier north of, of the pier. It's mostly neutral territory from what I know. Um, a lot of people like making their way there to try out their dual runners and such, but I don't think we have much to be done over there except for some of the people who don't want to live in the housing that we've set up for it. Um, I will say other than that, that sometimes we have to have some emergency stops around those areas and drop off some um, uh, some cargo if we think we're being followed. So there are mm. a ton of areas around that place in particular that we have stashes. Hmm. Okay, that's some good information. Hmm. And then uh, I'm guessing there's a boss's office here. Yeah, if you want to make your way there, that's going to be basically right off where the uh, where the main harbor is. Uh, you won't see a building or anything there, but where we have the submarine stash, that's usually where the boss play that's usually where the boss hangs out. Whenever Probably he's around, we... what'd you say? Ricky? Currently, he isn't right. No, he's not here to my knowledge. And again, I would know. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. you know, there's another place we can look into the boss's office or uh, get the jewel of the Harbourman and the bus is the one that we still have a bit of weirdness with right weirdness yeah, basically yeah, he was in this when the whole spiritual stuff was going down he was there mm. in that shadowy place I'll leave that up to you guys mm -hmm. telling me later because I still don't know what to think about that stuff. Yeah, no, that's he's involved with that. Yep. Uh, okay, fine. I played some earlier things. Mm. He's not just involved. He seems like he knows far more about it than we do. I don't know what's been on his mind lately. Ever since, well, earlier this year, he's been really weird about it, about everything. Would you say he was different? You guys remember um, earlier on in the campaign that has been mentioned that he's been very much a lot more aggressive uh, as of late. Mm -hmm. And that was even before everything happened with uh, yeah. with uh, his sister disappearing. <laughs> yep. I remember. Hmm. I think before we were thinking of possession, but... Maybe there's a bit more now that we're getting closer to the spirit world and all that. I don't know no, much about right that, now. but maybe. Right now, that's a layer problem. For now, we have multiple things to look into. So either his office, we can try and grab the jewel, even though we don't know what that is. Um, oh, there is one thing that I guess is newer information. Has he ever mentioned any weird dreams he's had? I don't talk to him much anymore. That's... We could probably figure out the weird dreams thing later. Right now, we need to do as much as we can as possible. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. right. Uh, well, I got to start making sure that everything's set up. Is there anything mm -hmm. else you guys want to know about the base here? Any Anywhere in particular that you want to know more about? Uh, any places that we haven't mentioned? 
there are so many. <laughs> This place so bad. Out, of, out of character, there are there are three other places you guys know about here that mm -hmm. could potentially be talked about. Yeah. I don't want to uh, I don't want to bring them up in character because I'm making sure that you guys are no no mm -hmm. things you know. I'm a stim you really think we know things? We came here with no fucking plan and nearly some of, jumped some off of a them, bridge. Some of them have been mentioned in this very conversation with Mars. You, you I, mean, I don't think you mean that we're smart. We're not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's get a map and make sure we're on the same. Is there a small map even like? Oh my god. Just, um, there, there, there's um, no, there's no map that I can give you guys uh, because again, the idea is, you, you guys know basically what you see here on the map uh, mm -hmm. as the area. Um, you guys know of the auction house, which I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys would be the area beside this place. Um, uh, that was in character, by the way. Yeah, they, they wouldn't have a map. Um, right. you, though you, you were just asked about some kind of safe house that was off on the main harbor. It would be around this area. That's where the boss would most likely be um, mm -hmm. if they were here, uh, which we pretty sure they're not. Who, who, who knows? Uh, apparently, there was a recycling area off yeah. in this section here um, that has been uh, that seems to be being in use in some way. Um, again, housing area off in this dissection you guys are pretty sure that that's what that whole area over there is um the only other thing mainly that was that was mentioned other than again the wall and the underground housing and different things like that uh is you guys would know that the control tower is here um oh, right there that is yeah. or the communication tower is here uh you guys would also know that the submarine is here if you guys wanted to ask more about that um, you guys would know that, uh, the only other, uh, thing that you guys would have remembered from this area is that they were selling cards, uh, around this mm. area, um, which you're decently sure she probably wouldn't have packed up because it's Mars, <laughs> and they're no fun. <laughs> um, you want to just also assault the card department while we're here? Let's just steal everything that's not bolted down. <laughs> that's gonna take forever, dude. Away. That's gonna take forever. Um... Cards are a high priority. I can agree on that. <laughs> <laughs> Briska would probably ask if the harbor men have anything around here. What was here? I'm circling it. We'd already, oh, we'd already talked docks. about that. Yeah, about that, yeah, yeah, they're the docks. Yeah, we just talked about how these they have, like, are safe houses. Yeah, they have like some safe houses over here. Not yeah. safe houses, um, storage or the, the cash. Okay. Yeah. Which is very concerning to find out that they have this here because these guys have drone technology. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, remember, they said that apparently they were being watched and they said it was, uh, they said that they were being followed potentially by sector security, but who knows if it was sector security who were following them yeah. or not. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was me. <laughs> oh, so I'm thinking if we do control tower, we can just fuck up their communications, which would be funny. <laughs> yeah, man, like, why not? If they're gonna fuck. Be the... convenient, but yeah. yeah. Well, It'll the idea right now, well. yeah. the idea right now from me bringing these things up is if you want to ask mm -hmm. about any of those things. Yeah, uh, that would be a good one to talk about. That would like the whole <laughs> cards thing. So that, that's that's right, man. Yeah. Um, right. You said there was someone who sold cards here, right? Um. Well, yeah, we we did apparently. Uh, a bit. She motions over toward all the boxes and stuff that were around. I'm not sure how uh, much is left around here ever since everybody started scavenging for their own decks. Uh, there was yeah. a lot of things that went missing during the whole magic thing, but there's probably something still around here. Yeah, we should probably give those a check. And I also remember there was some Jalunga packs, if I recall right, Otto. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, he made a couple of decks, like structure decks for people to use. I bought right. one of them. You can see if anything's oh, left over here, but... If yeah. they were decks, then most likely people have already picked them up. Yeah. And then the other thing I was going to ask is communications. The communication tower? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. off over to the uh, west of uh, the west of the uh, strong or the stronghold over top of the uh, factory. Um, she motions yeah. uh, off from one of the windows. Uh, you guys would yeah. note that would be this building right now. Right yeah. now. How many people would be in there currently? Uh, currently, probably just those who are trying to make sure that I get 
any information I need from whatever they're doing out and out into the uh, the north. Um, gotcha. At the moment, some... I would maybe say that maybe one or two people will be stationed there, if that. Again, I bug... wasn't. I was pretty. I was pretty thorough in saying that we needed everyone outside the base that could be spared. Yeah. Gotcha. That I didn't. I don't know good. how you got the rare hunters to agree to do things here, but they need to at some point know they need to back off. I right. I know that they're probably strong duelists or whatever, but mm -hmm. they've never been in one of these altercations before. No, no, we get you. We could probably use the communications to let them know mm. and then shut it down. That'd probably be a good thing if you want. I, that's up mm. to you if you want to shut it down. I mean, that way no one else can communicate at that point. Yeah, no one else could communicate at that point. Uh, planning is difficult. What do you guys think? I think shutting off their communications is probably for the best. Get out the message to the rare hunters and then ax it. Because we're not going to be probably affected Probably be that. careful because yeah. they still have ways to probably fix that and the high the harder we hit the beehive the harder they're gonna come back yeah the That's safe right. option right now is just stick with mars and head out as soon as everything's ready but gotcha. i mean if you want to check out some of those other places that jewel is pretty interesting whatever that could be mm. i mean if it's some kind of machinery or something i could try tinkering around with it mm. okay even... sounds good unless it's like yeah. an actual jewel then maybe we can i don't know see if it's magic or something and we can have yeah, it appraised by a certain yeah. someone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about this? We look over, see if there's any extra cards, and then try and check out the jewel. I'd say choose one thing to focus on. I don't know what's going on there, but if, you know, they come back and you're still there, it's not going to be pretty. That's true. <laughs> Lincoln Park are Cards probably going to go take the others where I'm going. I'm gonna head there mm -hmm. now. If they if they do get your friend, I'll make sure that she's, you know, ready to go whenever mm -hmm. everyone else is. And which building will you be at, just so we show? Oh, it's just over there. She'll point off, and once again, I will mark on the map, la da 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 da, mm -hmm. as it would be the main building right in front of you. Wow. Whoa. Oh my. That's a um. We look for some cars and then join up Miles in that building. You guys want to focus? You guys want to focus on looking up for cards? You can. Mm. If as that's Mars what goes, you want to do. As Mars goes to leave, dragging that suitcase with them, they will make their way off into that part of the Harborman base. Da -da -da -da. Before we do anything else, looking at uh, both Priska and Riku. Uh, where exactly do you guys want to go first? You want to just search this place for cards first? Yeah, just this place. Uh, Riku, let's see. You could course... split up, but that's up to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's completely fine. Do you really want to let Prisco all on her own? Feel a little <laughs> lonesome? Honestly, yeah, the... I'd be hilarious. I would love Girl, to see. A strong I would love to see Metal Gear. Just uh... gonna fly away into Crash Town. You can't do that. What do you think, Ring? What's I'm like that? You want me to walk into the dark forest? I, okay. I, would, I would love to see uh, uh, Solid Slime uh, <laughs> sneaking around the base. I guess Frisco will look around to your two. There's not a big reason to split up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Especially with Link and Park, like, ready to, like, probably couldn't catch Susie because Susie, like, slipped through like a crack they're too thick for. I made Shadow then... Slayer the card of the day. Hey. <laughs> hey. And then Susie high fives Giant Rat because Giant Rat is their like mentor figure. I taught you everything I know, Susie. So what's happening? I have sold. Yeah, looking for cars in this place. Okay. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. yeah. As you guys start to make your way around here to see if you can find any any of the cards that were still around, you do note that every time you guys go to open a box, there does seem to be uh, a lot of everything just sort of taken out from in there. There are some maybe some mm -hmm. loose cards around, but as you look them over, there's nothing humongous, uh, humongously worth your time in the top sections of these boxes. As you start looking through, I would like for both of you to go ahead and roll me for your instinct. I'm free to use your instinct. 
Yeah, Quick, right. use your instinct to find cards. Destroy the golden cat yeah, for yeah, glory. Yeah, I'll use my There we go. <laughs> You remember whenever I I usually tell you guys roll first? Oh, roll first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. I just want to make sure because you could get a twenty. You know. Yeah, listen, I don't believe I can get a twenty. I'm just I'll saying it I could technically happen. You said instinct, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't have any fleetings, right? Uh, you don't, but Pris but Priska does because I didn't give them one earlier. Okay. I'll right. use my helmet. And I got like three of them. <laughs> uh, seventeen altogether. Okay. As the two of you look through, uh, you are using your hermit. Yep. Okay. You, you could use two hermits on both of yours. <laughs> nah, I just want to use the one for the day. I would like you to please roll me this d6, and I would like you to re-roll if you get a six. Gotcha. Four. Okay. He's activating the loot table. Let's go. Let's go. Daluts. Okay. You start looking through things uh, as you do. I'm not going to have an actual thing to give you right now, but I can give mm -hmm. it to you later. You do find one of the things you guys have mentioned earlier. As you start reaching and lifting up a bunch of the different boxes, looking around, you look behind one of the crates. As you do, you find one that has slipped off into the back behind one of the areas. There's a little bit of cobwebs and like other dust and stuff on it. As you reach down and pick it up, you find another one of those decks like what Otto had, bu uh, had bought before. You find, what appears your to, you find what appears to be a water deck. I swear, universe. <laughs> That's what you roll, Yo, that man. Ain't bad. Yeah, that oh, ain't yeah, bad. No, I'm just doing it as a joke. That's what you roll. <laughs> Dude, we got some water grizzlies. It's not bad. Yeah, listen, I, Lindo, am happy with this. Riku can take the piss out of this. <laughs> The six was the six was gonna be fire. That's yeah. why I wanted you to reroll if you got All six. Right. <laughs> yeah. Now we have a like dual thing. He's fire, I'm water. Da -da -da -da. And Again, as far as you. what you're looking yeah. through, uh, as far as what you're looking through, Priska, da -da -da -da, with what you rolled, I know exactly what you found. Let me uh -huh. create it. Very. It's quickly. a little note that says I owe you. <laughs> <laughs> Legal tender Prisca, as you begin looking around, you find that some you find something slightly odd. You find what appears to be a section over by uh over by um the edge of this uh of this warehouse. As you look it over, you find that there's just a place that has like a bunch of discarded um discarded pieces of machinery and things like that. One of them looks very similar to the dual disc that you had seen uh that you had seen the uh, the leader of the harbormen wearing at one point as you look at it it looks as if it was completely busted and broken throughout but you do find as you look it over there is a card sticking out of it Ooh. hello hello you find that there are some other cards thrown around as well but most of them are ripped to shreds this one is the only one that's legible and even then it has some wear and tear on it Ooh. Like I've been fucking these cards. <laughs> you find this is probably the card of someone's ex. <laughs> you find this card, Priska. I'll put it over beside your token over here. Just for you. All right. A little card just for you. Burning beast or something else. Over Where here, Priska. I'm lost. Oh, oh look for the point. Look for the pointers. <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> yeah. You find this card. I knew it was gonna be an elemental hero. Bubble. You find Bubble Man, and if you look Bubble it over, it's a, it's a very it's a very different Bubble Man than what uh, is normally seen in in the game. He's evolved. All right. Does he still draw two? Let's see. It has the anime effect, but also has other things hey. about it. If this card That's is the only nice. card in your hand, you can special summon this card to, uh, to your side of the field. When this card is summoned and there are no other cards on your field uh, other than the spell trap card that summoned this card, if any. So if you use something like Premature Burial or something, um, uh, you can draw two cards from your deck and uh, oh, um, uh, or add one Metamorphosis or Altered World Fusion from your deck or graveyard to your hand. It's oh a really good God. card. Good for him. Yeah. What a good card. He can use, be used in every deck. Mm -hmm. I will Look say, uh, I haven't added it to it yet, but this is a limited card. 
Uh, so oh. it is a it is a only one per deck card. You can have one oh. Bubble Man in your whole life. Bubble anime Bubble Man fucks man. <laughs> anime <laughs> Bubble Man. I mean, he already fucks. He's so huge. And this I is mean, and this I mean, is better than anime Bubble Man. Also, can I just say I love that he kind of looks like he's just a Batman Mister Freeze fusion. I mean, yeah. he's supposed to be Batman, basically. That's what Bubble he's supposed Man is. to be Batman. It's great, but also because of all the bubbles, it's like ah, oh, he's also Mister Freeze. Yeah, there you go. I knew he was going to haunt me because, again, I've been playing games where I've been playing as Jaden Yuki and playing against Jaden Yuki. Both are nightmares because I have the worst fucking luck. <laughs> Congrats on the Bubble Man. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats on the Bubble Man. Bubble Man. Bubble Man. Again, anime Bubble, bu anime bubble Man fucks. No, shit. I'm going far away. Where am I? I'm just watching Bubble Man slowly go across the room. <laughs> there he goes. Goodbye. There he goes. Goodbye, Bubble Man. Uh, Goodbye, I'll, Bubble I'll, Man. I'll just move him to you. Bubble Man, where'd you go? Bubble Man. He's moving him to you. <laughs> Panic. Uh, you, okay. you, I think you grabbed him out of the air. Yeah, I, I have it. Don't worry. Okay. He just fell on the floor for a second. He's still good. He's still good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you find uh, what appears to be what appears to be a even stronger version of anime Bubble Man. Um, yeah, there you go. You guys found cards? <laughs> Dude, every now and then it just stops. Spotify does. Spotify fucking hates Discord. I like the yeah. dramatic pause. <laughs> Pew, 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 I'm pew, looking pew, at pew, the guy made you know, of a thousand pew, eyes pew, again, pew, pew, and I realize that those with a lot of eyes are use those eyes to scare away mm. predators. So this is just a scared little baby boy. <laughs> anyway, you guys have found cards. Uh, going through and checking everything else out, you guys have used up around eight of them, uh, eight of your minutes. Okay, let's just head back. Yep. Yeah. You just want to go mm -hmm. straight to toward where Mars is? Yep. Okay. You sure you don't want to check out the funny jewel? You, you sure? don't want to duel? The you funny jewels? Jewel? I, I Look, don't know oh, if oh, bubbles oh. would be a good attack. But then again, okay, let's see. If I made, if there was enough pressure on the <laughs> Come on, Presco, let's go. Right, right. I'll think of this later. Mm-hmm. You guys would begin to make your way off, uh, going over toward the uh, the area just in front of the warehouse, keeping yourselves uh, as as close to as close to the shadows as you can. Uh, eventually, uh, you guys will find that Riku. Mm -hmm. You feel just as you did before, as if someone is watching you. You turn for a moment, and you and you go and you go to to basically go to to snap at the person behind you. Hey, what's up? Oh, there Achoo. you are. <laughs> you find, you find, you, a, you, you find a Susie. <laughs> How'd you get... Yeah. You know what? I told you she's a fast runner. Well, yeah, but... Oh, well, I just threw the cards. The... Oh, you threw the cards? Yeah. And then they had to go out to them. You know, smart. <laughs> I looked. So up, I looked over the cards. I was like, I was like trying to find, find like a really cool like line to say or whatever. And then I was running by, um, uh, running by one of the uh, one of the things leading off into the into the areas below. And I just said, "Say goodbye to Exodia." And then I ran. Why Exodia? Well, that was the card I saw. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> whatever that was. What the fuck? I thought that was an ancient phrase used by ancient. Insect people. Oh, that was a blonde boy I saw in our dreams. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. It looks like a. <laughs> I'm not it there. Like it's a, fine. I'm not there. It looks so, like a foot or something. I don't know. Maybe it's like a fetish card. So no, what were you saying? To yeah, it looked them. like it looked like a looked like a foot, and then the other one was like a head. That was weird. <laughs> weird card. Why would you summon a foot? Probably a maximum card. Oh. All right, maximums. Oh, that would be annoying to deal with. Oh my god. We have some stupid maximum effect like win the duel instantly or something. I oh. wouldn't make a card like that. <laughs> We've seen dumber cards made. 
Remember the legend Car of Aurelia? Barely letting Piper play the game. You think the Cargarno would be like, oh, what? also the wind card is valid. Listen, I'm just saying, you saw what they did to Aurelia. That card existed for years. Oh, just so Come that right. just so there's not many more conversation and chat about it, there was only four Yelunger decks. Yeah. There was Earth, only Wind. There was, there was only there was only Earth, Wind, Water, Fire. Uh, fire yeah. was already taken, and uh, the other two things were different things. They weren't Yelunger decks. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, come on, let's get going. So, what were you saying to them before you took their deck? Oh, how was uh going up to the, I was going up to the guy. What was his name? Uh, Perk. Yeah, I went up to Perk, and I was like, "Hey, what's 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 going on over there? Oh, is that?" And then I looked at one of his cards, and it was like some kind of some kind of guy or some kind of like little machine guy. Uh, luckily, I had one of them. It, oh God, what was it called? Uh, uh, Django. I was like, "Oh, is that Django?" And he was he started telling me about it, and I started laughing. Uh, and he he seemed he seemed to really be into it. All right, that fake laugh you do is gross. What? It is not it was fake. fake. See, I have it a beautiful fake. laugh. I've known you for years. You laugh like someone's. You laugh only when someone's in pain. Like you have that villain laugh. I didn't laugh whenever I hit him. Why didn't you? Were you? It in. <laughs> because I was running. Actually, why didn't you? I was running for my life. You're welcome, by the way. So what the other guy say? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he that sounds about right. In the face for no reason. Well, he wasn't paying attention to me, and I saw he still had his cards down there. So I'm like, oh, that's that'd probably work out. I mostly improvise. She fits right in. <laughs> you two. Oh, was your orphanage a fighting dojo? I mean, not really. Okay. We don't talk I mean, about the orphanage though. First rule of the orphanage. Yeah, first rule. Don't talk about the orphanage. Second rule, don't wear rings. Yeah, they never let us wear rings. It's it's almost like a habit now. Like looks at her hand yeah. ringless. <laughs> Briska looks down uh, anyway. <laughs> um we how much time do we have? Uh currently you guys have about 10 minutes at least from the estimate that mars gave you uh mm -hmm. but uh as you guys are just now in front of the building there you guys want do you guys want to head into see mars or what do you guys yeah. want to do yeah i'm down to see mars we don't need to do anything extra right yeah, isn't that a ring on the left hand no 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 there's no ring at all Susie said there was no ring yeah we all know there's no ring at all it's <laughs> no ring guys no swagger <laughs> Anyway, we all it's know a, what that it's ring out of is. habit. I don't wear rings anymore. <laughs> Third rule of Fight Club: <laughs> Susie doesn't listen to the rules of Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very much for pointing it out. I was waiting for someone to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. I designed her. <laughs> That's why I came up with the joke. I'm not supposed to wear rings. Yeah, I don't have a single ring on me. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just imagine now. Like back in the day, whenever like Susie was doing playground rules, and then Riku gets hit, feels the ring, says I'm telling. <laughs> Susie then makes sure Riku doesn't tell. <laughs> and that's how I lost my eye. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I lost my eye. Everything else been a lie. <laughs> of course, that was before Riku hit his growth spurt. Probably, I don't know. Maybe he yeah. was. Maybe he was a, a tiny, a tiny before then. Whenever you no, hit your gross, you get a second strong. eye again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to beat you up now. You're big. <laughs> That's the whole point. That's why I work out. <laughs> See, it all worked out, like you said. It did not all work out. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't talk about play. We don't talk about playground rules, all right? Um. This isn't a ring, this is a knife. Oh. <laughs> As you guys right, that... make your way into uh, the area where Mars is, let me make sure I have all of them. Where did I put, where did I put the boy? The boy? The boy. Which the boy? The boy. The boy. Boy. Where is the boy? 
If you mean runner, he's over here. There he is. Thank you. Ha -ba 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 -ba. You guys would find as you guys would enter the building area. I'm just gonna make a little little square over here because we don't need to worry too much yeah. about it. Um, you would find that not only are you looking in on a area that has a Mars, but you do find that Mars and Runner uh, seem to be getting uh, getting things settled as far as the two sidecars seem to be appearing. Um, both of them are looking toward um, uh, toward the um, uh, the door as soon as you guys come in, as if they are basically like trying to hide what they're doing, but then immediately go, ah, don't scare me like that, God! <laughs> as he starts messing around with it again. Looking over toward the sidecars, you find what appear to be two people inside of them. However, neither of them look as if they are conscious. As you look over at one of them, you find this man's. Looks like we found Jeff. That's it, the Haraman's jewel. <laughs> <laughs> it's the jewel. We found it. <laughs> da, 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 da. Where Wait, was the, on, where the other one? There we where are you at? Uh, I'll just use another one. Fuck it. Da, 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 da. <sighs> In another one of the Jeff. one of the areas, My you baby. find what appears to be this woman, the Our one baby. that you had said the one that you had said before apparently was a apparently was a crawler they had kidnapped. Uh, but yeah, as they are seemingly getting getting these two uh, settled and getting things going in, you do find that Mars has placed the suitcase they had inside of one of the um, uh, one of the sidecars as well. And you do note that over by where uh, Runner is, there is a another large bag that is seemingly just kind of strapped onto uh, Jet. You find that Jet is currently wearing like a camping backpack that is that is like strapped onto him, and he has a, a like a a large like medical satchel in his lap. <laughs> <laughs> he is a lot more like like worn down than this lady who has just got a suitcase on her. As Every you see him I just kind of like using bungee cords to make sure everything's latched down to Jet. Uh, what, what's going on here? Uh, what, what, what do you want? What, what, what's up? Uh, what do you need? Hurry! I'm trying to latch everything down. What's up? <laughs> Anything? All right, uh, cool. Uh, leave it to him. Leave them to it, um, Prisca. We can talk about. Hey, grab, it later. grab, uh, gra go, go, go uh, over there, over there. Uh, the, the sleeping bag. Grab the sleeping bag. Sure. You want to go over and go to where he's pointing? Yeah, I'm just gonna help out, make it easier. You walk over toward an area that he's pointing off to. That just seems to be like a rolled up sleeping bag, uh, up on a thing. It seems to be made of leather. Very, very nice feeling. As you as you feel it, there's like some cushion to it. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You bring it over to him uh, as he immediately starts like um, uh, wrapping the bungee cord he had, uh, he had tied uh, Jet down into the thing with and like stuffing it under it like, ah, no. uh, here, make him suck in, make him suck in. What? 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 <laughs> make him suck in, come on. We don't need everything. <sighs> That's the last thing. You're not getting anything else. What? Okay. Priska, can you get me a can you get me a pillow over there? I want to make sure that she's not gonna break her back on this thing. Oh, okay, okay. I was okay. I'm still confused, but at least it's uh. What are you confused on. about? We're le we're getting the frick out of here. I can't leave. I can't leave everything behind. That's my that's my stuff. Uh, uh, okay. Look, this everything here is important. All right. That stuff right there points to, off to the uh, to the backpack Jack's wearing is my stuff. I use it for things. This here is something I got from a dear dear friend. Points uh, points to a um, uh, to a satchel. It just says Doc on it, but it seems to be tried to be crossed out uh, on the medical satchel. And this is the comfiest bed I've ever had. Points to the points to the um uh, to the uh, sleeping bag. Yeah, no, I'll definitely take the sleeping bag. Oh, that is that is my sleeping bag. 
That's a, I'm agreeing that you would take it. I'm not gonna take your sleeping bag. Okay, I thought you said you were taking my sleeping bag. I don't want you to take my sleeping bag. So are they your prisoners or these? <laughs> did you not tell Prisca? I'm pretty sure I told Prisca. I'm sure everyone told Prisca. Oh, these two did? are these two are being held by the harbormen. We're trying to get them out of here. That's why we needed the sidecars. Yeah. Oh my god, the out of character me. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really funny that we went here and you had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, I. You know what, Magi? Like, oh, you know what, Magi? That is also correct. Uh, as you were getting the sleeping bag latched in, uh, you would notice uh, as well, Riku, that on the sleeping bag it also says Doc on it. <laughs> huh. I feel so. <laughs> So the last three weeks have been going, we're gonna go raid the base. And you're like, yeah, I think. <laughs> I have a really bad It's memory. fine, dude. It's fine. Don't we worry about it. We forgive you. We forgive you. Like, I've been like, let's do this mission. And I've been like, I'm not fully sure on the mission, but everyone else seems to get it. <laughs> currently, I think that's what we uh, all did. Currently, the idea is whenever the others get here, uh, Mars and Runner are going to jump on the um, uh, the backs of two of the dual runners. These two are going to be in the sidecars, and the rest of you are going to have to fucking run your ass out. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, the three of you at that point are going to try to basically hoof it out while the others distract. The big mm -hmm. distraction is going to be, first off, the three dual runners rushing out of here. Uh, but also the fact that Piper is going to be trying to run interference between anybody. Um, but that's the that's the main idea. It takes you guys a little bit of time. Every now and then, Runner also like goes over and says like, "No, I really need these are my lucky chopsticks." I no, just you, you don't you don't. I, don't. I totally need them, man. You don't. If they were your lucky chopsticks, they'll find the way to you. <laughs> but but you don't understand. <laughs> I understand real. Where are your lucky chopsticks? Right there. Nope, right don't there. entertain it. <laughs> Points off. It's for good time, Prisca. <laughs> Grab some, puts them in coat pocket. I had those the first time I met my best friend. Your best friend whose name is on that bag and sleeping bag? No, I don't know what you're talking about. So like is he like a sooner is he like, is he like a yandere for fucking uh this dog was, at this point? This like, was this was this was Anthony's backstory friend character. <laughs> <laughs> and he just does not know what to do with himself now that his friend has left the satellite. <laughs> a fellow Cloud Castle kind of sore. I see. <laughs> I've seen that. This is why he wanted to be a uh, a doctor. He wanted to be closer to his friend. He, wa he, wa he wanted he wanted to be just like his friend. <laughs> Are you sure that's your friend and not your father figure? You shut up, man. You shut up. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. All right, breathe. Breathe. Hey, hey, breathe. He's In. he's really he's really uh he's really touched right now. If you want to, you can just knock him out or something. Oh, please don't. You don't have to do that. I, I'm, I'm fine, actually. I'm just I'm playing it up. Uh, uh, everything's Ricky fine. Ricky cracks his knuckles uh, like, you, okay, I got permission. Listen, listen, hey, hey, you know what? How about this? How about this? How about this? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm feeling nice. How about uh, one of you guys take my place on the bike, eh? I, I'm good at running. Uh, All right. Preska, you probably need to take place on the bike, right? Already getting in. <laughs> yeah. All right, so whoever's yeah. coming to pick that guy up, just, just jump on the bike with him. It's fine. Everything's fine. Great. Okay, well, should we call them now or... <sighs> We basically have everything set up. I just have to open the gate. Once the gate's open, mm -hmm. they need to get in here. Are, where are they? And they should be just around the eight circuit. Uh, eight circuit. All right, they're gonna be here maybe five minutes then. Um, okay. Uh, one of you come with me. Um, I can't leave this. Mm. She points off toward uh toward uh runner or Susie. When do you take my spot, Riku? You come with me. Gotcha. All right. You're gonna. You, see you like climb over to get to the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. Don't you want to be next to Jet? Oh yeah. You know what? They're they're both. <laughs> 
Susie, keep the pretty girl safe. Uh, fine. <laughs> I'll ride with the girl. <laughs> and you'll enjoy it, young miss. Basically, all we got to do is we got to get over. I need I need one of you to help me get the gate up. And just in case anyone talks to me uh, and stops me from getting back, we'll, we'll see what goes down, all right? Just gotcha. keep your head down and don't talk to anyone. Gotcha. Runner, you make sure that we can get out through the underground. Don't let him sh don't let him shut it off, okay? Got it. At this point, Riku, mm -hmm. you'll be making your way out to see if you can open the front uh, the front gate. Kriska, you're going to be waiting here for the others to attempt to help latch things down. You see Runner leaving to go to the underground. You're sitting in there with Susie. We have got to see now if everything lines up perfectly and you guys get out of here with absolutely no hassles. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Rico. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I'm here for Jep. I'm also protecting this guy's stuff because I feel sorry for him. <laughs> It's fine. You have his lucky. You have his lucky chopsticks. Exactly. <laughs> I want to get this guy to work for me. I mean, I want to help him. As you guys spread apart, Riku. First thing I need for you, mm -hmm. as you guys yep. are leaving, this is not a check on you or anything like that. I just need you to roll me a straight D twenty. This is just for luck. Straight D twenty. If you had yep. your magician, this would count for it, but you don't. Yep. <laughs> Ripper only to magician. 17's 17. still pretty good, though. Mm -hmm. You and Mars make your way out. On the way there, you don't meet anyone. As Mars uh, begins to start opening things, she tells you it's going to open up in, in about a minute to go ahead and call the others. Okay, we'll call the others. Get going. Gates open it up in a minute. Hyper Ooh, and right, Auto, we'll you guys get the message. You guys... Do you want to start heading out now? Let's go, dude. Are May you going? Well. Show me the exact route the two of you are taking. I'm erasing all the other all the other lines just in case anything gets in the way. <laughs> Where's the front door? I'm very like okay, so that's where the one. gap is, yeah. Mm-hmm. So and I also want you to specify if you're going on the top road or the bottom road. Mm hmm. Right now, we know that uh, there are we know this place guarding. is very busy. Yeah. This place is very busy. On and the we top know road. there are some guards right here. Mm -hmm. But there's just like two fucking guys with binoculars. Yeah. We do, however, know that this area is like for later use. This area is basically empty up here. Mm -hmm. If we're going in, uh, we now have learned this area is mostly neutral. But I have no idea how we get there from here, because, you know, I don't know where the road starts and ends here. I will remind, uh, I believe it was, I believe it actually was you, Piper, whenever you had, uh, did your joyriding uh, around this area. Yeah. Uh, you do know, let me get this tinier. Joyriding, it was very neutral. <laughs> you do know that there is a road here whenever you were doing your, doing your joyriding area. You were, you were going okay, all fun. the way around, uh, and then you did your did your rounds on the on the eight circuit here mm -hmm. like a daddy it's almost like wow, a little like a little like a little, like a little, little yeah okay it's a little okay. late no. but yeah there is a road there you do know that it is there you are the one that has gone on that before yeah my first guess is going this way at least for what <laughs> i'm seeing okay and i'm guessing at that point you're going to be sticking to low roads yep okay Low roads on the eight circuit. Sounds good to me. So you're going to be leaving the eight circuit, mm -hmm. getting mm -hmm. on the low road here, mm -hmm. going across, and then just trying to get to the front this way. That's what, yeah, that's what I, uh, my, my, uh, very good driver instincts are. It my would avoid, very... it would avoid a lot of the stuff up here, so. It would avoid a lot of that. The only, all right, the only thing we won't really be able to avoid if there are more. Drones. They have those those are and, well, the drones are for the crawlers. <laughs> yeah, they're for. That's what I was just saying. That those are for the crawlers, so we don't need to give now, a shit about the drones. Now that we, now that we've gotten that, you guys, since you would have had the time to talk about this, what is your exit plan? 
the exit of the planet is probably going to go through the underground, right? Because we're going to go in, get them set up with the You bikes. know that most of the underground is not good for bikes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I gut again is high road because we know it's basically empty on this side <laughs> at that point they'll be forced to follow us down this way if they have to do it if we want to lose them we might have to go down the crawler area because at that point there'll probably be more bike activity yeah and at that point <laughs> they'll probably back off because they know police go over this area so at that point they probably won't pursue further so exit strategy is going along this high road and going around where the crawler area and sector security area are, and maybe at that point either going this way or this way to get back home. That that looks good like to me. Right, yeah. Uh, Will, Lindo, you have any issues with this plan? No issues with that. Nope. At all. And again, I'm so sorry, I forgot a lot. Of that's, no, fine. You're good. that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it, man. That is a long path but it is probably a safe path. It's probably a safe path. A little bit probably. Mm -hmm. most, and who knows, most anything likely. could happen like at, at this point, this point, or this point who that knows, could make man. us decide not to go down that way. Who knows, man. Um, with that being said, I will say, with you guys going completely out of the way and going this way, you are going to avoid most, if not all traffic going here. Again, okay. everybody's usually distracted. You guys will easily be able to get there within a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, hell yeah. As hell the yeah, three yeah, of you yeah. would make your way off in that direction, the only time you ever get any sort of things happening is when you get right outside of the crawler base. Once you get there, you're pretty sure all bets are off anyway. Uh, as soon as you guys <laughs> get there, you guys see that just outside of the area, you see there is a, uh, there is a, a couple of people walking. You see Lincoln Park for a second as Link is like rubbing a, a bandage he has on his face, staring daggers at Park, who's just like, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. Uh, as the three of you notice, they immediately hear the sounds of bikes going off and the three of them, or the three of you speed your way in. They don't expect you guys to be able to get in because you know, there's a door there, there's a gate there. You guys speed right through. <laughs> as you guys do we are now currently alarm mode one i can find it Jimmy Bob? i can find it Jimmy Bob? i can find it Jimmy Bob? <laughs> effect builder <laughs> i don't remember this one what's this one that's good let's do that one that's good <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I was like, what is sweatshop? Oh, wait, that's sweatshop. Okay. Yeah, the security alarm. <laughs> as soon as you guys enter in, you find yourselves completely, uh, completely with a, uh, a blaring alarm over top of your, uh, over top of the entirety of the Harborman base. I will say Riku, Priska, you guys hear this immediately as soon as this happens. As Mars looks off to, uh, off to you guys, ah, that's definitely, that's definitely them. They got spotted. I don't think they could have yeah. not been spotted though with the, you know, bikes. It's perfect. Let's rush back over. Attention. Let's rush back to runner. Yep, let's go. At this point, Riku, you will be mm -hmm. outside of things. You will be rushing your way through the actual Harborman base to get there. We'll get to you in a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll be trying to catch up with runner, Priska. You this and Susie. <laughs> You and Susie will be uh, looking forward. As soon as the alarm goes off, you see the gate in front of you begin to lift as if this thing has set to basically let people get out in a hurry in case something like this happens. As soon as it opens up, you see three bikes coming your way. As squints to see if those are our bikes. They are your bikes. Yay. That's our cure STUV. We all fell off. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you all fall off at the same time. As soon as you things are, <laughs> as soon as things are said and done, the three of them make their way in. Currently, I would like to know who is taking what. Currently, Piper, you are set to try to be a distraction for them. Yep. 
both uh, both street and auto uh, being the more quote unquote experienced drivers here uh, since they went out that one time. Um, <laughs> which one are you wanting to take, Auto? I guess I will take um I I will take the 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 lady. You will take the ladies. I'll take the ladies. Okay. Susie is hoping to get dark power from you once again. Yes, exactly. As you get uh, the sidecar that has the that has the ladies on it. Currently, I will not give you guys any sort of sidecar stuff because these sidecars are currently being very weighed down. Um, not only with the fact that there are people there, but also there, there are a lot of things connected to these sidecars, including gigantic suitcases and whatever the fuck runner packed. Um, do, do I see any glint of gold in all this? Uh, Just again, a... you would note that, um, uh, whenever you guys were talking over the intercoms, that, uh, Mars had said that they did pack some of the gold you guys had sold them. Poggers. Da -da -da -da. Priska, you get onto the one with Street. Uh, you set up the sidecar as soon as it gets there. You and Street set it up extremely quickly, as quick as you can. Um, and Jet is then secured to the side. Piper, I would like to know, yes, how are things going to go here? You know that these guys are going to be rushing out of here as soon as they're ready. There's about five minutes until uh, while they get everything set to basically rush out. Are you going to be driving in front of them or behind them i'm going to say probably behind them let them take the lead so they're actually able to go around okay and that way i can serve this buffer for the way people start coming around it lets me start choosing a little bit more carefully because if i'm here there's a chance we can crash into them okay if you were going behind them da -da -da -da. So, Piper, what kind of distraction do you have in mind? Piper, Is that a pipe bomb? <laughs> Piper, I want you to roll me for your potential. Okay. Uh, You know what? I'll put two Pipers. I don't know what this is, but I believe sometimes potentially things can have potential in them. Potentially, potential, potentials. Potentially, potentials. Potentially. Why the fuck is this random guy in my sheet? I have six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Roll me two more times. Okay. <laughs> That'll do it okay, as so well. The last two. Fourteen. Fourteen. Hey. And five. So fourteen, five, six, nineteen, twenty. A dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Dirty you 20. count very fast. Da -da -da. I will now. Two. Scroll off screen really quick as I check a thing. If I'm forced to divide, I have to be like, hold on, let me get the calculator. Making sure. Yes. Okay. That is. You guys are gonna be. You guys are gonna hate me for that. Uh, luckily. Oh uh, boy. I, I can roll low though. It's fine. It'll, it, it can low roll. It's 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 it's, it's, it's a possibility. The dice you are gonna do what they do. See, yep. I can roll low. Let's fucking go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. As you guys get ready to go, we are going to split things off between the two separate groups. Currently, Otto, you do not have to worry about anything. Unless Piper falls, you, don't have, you do not have to really worry. Your main goal right now is go fast. Going fast makes you, makes feel, you alive. feel alive. Yeah, right. <laughs> My heart beats in hyperdrive. Exactly. <laughs> you get it. Also, who the I think fuck put these heart beats in darkness? Who the fuck put these sidecars on the wrong spots? God. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Piper, get on the right side of your bike for God's sake. Anyway. I'm on the <laughs> I am an invisible sidecar. <laughs> As you guys start making your way off. Yeah. First things first, Riku. Mm -hmm. As you, Mars, hmm, I got. I was gonna say you, Mars, and Runner, but you got. You're trying to catch up with Runner right now. Yeah. As you and Mars start running, uh, running your way toward the underground area uh, in order to get yourselves out of there, uh, we are going to because the alarm has now gone off. We are going to have you roll me for a demeanor check, please. Mm -hmm. And I would like you to roll with disadvantage. 
God. Unless you have some way to negate that. No, it's fine. Uh, disadvantage we go. Mm -hmm. If I can fucking scroll, I need to. Just letting people on know, um, know on the other side when they have disadvantage, fleetings do not work. Yeah. 10, second row. <laughs> Three. Seven. Riku, as you are making your way through, unfortunately, mm -hmm. you do find that since everybody is now on high alert, that uh, you are immediately oust as not being a member of the crawlers. As you start running by, people do see what appears to be Mars making their way through, but they also see you running after Mars. And for a moment, it's like, hey, is that guy chasing Mars? Wait, that's Riku. They, they're not fooled by the fade. Damn it. Unfortunate. It's fine. It's a good fade. <laughs> as you rush off, Heading off toward the uh, the inevitable, heading off toward the area you would like to you would like to go to. People point out that you're going off in that direction. They start yelling, and as they do, you find them going to their dual disc. They are communicating. The tower is up, which does mm -hmm. mean you start hearing what appears to be the sound of a bike revving off in the distance. Riku, great. Yep. I would like you to go ahead and roll me for your instinct. Gotcha. Uh, da, da, da. Let's go. N 19. Uh, you needed a 20 to live. Sorry. That's yeah, all good. <laughs> <laughs> That's Riku, fine. As you start mm -hmm. making your way through, uh, you do find that as soon as you hear that bike, you start clocking where you think it is. You start, uh, you start making your way through. As soon as you are sure you know where it's at, you grab Mars and you pull the two of you into one of the crevices between buildings as you see what appears to be a modified sector security bike go speeding by you. On top of said, uh, said bike, you see what appears to be, um, uh, what appears to be someone who kind of looks as if they're dressed in a modified version of those darkness robes you remember those uh those shadow duelists those shadow riders wearing you also remember in front of the harborman base a couple of those guys got defeated and were kind of left there um <laughs> as you see this go right. down uh as you see this go down you expected them to disappear somebody took their bike and they didn't disappear so um <laughs> yeah <laughs> we learned that the hard way <laughs> But uh, as this happens, you pull Mars out of the way. You start making your way through the other way. I'd like you to once again, go ahead and roll me this time. I would like you to mm -hmm. give me a potential check. Yeah, potential. Mm -hmm. Potentially, I have a good roll in that. Uh, let's yeah, put Luke's version in roll. that. That is a natural uh, 20. Nat 20. Uh, 24. Okay, so you had a higher potential check. Da, 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 da. Riku. Yes. As you find that there are several people looking around for you, people are yelling out uh, Riku, and they're also yelling out Mars, which means that the jig is probably up between Mars. They're looking for Mars as well. No one's saying runner yet. That's pretty fine. Mm -hmm. um, That's good. As you make your way over toward where the underground starts, you do find uh, that there is the the sound of something wrenching. You hear you hear the sound of like of, of metal, like almost like bending and scraping and like being being uh, bent and mutilated. As you hear that coming from below you, I'd like you to roll me for finesse. Gotcha. Let's roll that finesse, baby. <laughs> that one as a natural one riku as you are running with mars you find uh, that as soon as you so no. you did not have leadings gotcha you find that as soon as you turn the corner looking off to go after where uh, where mars is or uh, not where mars is where you know that runner is you see runner in front of you you see him put he has some kind of a large uh some kind of a large pipe or some kind of large metal object seemingly holding up this large gate that seems to be made of the same junk like material that the walls are he's trying to keep the area of the underground open for you guys 
but it is it is looking as if it is being destroyed as runner sees you guys coming he speeds his way inside he's like come on like calling back towards you guys as it's happening mars gets a little ahead of you and you trip yep i want to know riku mm -hmm. you could call to mars mm -hmm. and have mars turn around and help you it doesn't look like mars has noticed you tripped yet mm -hmm. with if it was anybody else i would say they would make a noise when they hit the ground but you are riku <laughs> yes <laughs> you are riku with your with your six resilience stoic riku noise i want to know do you want to mm -hmm. call out to mars to have mars help you get up or do you want to not call out to mars um you know what i'll do the riku thing because riku would do this he wouldn't call out to mars as soon as you trip unfortunately as soon as you trip mars gets a couple steps ahead of you she does seem to get through to the other side of the gate runner grabbing her arm and pulling her through she looks back and as soon as she does she see her look to you her eyes go wide with a a sense of first off shock and then anger <laughs> yeah i know as she I looks know. like she's gonna run back runner grabs her right whenever the pipe seems to snap and the gate for them uh for the underground seems to close mm. Runner and Runner and Mars made it into the underground. You are still in the Harborman base. Oh yeah, no, this is fine. It's, uh, where on the map would you say I am just currently? If you were right outside of the area, I would like you to come over here to mm -hmm. the map. Da, 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 da. Yep. You are exactly where I put your bike. You are right here. You are in the entrance to the underground. Gotcha. Um, fucking time to swim again. This way. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to try to run to the water? Yep. Riku, you see that happen? You immediately book it in the opposite direction. You get up and you start making your way out. Upon doing so, I would have you roll something here for something. However, I got to get to another thing first because you had the higher roll out of you and Piper. So Piper, what up? First things first, let me get the three bikes once again over here on the main map. Piper, the three of you start speeding out. You guys start going along the path that you guys said you were going on to. One of you tear, um, uh, tears off as one of you guys are in a slightly better bike than the others. Um, yours may be completely taken in by darkness and yours may have been made by magic just like the others. This one is literally a bike that is meant to be a an actual an actual uh, an actual, you know, professional dueling bike. It does pull a little bit ahead as the three of you are going. You are specifically wanting to be behind Otto. Otherwise, you would feel like you could outpace Otto as well. Otto, your bike is great. It's a shadow bike. It's magic. It's not as fast as the other two. As you are speeding going off, as the three of you are going forward, as soon as the turn happens, as soon as you guys get to a point where you feel the turn is going on, Piper. You don't hear anything for a moment. He says, turning off the uh, uh, turning off the music purposely this time. The music went off. What the fuck? <laughs> as okay, soon as the others ahead. turn, you no longer hear the sound of bikes. You no longer hear the sound of the city. For a brief moment, as you get ready for the turn, you look off in the direction that you know that some of the other harbormen are, and your eyes meet with someone hello oh shit as soon as the others turn their way and you saying you wanted to be behind them which is why I had mm -hmm. asked earlier. 
because whoever was in the last place here was going to have a potential of seeing this. Your eyes meet with a certain boy. He sees you fleeing from the Harbourman base. He sees you fleeing with the prisoners, with two of his sidecars. He barely seems to look over toward that area, though. He just stares at you for a moment. He closes his eyes. All of this is happening almost in the fraction of a second. You're almost like Akira sliding forward a bit as you're like doing your turn. Like in slow motion. Yeah, as you're like about to do your turn. He closes his eyes. And as soon as he opens them, you're standing on the ground. I'm like, I just control all delete my bike. <laughs> you look around. You don't appear to be in the city currently. Where the fuck am I? You are in darkness. Very similar to the darkness you have first been in whenever you guys have first fought Hextrude. Mm -hmm. Give me a moment. As as soon as you are here, you do feel an overwhelming sense of dread around you. You didn't need the music for that. I already feel the overwhelming sense of dread. <laughs> <laughs> you feel you can see him more clearly as you go to reach up towards your head, and you feel that uh, you're not wearing your your helmet anymore either. Okay, all right. No more safety. <laughs> He looks to you. Do I know you? I feel like I've seen you before. I feel like we've seen each other, yes. I've seen a lot of people. Not many are worth remembering. Who are you? That's weird. I thought you'd remember. Why is that? I mean, I guess in the grand scheme of things, you might not have. Of everything happening all the time. Hmm. <clears throat> I have a question first. What is this? What? <laughs> Do you know who I am? I've definitely seen you before. Is that a question you... Wait, do you not know who you are? I know who I am. Okay. I want to know if you know who I am. I feel like the answer I'm going to give isn't going to be satisfactory, but I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. I believe you are the leader of the Harbormen. So that is all you know of me? You're kind of a shrouded and mystery kind of guy. If that's all you know, why are you standing out so much? I'm not following. Your name. My, my name? Who Piper? are you? Piper. Interesting. <sighs> not that I care. But why are you... taking my things? I'm pretty sure this place is gonna have some very interesting thing happen happening very soon. Elaborate. I 
I mean, considering I'm currently seeing you, we have Shadow Vision, I think that we can both figure out what interesting means in this case. The more you talk, the more time you have. Just kind of thinking, like... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, not even like fear, just like question mark. Listen, explain to him the entire plot of the B movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, all right, according to all the maps, I just starts choking you out. <laughs> he freaking Homer Simpsons you like, ah! <laughs> Did you know that they pour on him? <laughs> Was the interesting thing just what's happening now, then? Or did you have actually something important to say? I think the clear answer here is... The crawlers are definitely moving to do something else. And you guys seem to have gone away in line of duty. Oh, that's that's way too... that's way too different. Hold on. <laughs> nothingness. Let's go nothingness. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I love some nothingness. The crawlers. Right. They're doing their... little... tournament, correct? Do you know your sisters in the crawlers? Yes. They're babysitting her right now. They're babysitting her. They're doing what I wished. I thought you were looking for her. I was. <sighs> That's where I know you from. The shadows with that witch, right? I thought the monkey was set up more, but yeah, the, yeah, the thing with the witch. Whenever all that magic happened around us, I felt I felt her leave this place. And so I made it to where she would stay. What? I wished for my sister what I did not understand, that she was lacking ambition. That witch made it possible. Now my sister, though I didn't know where she was at the time, I know that she is currently trying to seek to become a part of the strongest faction here in the satellite. Am I wrong? I probably believe you're correct. <laughs> you can call it differing opinions. My sister, from what I knew, would never wish to stay here. She always wanted to help me with the Harbormen, as if that was something that was ever going to last. So... Whenever I felt the magic of whatever that place gave... I gave her a little nudge in the right direction. The Crawlers, though. Interesting. Were you keeping that from me then? Was that something that... I shouldn't know? I'm not sure, honestly. I'll let you know this. While you are here... There is nothing about my sister you can hide from me. I wish to give her ambition. 
but I did not know where she was until I brought you into this place. So tell me. Why did you not just come and tell me where she was whenever you knew? Because you were missing. Missing. He looks as genuinely confused at what you say that. The push of her? Though I, from what we heard, you weren't. No one knew where you were when we went and looked. Interesting. That's an interesting way to say it. Were you intending? To, were you not intending to disappear? It was the first time I had ever made my way into that world where I had met you. To me, it has only been a couple of hours. How long have, have I been in left? that world? In the shadows and the darkness? Uh, judging from time. Uh, well, today, maybe three days or so? I will give you a pass then. Return to me what you have taken from me and I'll let you live. What is that? What, you really care that much about that jet guy? Not really. What I care about is you coming in and taking it from me. Even if I wanted to make the decision, I don't think I'd be the one to make it. I physically, literally can't, considering I neither have to, I have neither of the two of them. I'd assume since you were riding by yourself, you were calling the shots. Was I wrong in that assumption? Yeah, There's a single fly in shots. this room that has been here since yesterday. And I hate it. <laughs> Wait, for real? It's... I it ha I don't. It's been flying around, and I just felt it land on my head. <laughs> and I, I hate it. Like a launch off into a very badass monologue about flies. <laughs> and I'm like, no, Nicholas I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a fly in my room. It just did it again. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you good? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Let's go back to okay. what I was saying. All right, go ahead. Oh, that's not the correct thing. Let's go back to, let's do alone. Alone's fun. Uh, trouble encounter? No, let's go caves. All right, anyway. So I was wrong. You're not the one calling the shots then? I think you'll find it hard to find who's calling the shots around this little area. He starts walking off, heading off in the direction that you feel that Otto and the others were <laughs> when you were on a bike. You're not sure Man, if that's the same I thing sure now. I'm not doing the turn still because it's going to be bad. <laughs> you don't nothing seems to be happening with you. No, I'm fine. I'm just sitting here like if this is like a Bobby body double situation. He's like, huh, I went missing for that long. I was just here for five minutes. And I'm just thinking us like it's like five years later. We're like, Piper, we've been looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to find this calling the shots anyway? Is it really just getting what some some guys? He looks back at you. I didn't realize you still wanted to talk. I really don't know what else to do considering I we're here. You can stick around here until I've decided to let you go. 
Oh, this is like a prisoner thing then. To answer your question, I don't like it when people feel like they can do whatever they want. So you want to exert that control, is what I'm getting here. Is that not what this place needs? Control? Maybe. This place loves to quarrel over control all the time. From what I Although know... Although we weren't probably expected to come this way, considering, as far as we know, all we heard is that the Harper men were going completely shut off and disappeared of their communications. Which I guess is a form of control. In all different ways of seeing it. From what I know... Sector Security is going to be leaving in a couple of days' time. At which point, they will not return until they find out who is going to be ending whatever is happening here. Unless that's changed in the last couple of days, at least. Once they figure out what's happening here, they're going to go on with whatever they plan to do afterwards, or whatever the bigwigs over in Neo Domino are doing. But, when that is all over, my sister will be in charge of the crawlers. I'll be in charge of the harbormen. The rare hunters are going to be no more in your group if they know what's good for them. will disappear as well. Is it really that easy to just become leader of the crawlers? Or is this just part of the tournament shtick? You've seen the current leader, have you not? Do you know anything about them? I'm, no I'm guessing since you saw my sister, you've been at least deep enough that you've seen their corporate influences. The crawlers have a lot of backing in them. But due to the fact that both me and my sister have used whatever that magic of that witch was to get her in that place, I doubt that there's going to be anything there that's going to stand in her way. Do you expect her to just barrel through that competition then? Would no one else have ever wished of something similar to that, except for her? Or if I guess you in this else... case? If someone else wins, I'll just defeat them instead. I don't actually plan on taking part in that tournament, but if you think that there's someone there who can defeat my sister after I've already given her all the advantages she can, then perhaps I shall. Is there anyone in the crawlers that fits that description? Capable of beating her? If I had to guess from the constant gallivanting that he tends to do, we believe that's probably beatdown. Hmm. That one is a enigma. I'll admit I don't know much about them. All of a sudden, they went from being a cockroach, a cog in the machine, to someone who has a lot of influence in that group. And I don't know why. <sighs> and that makes something that we're both interested in, doesn't it? Don't worry then, I'll go find him and send him here, and you can talk to him all you want. I don't think that would go very well for either of us. Hmm. Again, I... You know this place is weird, as he's going to point around, as you can see here. That's when you start the... moving in his direction, he does actually look to you again with that very similar look of confusion that he gave you before. But you, you keep talking. What, do you not see the fucking darkness? Is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> he seemed to be confused by you moving over here. 
Oh, okay. So I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't the only one in the shadow room. You're in your fucking <laughs> room playing the Wii. <laughs> At this point, and again with the whole magic thing floating around, we don't know what he wished for. Which also makes him... I don't know what you call him. A nuisance? A frat? I don't know. It really depends on how you're catching it, but I don't know what he's planning either. You are... more of a threat than he is. Then wouldn't it be easier to just let us bite each other? You shouldn't if Jonas... be... Hmm? You shouldn't be moving right now. He watches you as you kind of hop forward a bit. <laughs> Piper starts dancing. <laughs> Flipping him off the whole time. <laughs> double bird. Does Throwing the, the double Maguire bird. Because, does the bully Maguire because she's like, Ricky does this. <laughs> does the That's bully dancing. Maguire. <laughs> you I'm have... just saying. Oh, go ahead. You have a powerful spirit backing you, don't you? Shrugs. <laughs> Your cards. They're not normal. You didn't. Oh, well, you know what they said about cards wanting to get played. You didn't get those from Neo Domino. And you sure as hell didn't get those from the satellite. Where have you been getting your cards? Yo, this music Great the job fuck? music! Holy shit! That was such a good drop for that! Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> Where no, have you been remember. getting your cards? Look around you. Or I guess look around you in a more of like a... metaphysical sense. Listen, I'm not gonna... I'm sure we can, I guess, just... I mean, I guess I can stay here and you can find the other guy in this weird prison that you've made. But I think... that we might... be able to help you. And I'm gonna very slowly try, mm -hmm. very slightly, mm -hmm. to bring this card over. We <laughs> <laughs> gotta seduce him. It's the lovers. Let's go. You, you gotta seduce him. You got. You got. I don't want to kiss him. With your hair. I don't want to kiss him. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to this. Okay. Consider it used. I'm gonna hold okay. on to this. All but right. As you get closer to him, as you say that you can help him out. You seem interesting. And I'm sure that you are not... evil. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to kill you. Oh, shit. <laughs> you see him turn towards you as he does. You see the jacket that he's wearing almost flow back behind him for a second as if it was a cape. He spreads his arm out to the side, and you see a dark-looking dual disc appear on his arm that seems to go all the way up to, like, his shoulder. As he holds on to this dual disc, you see a deck of cards appear inside of the dual disc. Mm -hmm. In that moment, you look on your arm as you see your dual disc has appeared. The worst he can say is it's no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The, 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 the bus comes, crashes into the thing. I'm afraid I'm going to have to kill you. 
You know what they say about shooting your shot? Sometimes the guy kills you. <laughs> it's like, you... man, this is, you know what? It's just a duel. Is that all pieces of Exodia? What the fuck? You know, sometimes you have to shoot your shot, but in response, you get shot. So, I mean, I don't know, man. So, I tried. So. I'm not going to say anything else. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab this deck over here. No, no, it's fine. I'm assuming that this guy is going to cook me dry. <laughs> no, no, I'm just going to grab this deck over here. All right. And good job. Good job, music. And I'm going to move it over here toward toward uh, toward this little this little uh, place over here. Mm hmm. You don't see his face, but Thriller Killer has his arms crossed looking at you like the totally I told you so expression. Okay, all right, I'll go grab my deck. Yep, and... Dude, uh, dude I wanted to, like... I wanted to, I don't know, I went with Tahiti today before I died. I wanted to, I don't know, uh, go to Crash Town. I told you guys at yeah, one point... Yeah, I know, but I could at least no. fix this. No, 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 no. It's, 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 it's something different. I told you guys at one point that... At a certain point, I was going to, to, uh, to do a thing. And I'm going to do that thing right now. Mm -hmm. Um... Prisca, as you go to draw your cards, Hi. eight thousand life points. No, not Peter, not Prisca. Piper, as you go to draw your cards, you find that as soon as you draw them, did you shuffle your deck already? I'll shuffle them, sure, man. As soon as you draw your cards, you find all of those cards seem to be hovering around the battlefield. They're completely oh. visible to both you and him. Okay. They're joined with other cards. However, as... I better see free pots agreed. As Piper. Yeah, man? You can also see his hand. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> as you look you see and you feel what appears to be the presence of several of those blank cards that seem to be full of spiritual energy each of them feeling as if they are from a different collection or even just a single powerful spirit mm -hmm. they are each giving off that same amount of energy as a fully charged blank card. And when this you look to the deck- This is a very long maximum monster. <laughs> when you look to the deck, it seems to even continue further in that aspect. Oh no, he's gonna link summon. Piper. <laughs> yeah. You would go first. Mm -hmm. So go on ahead. Oh yeah, man, are you ready for the fucking duel of the century? Here's the koi ching. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, you would draw a card. Do I draw a card? Oh, yeah. one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, I do. Right. Yeah, we, here's, uh, here's the spear. Oh, yeah, it's, it's in my hand. Who cares? <laughs> and that's what you do with your turn? Uh, yeah, what else? Is this? Is this a deck that was, uh, it is a deck? He would draw. I mentioned to you guys this off screen, mm -hmm. but you do find, let me make sure I'm correct. I have to look at a card really quick that isn't actually showing right now, but we'll show in just a second. Um, okay, bug. You just had to do premarital dating, didn't you, Piper? No. <laughs> you see him place a card onto the field. As he does, mm -hmm. I activate Dark Fusion. The card, uh, as he plays it on the field, seems to change into the card Dark Fusion. Oh. Fusing together these two monsters in my hand. As you see, the two black cards in his hand turn into very fiendish looking monsters very dark uh -huh. fiendish looking monsters 
Mm hmm. As it does. To summon. Yep. I'm going to change. This is a card I can look at. This is a, definitely a card you can look at. Look at that, look at that card. It's so great. It's so wonderful. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Can you bring something so I can? <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to get. I, I, I tried to like, like, like go over it to try to try to change it, but it didn't work. Where's Bubble Man at? <laughs> Where Bubble Man bring go? Bring up Bubble Man Plus. There's Bubble Man. Thank you. Well, I needed to grab a card that uh that was a single card. Um, mm -hmm. you'll see in a second. Uh, okay. I couldn't do this to to the other card because it wouldn't let me. You have so to I'm do gonna, it a bubble man, you bastard. I have to do it to bubble man, yeah. I'm going to right click and go to custom because I can only customize mm -hmm. certain types of cards. Mm -hmm. In order to summon evil hero, calamitous king, Xerix. Ooh, that's a long card. That is a... Oh, this custom, custom. Oh, okay. That's a big boy. This is a maximum killer. Yes, it okay, is. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> what the boy. hell is that card? By summoning Calamitous King Zexix. Uh, he closes his eyes, he looks to you. I call Thriller Knight Hydra. Okay. It's not on the deck. That is the only one that I could think of whenever I look at you. That being said, I will then place down three cards onto the field. And I will end my turn. Okay, I'll draw. I guess. Hi, Morphing Jar. You're not bad. I like you, but in this case, it's weird. Yeah. Cause this guy has cards? Question mark. He, he can just make things appear. <laughs> what the fuck is this card? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so it is just... Alright, understood. Oh, it's a Wicked card. That makes sense. Try and remember oh. the name. We gotta question a certain fam dealer about it. <laughs> Survive! You guys are lucky you gave me one piece. So I'll flip over the Koichi, the battle check, and lower motive to draw one card. And then I'll flip it back, basically, with it, it, it fact. I say it with all my fucking words in the world. Beep, 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 beep. I'm thinking of what cards I have in the deck, because, yeah, I mean, we're clearly going to get exploded, but I want to at least play the game. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, you play that game. <laughs> I will enjoy my five seconds of gameplay. I'll set two cards face down and end my turn. <sighs> Finally. I draw. I will choose to play Harpy's Feather Duster. It would be really funny that he just chooses another... You know what? At least, I think it'll at least be funny in the case of everything to play Dark Bribe on it. You're gonna Dark Bribe it? Yep. He opens Dark Bribe too. You see him look to your Dark Bribe as he does. I will play Dark Bribe. Yes! Well, fuck it. Let's keep chaining, baby. Go for it, man. <laughs> no, no, it's not continuous. It wouldn't work. Uh. <laughs> yeah. You see him sigh at that and stop and look to you. Oh, right. He does get to draw a card. No, I do. Oh, you get to draw a card. Mind. That's true. That's true. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, fuck. He didn't have to dark bribe that. <laughs> <laughs> Understood you actually got it. That, that, honestly, he should have just let that go through. <laughs> Oh god. Honestly, I thought the black were monsters and the white were magic trap. <laughs> He'll end his turn. You got him, you got him on that. <laughs> you fucking got him on that. It was great. <laughs> you got I me on that. I didn't even him. fucking think about it. 
<laughs> I'll flip the coin to the draw. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> We're going to slowly, one turn at a time, draw one card. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. You know what? Sure, Nudoria can be here. Because I like him. And I'll set a card face down and end turn. I draw. As he looks to the card, which again you would see. <sighs> he looks to the cards he has on the field. I end my turn. I'll draw. What's even happening? I'll flip over the coach and draw <laughs> one card. This is oh. so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I might actually help you at some point. Yeah, man, when I finally get past this monster in one point yeah. in the next 50 years. You can do it. I'll bring him here. Why not? I like him too. And turn. <laughs> as soon as you go to end your turn, you see him. I activate Mystical Space Typhoon to destroy the card you just played. The Frightening Rory? Yeah, okay. He draws. I am my turn. I draw. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we're gonna be here forever, aren't we? <laughs> I mean, you got Blaze Rabbit. No, 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 I'm convinced. I'm gonna flip out the court you to draw one card. This is going to be the world's stupidest fight, because really, what's gonna happen here, as I understand it, is we'll get past <laughs> it and then he'll bring back Dark Fusion again, forever and ever. He needs all the cards to be there, though. He currently has no hand. He has two cards in his hand. He has two. He has two. He has two, he he has two cards in his hand. What we have to do is uh, never, never uh, lose. You can skip back down. Never lose, baby. All I'm saying is, if Frill Kill can attack the. No, he can't. That's a different thing. Beep, beep. Hold on. I'm using my brain. This is, this is a good idea to use my brain right Which now, but idea? I think. Again, we're kind of just doing an exercise in futility right now. <laughs> God, if I had one monster on the field, I could have a meme and then it'd be worth it. But I don't. Well, I know what you're talking about. I know. <laughs> this shit sucks. So instead, what I'll do is I will just set a card and we'll end turn. We'll be here forever. We can just fill up the field and chill. He will draw. Finally. I will activate Heavy Storm. This card destroys sure all is. magic and trap cards on both of our fields. Okay. I will place down one card. And I will end my turn. Okay, I'll draw. Yeah, I'm gonna flip the card. Oh, shoot, it's not <laughs> It's so funny, cause like. <laughs> he, if I was playing my normal deck, he could just regeki and we could move on. But they're, they're all face down, so he has to put like five different individual Noble Man across us before we can leave. Uh, yeah, I'll just. Oh, you're thinking, you're thinking Lightning Vortex. Lightning Vortex, yeah, right, I can use both up. I think everything on the field, yeah. 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 Which, by the way... Use the Regeki, <laughs> by the way, please. He Come needed, on, dude. He needed to get four cards. Is that how it works to get Regeki? No, well, he needed to get four cards for a certain thing, you see. Okay, I want to see the second monster. He's not going to play another monster. <laughs> Is it going to be Super Explosion Typhoon 64? I activate Regeki. To destroy all your monsters on the field. Okay. They have effects, right? Uh, only when in battle, because uh, that was the big thing with this deck. Okay. I thought um, I then I'll activate DNA surgery. I will call machines. Okay. I will then activate limiter removal. Okay. Doubling oh, yeah, we the attack are of my monster. Continue as usual. <laughs> Doubling the attack of my monster. Mm -hmm. 
evil hero Calamitous King Zen Zenzex attack directly. I would yell right now to give it the effect, but it is currently 11 p.m. So, uh, oh, can someone do it for me? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Go for it. Well, you're up. I can't. I can't, dude. Ah! That's a good. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do it right now, so, but it is currently 11. I like having people in my house. So I would like to have everyone know before this, mm -hmm. this goes on, I talked. I talked to you guys beforehand about this, and I'm still very sorry I didn't. <laughs> no, no, it happens. What I'm mad is I wanted to duel, damn it. I know, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could have not had this happen. I, I, I could have <laughs> potentially. You could have, but he wanted it to happen. So I, there's no, difference. there's, there's reasons it has well, to go listen, down. You wanted to show off your things. It's no, cool. that, what things? I, these are the, they're blank cards. What things am I showing off? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You showed off a new ability, and a new card that kills maximum monsters. No, don't worry. So you showed off. I'm, I, I just want people at home to know that I tried. I talked to the players about it, and this was not something that's gonna happen a lot. Um, happen a lot. What a lot. Fuck? I said this is like not that something that's gonna happen thing. a lot. It's like I oh, don't know. I play. Uh, you find change of heart. you find Piper as he was going through. He seemed to just again. Even in the cards. meta of this, call out cards and just use them. As this happens... He was playing the real playground rules. You remember back whenever he had fought Hextrude and the fact that he still had 8,000 life points whenever he defeated her. And the fact that it seemed to happen extremely quickly. You don't see any sort of joy in his face as he does this. You don't see any sort of any sort of accomplishment, any sort of uh, almost really anything coming off of him. He seems to I mean, be sure, as stoic also the as man possible. Dark bribe, dark bribe. He should be ashamed of himself. I that I should not have done that. <laughs> I could have just I could have just not, and then won that turn. Um, <laughs> but as all that goes down, you get knocked back. And as you get knocked back from this, after taking the eight thousand life points. Zenzex doesn't seem to disappear. The monster seems to hover in front of you. As it does, you see this kingly creature donning this extremely black, just, just obsidian armor seem to walk up towards you, drawing a blade out from its side. You see as this happens. This feels familiar. You see as it happens. You see as it happens. This man begins to walk away. You try to get up, but you're in that duelist fatigue mode, where you just lost eight thousand fucking life points in a shadow game, and you're you're really not having a great time. I feel my bones, dude. As this king approaches. He swings down. And Piper. Before you even can recognize or gasp about it. You see red in front of your eyes. A spout of red liquid. Comes out from you. You don't even remember seeing him swing the blade. You look down as you see a hole. You stumble forward. And as it all happens, you seem to disappear. This is what happens when you die. I think it's unrealistic, personally, two out of ten. Auto. <laughs> yeah. I get the regular music back for a second, buddy. <laughs> Are you sure? 
Are you sure you don't want this to just immediately go into the darkness realm? Because I get a feeling that that's what's about to happen here. Otto. Yeah. As you go flying around the corner, you look back for a moment as you feel something happen. It feels very similar to that shadow game feeling you had felt before. It feels <clears throat> very similar, almost identical to that feeling. As you look back, you see what appears to be a man walking on the road over towards you. And you see behind him what appears to be Piper's bike slamming and crashing into the side of the road. Oh, that's what happened. As this man looks off towards you, Susie, can you drive? You say that to Susie. Uh, yeah, I, you, yeah, I can do it. Well, why, what okay, are you doing? Uh, something stupid as I'm going to use a trick and I'm going to get off the bike. Oh, you can, you can get off that bike, buddy. You can jump mm -hmm. the fuck off that bike. Priska, yep. you hear a little yeah. bit ahead as you hear just a, what are you doing? From back behind you, as you look back and see Susie reaching out toward an auto who has landed onto the ground behind where the bike was. As Susie has taken Otto? the wheel. Auto. Auto seems to be having landed. I don't even make, I'm not even gonna make you, make you waste a trick on that. You just do that, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's just it's cool. Like, well, you no, just toss right the, the fuck off. It's the fucking hair, it gives you powers. As soon as it happens, you find as Otto starts walking, and as this person starts walking, a seeming darkness starts appearing around the two of them for a moment, Prisca, until they both vanish. I would like to assume in that moment, he is literally like, he doesn't know what's happening. He is literally just taking that moment to switch out his death. Emerald. For his Emerald, you. I've talked yeah. to you guys about this. I Can know. I... Can I assume what I think is going to happen is going to happen? That I'm going to lose? That you're going to duel. Yes. I'm... Can I assume what's going to be the end of that? <laughs> do you want to keep... Do you want to actually go through it or... Part of me wants to actually go through it because there is the, the singular chance that Uriah could get on the field. But I don't know if that will be enough to. There is a chance Uriah can get on the field, but remember Uriah has to have a lot of things in the graveyard for it to have any sort of attack. This creature that he just played, and again, I'm talking to you, not not the player, obviously, or not the yeah, not the character. Yeah, yeah. This character that that was just played, this this creature that was just played, is just better than a. Uriah at base strength. You would need mm -hmm. to get an extra trap card in the graveyard before he would be able to get that stuff out. Mm -hmm. I just want to I just want to make sure that you because remember the entire reason I, I talked to you guys about it before was to basically save time. Yeah. If that is the case and we want to save time, we can skip over the duel. We can skip the duel, but we can still do this, though. As mm -hmm. Otto, you jump down. You find the darkness appearing around. And again, maybe it's because of the Yelunger magics. Maybe it's something that goes down, but you feel just the absolute slightest bit of control over the area around you. As the darkness comes around, you feel, unlike with Piper, you actually feel somewhat present with this as he does seem to stop looking over to you. Let me go ahead and switch back to this playlist. I'm very... Are you the one calling the shots? I wish I could say I was, but no, it's more of a group effort. <sighs> That's what the last one said. What happened to her? I saw what happened to the bike.
Which one of you is calling the shots? No one singular person is calling the shots here. Unfortunately for you, you can't just take one person down and we all just back down, I guess. As you say you that, I'm going to, to for. as you say that, I'm going to assume you step forward. Of course. As you are getting closer to him, he looks to you. Does my arm still feel numb or at least in this nope. world it feels like... It is yeah. normal. It feels normal as fuck. <laughs> this arm feeling normal as hell, baby. In fact, that arm feels... feels you're, you're like, oh, that's a good arm. I got that arm. It almost feels better. <laughs> that's a good arm right there. That's a good arm right there. You, you, he will be just like um, doing that like motion of like feeling his arm, stretching a little bit. Hmm, interesting. As you step forward, he stares to you, just like the other one. You're if too dangerous just... to keep going. Why are there so many of you in that group? You shouldn't be moving. Where do you get your cards? I find them. The majority of the cards you hold are not from the satellite, nor are they from Neo Domino. Mm, I don't know about that, but... I find my cards. I pay for them. I find them, scavenge them. I could say I got them from another world. Would that help you? I've been to that world. The they're, amount they're of not... cards you and that other one possessed. You did not get all of them from that world. Who is giving you all of your cards? No one's giving us our cards for finding them. I guess, in a sense, we've just collected enough of them. Can we just stop all of this nonsense? My thoughts, exactly. You see a dual disc appear on his arm. I pr- appreciate none of us are selling out Bad Viewer. <laughs> <laughs> we, there's a story and there's a story in like Spanish in which a town someone commits a crime and they all like get tortured and they all say the town did it. It's just the same fucking thing. <laughs> so um b- before we, we say the, the the fading away. No no, keep going, yeah. As much as you want. I, I, I would like to you, you know, I mean I mean it's <laughs> but you should also play the card. lovers just for fun. Well, fake card. Fun which which fake, fake card, card are you using? I'm not using a fake card. I want to draw one. Oh, you want to draw one? Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, like, all right. Yeah, why yeah, not? Yeah. I think you should play both your lovers. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no. If they didn't work for you, it's not going to work for yeah, me. Go ahead, go ahead and shuffle that up. Too. Go ahead and shuffle that up, boy. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you Come get. Come on. Be, be incredibly great or be incredibly funny. I hope it's Steph. Oh. The hanged man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> very, very clear, yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, what's what's it gonna be, my boy? <laughs> what are you sacrificing? Uh, sacrificing. Um, I remember. Guess... The bigger the thing you sacrifice, the bigger the effect of the fate card. This is one of the best ones, honestly, to get right now. <laughs> yep. What do I sacrifice? <laughs> What do I have that I can? The sacrifice? thing, the things are a deck, a spirit, I, I an ability, or a staff one, I think, or an item, or an item. There you go. Can I assume that there is there are these in any kind of order on the card themselves for no. importance? No. Or okay, they're not. They're not in order of importance. They are just listing things you can get rid of, which is basically anything. Is it, can it be a combination of things or can it just be I pick one make, thing? Make your case. Make your case to me. <laughs> I will. I'll also mention that any fate cards you currently have are considered abilities. So okay, your lovers cards. are considered abilities. 
so I can sacrifice a lovers for you this could. too. You could potentially. All right. You then I think I know what I'm going to do. Sacrifice a lovers for this goddamn. <laughs> Well, uh, if it'll please the, the court and the DM Sama, mm -hmm. I will sacrifice uh, my false trap uh, regulator for one thing, uh, my lover's card, and. Let's say both the lovers. Yep. Uh, do I want to get. And let's be honest, fuck Ensatsu. Oh, no, I'm playing. <laughs> no, not Ensatsu. I'm not getting rid of any spirits. I'm getting rid of both lovers. Oh. The, uh, the fake trap and. Um, I think, I think you're good. I think you're good. No, 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 you're good. You're good. I think you're good. Yeah, I think you're good. Nah. <laughs> now, let's, nah, let's get rid nah, of an instinct. We're, we're not good. I'm okay. well, let's get rid of an instinct, you're shall gonna, we? You're going to get rid of an instinct. Yes. You're sure about He's going this. Next to doing that. You know what? No, no. Uh, let's go with demeanor. <laughs> Fuck it. I haven't You've really used it. I so. am no longer sexy. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are giving up one stat point, two lover's cards, and a fake trap. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me that fake trap. The <laughs> fake trap was the funniest thing. It's like, yeah. And I also have one more card. <laughs> Otto picks up his head. Shadow Slayer <sighs> slices through his head, gets to Otto's hand. But let's give this man's, um, so much of a headache that he can't use whatever funny ability he's trying to do to force me to duel here. Unfortunately, the Not duel that. is going to happen because mm. there's nothing narratively right now that can happen to stop it. He pulled out the duel disc. Everything is happening. You are interrupting said narrative, but you need to have something. If you're going to make it be that specific, you need to have something like you're going to do. You're going to pull out a freaking Glock and shoot him or something like <laughs> something like that has to have, have gone down. Well, I don't have a Glock, but I have something. You do have you do have things. You do have you do have I definitely do have, have things. things. However, instead of that. What's going to happen if you are, if you are fine with me, with me going over it? Yes. Let's go to, let's go to, let's grab a, maybe run reminiscences. No, not reminiscences. Maybe truth revealed. No, let's go to eulogy. No, let's go to zeal. I do like truth revealed. Dungeon theme. <laughs> That's good. Let's go dungeon theme. Otto, you see him immediately play this card. You feel like he could have gone about it in a, min in, a, in a many different ways. For some reason, you do note that he specifically, instead of, you note the same thing that that, uh, that Piper did, that he had used a card to wipe out your back row and he had used a card to wipe out your, 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 um, uh, your front row. And he was seemingly just calling out the names of cards to do so. You note specifically that he probably could have done that better. He with really your with do. your own with your own knowledge of the game, you feel like instead of using lightning vortex, he could have used regegi, or instead of using dust tornado, he could have used mystical space typhoon, or something. But he didn't for some reason. He didn't use the optimal cards to do what he wanted to do. He used these other ones. He used twin twister. He used freaking uh a nobleman across out for a thing he used all these other things whenever you feel like he could have if he really could just say whatever name of card he wanted he should have used other cards you feel but he didn't as you call this out as you as this goes down to you unfortunately just like with piper you take zenzex eight thousand life points straight to your face Anytime you had tried to do something, he would have discarded a card and said Karibo or something. He would have played a card and went like Mirror Force or anything that you seem to have thought that you had the upper hand. He just didn't allow you to have it. He never played another monster. Only mm -hmm. Zenzix. Or Zenzix. I can't remember how to say it. <laughs> so long. As you get blasted back. Are you still there, by the way? You you kind of cut out a bit. Oh, well. Hey, all right, take your model like, do it ah, again. Discard did it. So what? Discard did the thing. just going to play like that and win? You got knocked to the ground as this went down. He begins to start walking past you as you say this. Zenzix has not, has not left, you would notice. He seems to be walking mm -hmm. towards you with a blade in hand. As you say that, why wouldn't I? That doesn't seem fun. 
completely ruins the spirit of the entire game. And you even could have done that better if you can just call it names like that. What's I the point? I couldn't have. And, and I don't want to feel enjoyment for killing you. He continues to keep walking. You say kill. I don't believe that for a second. Believe what this you want. Like... You're not the only one that has protections and shit. Let's see how many more of you have that protection. He seems to disappear. As he All does, right, then. you look back toward Zezix, Zezix, Zuzixis. It's it's X E X E X. I don't know how to say that shit. S E X X X X X X Zug 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 Zug. As you see in front of you, this large kingly creature with obsidian armor pull back a sword. You don't even see him swing. I can't even bring out the Sword of Dark Destruction with my narrative interruption. You cannot. As <laughs> Damn. You see for a moment, red, cover your vision. Blood soaking out from a wound in your chest. But as you do see this, You note, as you look down towards your chest, where the blade entered, you feel something calling. You feel something dark. That's fine. You see fine. this red energy seemingly soaking in that blood that seems to be spilling from you, almost eating it, almost gloatingly eating it. As you do feel whatever this energy is, whatever this thing is, you know that you're dying, Otto, but whatever it is, it seems to be gloating as it's eating this blood from you. It feels so familiar. It feels... You look down at your hands as you see that some of your gear is disappearing, turning into that red energy and soaking it in. Whatever is inside of you seems to be celebrating. Xerxes takes a step back, and as he does... You see him rear his sword back once again and slice down. And Otto, before you have a chance to think about what just happened to you, something in you gloating about you dying? You feel like yourself is falling to the floor. Your eyes look back toward this blade that now you did see swing, almost as if the, the swing was more reckless, more targeted to actually attack whatever it was that was happening to you. You see your body to the side of you. And you disappear. This guy saw something in you fucking eating your blood and said, fuck that and decapitated you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I see that. It's like, yo, what the fuck? Prisca. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. You see the darkness behind you. You see again Otto seemingly disappearing, and almost an instant later, as soon as him and that other person seem to blink away, the other person blinks back, not even a second having gone by, as he just continues to walk toward where you're going. Otto is nowhere to be seen. Otto? Kind of panically looking around. Riska, what's going on? I, I can't look back. 
Otto disappeared and I don't know what Prisca, as you're on. looking back, you do see a little bit further behind you what appears to be a the wrecked uh, version of Piper's bike. Piper 2? Shit, shit. We gotta get back. But what do we do? I don't know. I don't know. It was the shadows. It was... Shadows? It's all shadows, like... With hex shoot and... <sighs> Prisca goes through her cards and sees if she has any dual spirit with her that can help. Tell me what you'll do. I'm trying to think if I have duels. Oh, yeah. Priscus can take out Warrior of Zera. See if she can summon him. You go Just to pull out head. Warrior of Zera. As you bring him out, Priska, you find as soon as you fish him out from your deck, you pull him out like, aha, I have him. You're no longer on the bike. Ah, shit. <laughs> You see, standing in front of you, this man once again walking towards you. That's an interesting card. Would you be so kind as to tell me where you got it? You see him straining, <laughs> like, to say this. You have no idea why he's straining to say this, but he's like, maybe if I'm nice, they'll tell me. <laughs> but no. He's not going to like the answer, <laughs> especially with this one. And there's no reason to lie. I found it. Don't. <laughs> I was about to be sassy, but realize what happens and kind of hold herself back. Like she was about to say, don't get sassy. Don't get upset with me. That's what happened. But just your cards. Where do you get them? Looks around. It should be easy for you to find cards. I'm tired of asking. Then let me ask, what happened to them? Are you the one that calls the shots? Triska thinks about this for a second. For the sake of argument, let's say I am. Why would you ask? <sighs> Finally, the senseless killing can stop. Killing? You'll be the last one that has to face my blade. Tell me where you get your cards. Why do you want to know? Because those cards that all of you hold, the majority of them were not found in the satellite, nor were they found in Neo Domino. And don't tell me you got them from that other world. There are far too many there for that to be the case. Then you... I don't know what to tell you. Then take the information to your grave. He pulls his arm back once again as, another, as the dual disc appears. She's trying to take out Zara, trying desperately to get him out. It seems as if the spirit is there. The spirit is willing to come out, and mostly you feel the the area around should be able to have him be coming out, but 
something about this situation, something about the area about you. Unfortunately, you're not like Otto. You can't really feel what's going on around you. And unfortunately, you also can't even be, feel yourself able to move. As soon as you try to move forward, your legs won't go. Unfortunately, you don't have a thriller killer or a sort of dark destruction that's allowing you to move through this place. Um, Papa. But as you look toward him and you bring out and you try to bring Warrior Zara out, you see that your dual disc is on your arm. I didn't. They, they tried to duel you, didn't they? I didn't take any enjoyment from it. You don't play fair, do you? No, I don't. Figures. If you want this to end quickly, draw your cards and forfeit. Why do we need to die? Anyone who misuses the power of the wicked need to die. Wicked. He draws his cards. As he does, you go to draw yours, Prisca. You feel, as you do, you feel the ring on your chest begin to glow. As you draw, the first card you draw was the card you wanted to draw as you draw Warrior of Zara. <laughs> well, that, that's good. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Maybe I could uh, draw Ash Blossom next. <laughs> wow, thanks! <hey. laughs> oh, what's this in my extra deck? Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare. <laughs> you know, I do um, appreciate that we are reversing the horror movie trope. The one guy who got to live was Reiko. <laughs> <laughs> Preska, for. The sake of saving time. Uh, Priska, knowing that Zara's gonna be like that, and you mentioned that we're able to see the cards and all that, right? You are able to see his hand. You are able to see the, the immense spiritual energy from the cards that he's holding. You are able to see everything, and you know that he's able to see your hand as well. Probably after the first turn, just glares at him angrily, realizes she can't do anything, and just surrenders. You're a sick little bastard, aren't you? Your life points go down to zero. He goes to walk by you. At least the death you chose was painless. May you find your friends in the void. Let's hope we never see each other again. We will not. He steps beyond you. As he does, you turn to watch him go. And as you turn to watch him go, since he was never summoned, you do not see any sort of figure walking to you, but you do see, after a moment of watching him leave, your vision is coated in red. After... Blood coming out from a hole going through your chest. After he's out of sight, obviously, Priska's true emotions come out. There's tears coming out of her eyes. And she just falls to her knees. Then that. <laughs> Priska. As this happens. 
You fall. You look down. You see the blood below you turning into a strange reddish color. Almost a glowing reddish color, and you feel a strange darkness coming from it. Very different from the one you see in front of you. As similar to Otto, you feel this weird sensation come about you. Almost gloating-like coming through as you disappear, just as the others did. This makes you laugh, asshole. Go ahead, keep laughing. Riku. Mm Mm-hmm. You start running away from the area that you had left from. As you rush back in the opposite direction of where the underground left out from, you rush toward the water. As you do, you stare out toward the water And for a moment, Riku, this should be easy. Mm -hmm. You see the harbor in front of you, off in that direction. You see it just in your vision. And right as you're ready to jump, you stop and you look over at it. You're like, it's right there. Riku. Mm Mm-hmm. You look down into the depths of the water. Riku, you start breathing heavily, or more heavily, I mean. You see the waves crashing around in front of you. Easy to swim. Mm -hmm. you step back ready to jump in in front of your vision for a moment you feel as if you're under the water you see a vision of another person in front of you another Crawler. The thing you had taken down into the underground, into the underwater, had started filling up with water as you and several of the other crawlers around had attempted to fish something up from the city below. As the vessel you're in begins to fill with water, people start panicking, going to get themselves out. You get out as well, trying not to panic as much as the others. If they hadn't, you probably would have. As you find yourself coming out of it, you find darkness above you. You'd already came deep down into the water. Above you, you see the wreckage that was the old satellite where half of the city had been sunken by that explosion some hundred years ago. The vessel you had taken had sank in quite a bit. You were not meant to come down this far. This wasn't a submarine. This wasn't anything like that. This was supposed to just be a safe area for you to swim to or swim back from. The crawlers don't have anything else that you could have possibly taken down. You look inside the vessel to the only thing you guys had retrieved. Some box, some stupid fucking box. You look back, you try to swim up as much as you can. You see one of the people ahead of you stop flailing and swimming. And start sinking as you catch up to them. You look over to them very briefly. As you see one of your crawler, fellow crawlers, 
seemingly looking as if they're losing consciousness. Riku, how did you handle that situation back then? Did you grab the crawler? Did you keep swimming? I just kept swimming. Just kept swimming. You keep swimming up. There wasn't anything you could do. You see another... And you get distracted again. Upon getting distracted, you feel something hit as you go up into the darkness. And you feel something metal or stone or something. You bashed your head up against something. You try to find any sort of air, any sort of something you can get to. You find an air pocket. You gasp. Whatever small amount of air is here, you gasp it in. You, you, you swallow it as much as you can. You start cursing. You start yelling while you're there, but you can't do it too much. You, you, you're still breathing. You're, tr you're trying your best to get something. Something swims past you. You look down into the darkness. You try to get up as much as you can, but there's nowhere to go. You feel something snap down onto a part of your leg. As you yell, you kick it off and you go down and you start swimming again. You swim as fast as you can until you go past something, some sort of stone or metal or tooth or something. And you feel an incredible pain in your face. A stinging sensation from the saltiness of the water. And what you can only assume is some sort of a large cut or something. You don't have time to think on it. You swim. You eventually find yourself over the waves. As you do, you look back at Neo Domino. Not Neo Domino. You look back at the satellite. It is so far away. You start gasping for air. You're already lost most of your ability to swim as fast as you can. And Riku, you find yourself gasping in real life as you have stumbled back and are sitting on the ground staring at the waves of the water gasping as if you were still holding on to that breath fuck riku this is one of the first times you've been this close to the ocean at least determined to go into it since the incident i have to do this i didn't call her back i have to do this you've been through worse they're all probably waiting for me at the base i have to do this Riku will try and get up and just go for it. You get up. You go for it. You close your eyes and you jump into the water. Riku? Mm hmm With no way to increase or decrease things. Mm -hmm. no fleetings no disadvantage mm -hmm. no advantage throw me a straight d20 really straight d20 god give me a second i can't scroll can't. i'm gonna give you the kiss of good luck thank you i need it oh fuck me oh my god this is bullshit. what did you I hate oh my god Oh my god. Okay, so you're dead for real. We'll see you next time. Uh, what role would it have been, like, close to? Can I, can I use a hermit for experience? I want to just see where this goes, dude. Yeah. Just go for it. Fine. Riku. <laughs> yeah. As soon as you hit the water, it's almost as if you forget everything you've ever learned about first off, swimming, but second off, everything you've gone through to kind of get through that day all that anger comes flooding back but also all that fear of whatever that was hunting you all that sadness of losing the people around you all of that absolute just monstrosity of feelings that went over you that that fear that anger that sadness 
everything washes over you and everything seems to almost drag you down further as you swim further in. The waves aren't that bad, but you feel yourself not able to go further and you finally, just through sheer force of will, you want to move forward as much as you can. You dive under to try to just not see. You close your eyes. You start swimming as fast as you can. You don't even come up for breath. You make it to the other side. <coughs> you jump. You, you come out. You are gasping for air. You are coughing up everything. You lay down. You are wet all over. And Riku. Mm -hmm. As everything does come back to your mind and everything seems to get to you, even though you know you should keep going, even though you know you feel like you have to go, that's just not how things work sometimes. As you lay there, you start whether it's in anger, whether it's in frustration, whether it's in actual sadness, you let out a cry. A frustrated wail of a cry. You try to get up. You've spent most of everything. You basically scream yourself into exhaustion you will fucking get him you will destroy him for making you do what you did for taking the credit for what all of you did for having the gall to try to steal from you and kill you after the only thing that goes through your face is beat down unfortunately Mm -hmm. When you finally come to, you find that you are back in the crawl in the Harborman base. You try to move, but you look back, you are seemingly tied up. Lincoln Park are standing over you. You feel a sense of roughness about them as if they did not hold back whenever they were dragging you out of wherever you were or throwing you wherever you did you feel that there's maybe a bruise on on your head or somewhere as you're about to call out to them or do something with them you notice someone else walk into the room you find in front of you What appears to be the leader of the Harbormen. What the fuck do you want? He looks to the two of you, or the three of you. Link goes over like, hey boss, we got him. The guy that came in to... He just kind of walks by. Uh, do we... The guy who set off the, the alarm, we... He, he doesn't care. <sighs> what to me? What, what are you... What are your orders, sir? We Mars took off with this guy, Runner and Mars. They they went AWOL. That this guy helped them get out and they, they took the prisoners and I've dealt with them. What huh? do you mean you've dealt with them? I've dealt with the ones that took over this place. The ones that stole from us. They're locked up here, right? No. What do you mean? He looks back towards you. You're like them. Those cards of yours. Where did you get them? Voss, we need to... You're annoying. As he says that, he just sort of waves his hand. You see those two disappear. And you are in a dark room with this man. Am I free from the... 
You are. I don't feel now. You are. Okay. As you see, only darkness around you. Lincoln Park seemed to have completely disappeared. It is only you standing alone with him. Tell me, what did you do to my friends? Tell me where you got those cards. No, you listen to me. I'm not in any mood. What happened to my friends? They're the only thing I care about, the only thing I have. Tell me, what do you do to them? I was trying to find the leader of your little gang. I found her. After going what through two others. What do you mean others. you found her? There's no leader. Heck. Not even really a gang. A small one with blonde hair. Had a Brisco. mouth on her. She didn't even duel it's in the end. Rika closes his eye, lets out a deep breath, and then there's just pure rage as he's gonna attack this man. Riku, as you go mm -hmm. to step forward, you find yourself not able to. He'll keep on trying. He's got you start working through it. You start yelling about it. I need you to roll me for your willpower. Yep. Cool. After everything you just went through, yeah, fuck yeah, throw a roll, 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 roll power. <laughs> uh, I like that Priska said, let's say I was. Oh, that's confirmation enough. <laughs> so I, I, I no, don't. You don't. Priska doesn't surrender. That's what pisses Riku off the most. Like, Priska <laughs> doesn't surrender. Any situation, she'll try her best. We all know that Priska surrendered. is the epitome of honesty and should always yeah. be trusted. And, anyway, I, I would like to use my willpower uh, plus five for this boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can do that. Hell yeah, okay, get plus uh, five to your stat roll. Cool. Uh, you have five yeah. more rolls, please. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I know I'm in bed, uh, but I also say it. I also have a willpower plus <laughs> 17. You also chose willpower? Yeah. Nat 20. Hell yeah. All right. So we'll say, <laughs> nat, we'll say nat 20 plus your one mm -hmm. willpower. So that's 21. Uh, plus five from Otto. That's going to be 26. Mm -hmm. Plus five from, Prisk or from Piper. <laughs> that's going to be 31. The power you, of friendship. You yell as you see as you hear this. He's not saying what he did, and what the only thing that really comes to your mind is all the worst things. As you yell, it starts off as a Riku yell, but ends up a lot more guttural and low, more than you would have ever thought was possible coming out of your mouth, Lindo. Or mm. Riku. You feel almost the roar of Galstragoras coming out of your mouth. As you let out this roar, this primal just roar throughout the, throughout the area, you see cracks beginning to form in the darkness up above you. As that happens, you step forward, and you are right up at him. Rika's just gonna start swinging. <laughs> you swing over to him. He is not expecting you to do that. As he looks to you, you swing, and you punch him full force. I will give you that one punch immediately, full force, as he stumbles back, and as soon as that happens again, you start swinging, and you feel that as soon as you swing, he looks back to you, and you immediately feel that sense of just, again, feeling of, of being tied down and completely overtake you again. I'm not you see a be tied down. You see a humongous just... Instant, instant welt appear on the side of his face as he looks to you, and the this is the first time you've seen emotion on his face as you see an angered look on his face. <sighs> what the hell are you? Someone with nothing to lose anymore. <sighs> Tell me, do you have anyone you care about? Someone you would do anything for? Yes. Then you understand how I feel right now, don't you? You can restrain me all you want. 
You can cut my other eye out. I'll keep fighting. You cut my arms off. I'll learn how to bite you. I'll kick you. I'll keep on going. You kill me. My soul will haunt you forever. <laughs> I'll just keep coming back. You hear me? The wicked is far too ingrained within you and your friends. Oh, and it's not with you? What do you call of this? Justice. It's not justice, it's hypocrisy. How many people have you killed? Tell me. For what? Because of a card? Because of a wicked? I did not get any enjoyment out of killing your friends. No shit! Your fucking brother. Of course you know you care about people. You're not gonna enjoy doing this. You're no better than any of the monsters that came into this world before. You're no better than anyone in Neo Domino. Heck. No better than any of the thing gangster in this whole fucking place. I thought you were one of the good ones. The way Mars talk about you, the way the rest of the Harbormen respect you, and for what? There are worse things out there than the people in Neo Domino. There are worse yeah. things out there than the crawlers. And are there worse things out there than my friends? Because yes. if they are, then why the fuck did you kill them? Why aren't you going and taking care of the worst things? Why aren't you being Mr. Hero and the Arbiter of Justice over there? <sighs> you see him bring his arm out. And for a second, a dual disc appears atop of it. However, he does stop and look to you. You're not going to enjoy this, are you? The first one. Piper. What the fuck did you do? She had said... That there was someone among the crawlers. Who everyone was on their mind. And that all of you were going after as well. The, I, the you second know, like we one. Had the, whole... the second one. Otto. Whenever I had done what I did, he leaped at me. Looking as if he was overtaken by some sort of righteousness beyond my comprehension. Yet after I slayed him, something came from him. And then Priska, after they had tried to bring out their spirit some sort of a shine came across them I wasn't able to see to what extent was going to happen with them because they gave themselves up but with you you're not even human You should not be able to move. I sense you within are. you nothing of the wicked. Yet everything that you hold... Where did you get those cards? They came from my... I found them. They came from my soul. They were from the spirit world. All those things. Ah! He puts his arm back, and again, the dual disc appears atop of it. You notice your dual disc appear on your arm. 
as this goes down. I do want to move over toward the thing again this time. Mm -hmm. Because he will be doing something that he did not do with the others. The only thing that I do wish to show, because you would show, he would, he would show something to you that he would not show because he is very much uh, angry at you. Um, yeah. <laughs> what? Angry? Instead I, of fusing his... Might... Instead of fusing his monster in the normal way, you would note that on his first turn, he would actually use this card to fuse his monster. As he activates the wicked element. Mike, I feel like we missed some fun when we're doing this whole stream. We may have lost to this guy. But we have made I found them his trigger, and I think that's an <laughs> As this states, special summon one wicked monster from your extra deck, removing any monster materials needed for its summon from your hand or field. It can attack immediately. Double its original attack while it's on the field. Reduce the damage of this card deals to your opponent's life points to zero. At the end of the turn, you take damage equal to the wicked monster's attack. Banish this card and another uh, and the monster summoned with this card when they leave the field. However, That's... whenever he summons King Zexix, its damage cannot be reduced by anything. Which is bullshit! <laughs> what a bullshit combo! <laughs> Hey, um, Blue, could I do a thing? What do you want to do, Because I dude? just realized what I drew. What do you want to um, do, my dude? M-Duck. M-Duck! Yeah. Look at boy. M-Duck. Look at boy. M-Duck, save the day! Ah. Yeah. So I would negate his activation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It doesn't target well, something like on you. your field. All right. <laughs> oh, wait, he went first. I'm dead. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, been really funny. It, it, yeah. it's, it's cool that you have Induct, though. I like Induct. Yeah. Induct's a I good like boy. Him. Earlier, I was kind of hoping Piper would have gotten the white card from their deck going, Oh, yeah? Well, I activate Fuck Yourself, and then Ash Blossom comes <laughs> out. <laughs> and again, I, I made sure to talk to everybody off screen about this. I'm yeah. very sorry that he is he is like this, but again, you guys, you, you, you definitely can, if you guys aren't all dead, you can definitely come back and probably do stuff with him later without him being bullshit. Anyway. No, no, um, you see, uh, you just want to move on to the next game. I, I get it. We all died because the joke I was going to make for the end of session is they finally did it. They finally banned Piper. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe none of you gave up Wicked Phantom Dealer. <laughs> What? Yo, we never. We Not a single, single fucking oil. one of you gave him up. <laughs> and Dico, that's a Dico's... homie right there. <laughs> Dico? Yeah. You better respect that for the other fucking NPCs. <laughs> you better we respect may, that. We may cheat on him with other women with bunny ears, but would never give him up to the cops. <laughs> as this guy like, is killing us, so no. I know as he seems just... to destroy you. On the first turn of the duel. In a turn, he should not even be able to deal life points to you, Riku. He seems to be angry enough that he activates this card on his first turn and goes and attacks you. Riku will start laughing uncontrollably. <sighs> <laughs> oh, you're that pay. <laughs> like I said, I'll be back. You I got be down to deal with this. and then I'll come to you. <laughs> you already said yourself I'm not human. Take Remember this your face. death. I've died before. <laughs> I'll come back. <sighs> and when I do, I'll show you everything I've got. Zach Do you hear me? As he calls out to Zexus, he doesn't walk past you like he did the others. He doesn't do anything. He waves his arm and Zexus goes over top of you and slams the sword down into your gut. Rika will have his arms open just like, yeah, fully into it. And then like, just start laughing even You're more. into it? <laughs> Rika lost it. <laughs> As it happens, your laugh goes through. And again, just like with Otto and Prisca, you feel that as that redness overtakes your vision, 
it seems to be a strange, weird, glowing type of red, and there's almost this weird, this this weird gloatiness about it, not coming from the man in front of you, but coming from the blood or something. As he slams the sword down on top of you, as this goes through, you find your vision fades out. The angry look on this person going through you seems to fade as he looks to you. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> you don't enjoy killing. Well, you're so petty and you don't even hesitate anymore. He's a real monster. <laughs> Tell me before you die. Mm -hmm. He closes his eyes. Do the others in your group know where those cards come from? <laughs> You know what, I'll be honest with you. No. Riku? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need you to give me the biggest fucking deception of your life. <laughs> I need time you to give you to me lie. the biggest negotiation of your life right now. Quick, time for lovers. <laughs> oh, oh, if you succeed, if you succeed, hold on. I'll text you privately. I want you to say, <laughs> so, if you succeed, so you have to be like, we get them from the both fuck. You're going to give yourself plus five? <laughs> yep. Okay. No king. <laughs> He's sitting there like, please tell me I don't have to kill the rest of your friends. <laughs> Let me get four. <laughs> say, that, say that if you succeed. Okay. You should just put in like as many as you want into this <laughs> with, with the with the fucking guidance tokens at this point. Just just really yeah. get that chance, you know. But uh, I'll just grab a few more. Uh, you have a lot of there pleadings, by the way. That's fine. Well, we'll Diego, this is an important <laughs> role. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gotcha. It rolls. I just have these rolled as well. Oh, they Second weren't roll. best twos. Oh, Third that roll. was almost a 20. Almost. Fourth roll. Fifth roll. Sixth roll. Seventh roll. Eighth roll. Ninth roll. Now, roll me, six, now roll me six more times. Six more times? Gotcha. So 16 is the highest so far. 19 is the highest so far. Almost a 20. Cool. So got three more rolls after this. <laughs> yeah, I did. Just I'll that say it's been 17 years. Roll me three more times. Gotcha. Cool. One. <laughs> two. And the last one. Cool. 19 Roll me plus. one more time. I, I had to use all three. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> no, I respect it. So. 19 plus Roll me two. one last time. This is the last time, chat. Cool. <laughs> last time, chat. Come on. Uh, 19, 19 again. 19 again. <laughs> so. The 16 was needed because you rolled mm. a 15 at one point, and that was one below what you needed. Oh, okay. <laughs> but then the 19s also were pretty good. <laughs> yeah. You tell yeah. him, I'm going to be honest with you, no. And you see a look of relief go across his face for a moment as he turns away from you and starts to walk. After all, <laughs> we just found them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank, you, you. Thank you. You see him stop. <laughs> look back to you. And then just turn back and keep walking. <laughs> Did you hear me? We found them. As that happens, Riku, he disappears mm -hmm. in front of you. You look down towards your glowing red neon fucking ass blood. And you disappear. Everyone. Yeah. You have all died. Yeah. 
Yep. Yep. <laughs> Second time. You were all you were all the dead. Uh, I've been dead before, it's fine. Yeah, I like that the demons are like, yo, yo, give Piper some respect. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to take my blood. Well, it, well, that was because of a certain other thing, Otto. Um, <laughs> what? No way. That was because of a different thing happening, you see, Piper. <laughs> oh, okay. All you, right, didn't get, go you, didn't get any, you didn't get any red glowy blood because of that, but maybe retconningly you have it. I don't know. We'll talk about it later. Um, as... uh, I'd like to assume Bakora just was eavesdropping, seeing what's up, and just laughing. As you guys all seem to blink <laughs> as you lose consciousness, as you disappear. You open your eyes as you do. You guys are still inside that black void area. But when you look around, you see on the ground the other three of you. It's just too bad that my head's just over here. <laughs> you guys see you guys see Otto without with the, he does have his head. <laughs> Uh, uh, Otto, Otto, you do have your head. It's, it's it is there. Okay. All right. Oh man! Please. <laughs> Thought that he became a fucking doll. All four of you. Second. All four of you are on the ground. Each of you seem to have a different kind of sword slice through you. As Otto seems to have a sword sticking out from his neck. Priska seems to have a sword sticking out from their back. Piper seems to have a sword sticking out from their chest. And Riku seems to have a sword sticking out from their gut as all of you are laying on the ground. A sword? It's like a physical sword or just like it, it looks as if it is a sword, an obsidian looking blade. Priska's gonna start the conversation with the ever, like, understanding, she's just going to scream. <laughs> like, not in a fearful scream, but, like, in the most angry, I had no control of the entire situation, everything fucking sucks, guttural scream. If she could move, she would be in a ball, and just angry and grabbing her hair and all that. You but go into a ball. got a sword. As soon as you move, as soon as you go into your ball form, uh, the sword seems to disappear from your back. Okay, then she's grabbing her head and, like, kind of pulling at her hair and her just... Head. Can you lower it a little bit? <laughs> Riska, you look over as Piper seems to sit up, and as soon as, Piper, you sit up, you see the sword in your chest disappear. Uh, okay. Not Otto's, what I was expecting. Uh, Otto's gonna try to pull the sword out of his neck. Otto, you reach up to grab the sword. As soon as you grip the sword on your neck, it seems uh, your hand seems to go through it as the sword seems to disappear. Riku will try to sit up. Riku, you sit up. You see the sword sort of moving with you for a moment and then seem to disappear. The the wound is still there. You guys still have holes in you. But you don't. <laughs> but you don't feel any pain from it. So, so, like, we're talking hole in my neck. Am I even able to, like, talk? Yeah, you're fine. With okay, cool. It's like a cosmetic. It's fine. Riku okay. looks at, at all of them and then just goes, so we found them, huh? The fine, found to find them? He, I saw, at, at the corner of my eye, I looked back and I saw your bike crash into something, but you weren't there. And I kind of just jumped off the bike and let Susie take over. And then he won the duel, and then I died. I, I got decapitated. He says, reaching at his neck again. That's fucked up. I, 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 yeah, that's pretty fucked up. He... He dueled so sloppily, but still... Because he used to call it whatever card he wanted, he just... Did that in the most inefficient way. It, it, he... He... he Wanted to know where we got our cards from. Did y'all didn't tell him, did you? No, I'm not a snitch. Wait, did we all just die for Phantom Dealer? <laughs> We're dying for Phantom Dealer. 
he wanted to know where the cards were also. Did as you I say see? that, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but as you say <laughs> that, did we all just die, to, die for Phantom Dealer? And I'm so glad that you would do something like that. Okay, Phantom you dealer? want some bunch of free packs after this. You guys, I, I think I would settle for like a new chest right now. You guys hear the voice of Phantom Dealer around you. As you do, you guys hear steps coming from off to the side and Phantom Dealer approaching. I really do. I really do appreciate that. I did not expect that at all. I think that a couple of packs would be something I could definitely do to reward my friends. So wait, are, are we, we dead? Yeah, we dead dead. Ah, uh, you are... Well, you should be dead, yes. But... But... <laughs> well, I... Couldn't very well watch that and not want to intervene. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He gives you a bit of a salute. However, as he does, he gives a salute with his right, uh, with his right hand, you guys look over and you notice he is missing an arm. Your arm. Your arm? Phantom Dealer, what, what the hell? Hmm? Can, can that happen? Your arm? Oh, yeah. don't worry about that. A bit of flesh for a bit of flesh. But that's your arm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I might have had to. Don't tell Guilty. I'm, I'm look, uh, uh, he's pointing at you. Don't you tell him. Don't you fucking. Don't you do it. Uh, agree? All of, you have to, all, of you, all of you have to agree. All of you have to agree. I, I agree I, not to say anything. I think Guilty will be fine with you doing this. In fact, he might think it's heroic. Yeah, all of you have to agree. <laughs> yeah, fine. Fine, all right, okay. Look at Prisca. Prisca? Prisca? Prisca weakly gives a nod. Oh, thank God. The, the silence has been in character, by the way. I might have had to delve deeper into the dark powers and you're fine now everything's fine don't 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 worry about it is that why the whatever was in me was laughing hmm? oh no that was something else i i don't know what the hell that was it felt was that sort weird. of destruction entity thing uh, 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 he's like shrugging at you i i Otto, i don't know everything that goes on with your body it's some sort of uh, human puberty or something i didn't talk it's to someone else it's really not human puberty really? really i thought out of everyone here like you might know more about human puberty than me a human as I you do have, not, oh. i do not look at any sort of human puberty it was a joke also laughing blood is specifically female human puberty thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> well that make auto of uh, never mind anyway so, uh, either way uh, i delved a little deep into my old master's uh well power and in doing so i had to hand over a bit of a price uh especially since there's no one to actually draw from that power anymore since he's dead uh but i was able to change the wording i suppose is what you would say to that little shadow game of yours basically after the shadow game concluded all of you would be returned to your rightful normal selves no matter what sort of physical injury you might have partaked in as he says this you guys will be looking at each other as you would note that over the time you've been talking to him, even the wounds seem to have been closing on you. Mm -hmm. Don't make a habit out of it. I can't lose any more arms, and I'm not losing a leg. I have some great thighs. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> I can't. I, seriously, though, I, I cannot do it again. It is not possible. We'll try for it not to happen again. This wasn't the hardest. This was the one that's in a lifetime location, I hope. Yeah. <sighs> All in agreement of not trying to do that again. Uh, if we can right. avoid it, I'd love to, but I don't feel like we have the capability to stop that from happening if he finds out we're not dead. Ah, that is see, true. That is the uh, that is the other thing I wish to speak to you about. Um, that man. Uh, okay. From what I could see, what was happening with all of you? Um, was 
literally creating cards like yep. like me yeah. yeah he sure was he was making that, cards that human was a dealer mm. what that human was a dealer like myself that is not should not be possible that human could create cards that he has seen or i guess used or something i don't know the specifics of it but from what i observed upon watching you he seems to be only able to make one of any given card uh at least in a certain amount of time i i do not know but as he was dueling each of you he seemed to have been getting weaker and weaker he started off extremely strong toward you piper using extremely powerful cards such as Harpy's Feather, du Feather Duster and Regegi, but by the time he was dueling Otto and Riku, well, whenever he dueled Otto, he was making use of lower-tiered cards, and with Riku, mm -hmm. he apparently activated a card that he did not wish to use originally. Yeah, I pissed him off real good. Good. Fuck him. <laughs> oh yeah, no, seriously, fuck him. I'm pretty sure I snapped at some point. I'm... <sighs> I'm extremely sorry that you all had to make your way through that, and I do not know why he is looking for me or how he have obtained the power of a dealer, but from what I do I know... That's why he's looking for you. Most likely, yes. <sighs> but he won't find me. It's perfectly fine. He he's might not still find... To look for you. He might still find you however so and the others that we've brought along to see you which we shouldn't have done in hindsight now that we know that this happened uh riku don't do worry. you want to talk in on that one oh uh, yeah um, don't worry i made sure he wouldn't i basically said we're the only ones who knew i'm pretty sure i convinced him i think I, for their sake i hope you did mm -hmm. and then i pissed him off promptly afterwards the power he's looking for the power of the wicked which do flow through through some of your cards it's not terrible in itself i just want that to be out there it does originate from my power though which is apparently something he does not like uh he was talking about justice <laughs> he yeah, may his have card a, is also wicked he may have a bone to pick with my master perhaps uh, I do not know. The master's dead. I know. I, I wish I could tell you anything else about it. I, he should not no, no, it's okay. be something that exists. And for the time being, I'd say that all of you should find somewhere to lay low. Well, we have the cave dungeon? to go through, right? The dungeon thing? Yeah, we could go in there. Mm -hmm. That could be us laying low for a bit. Just yes. literally laying low. Yep. What did you say, person? Yeah, we can tell. Just how special are your cards? They're, they're normal. They're they should just be to anyone else's eye. They are normal everyday cards. They were just created by my power, which lies in the power of the wicked. The wicked being the faction my master had created when he was alive. It is not something that should hold near as much weight as this person is putting onto it, especially now, but Giltia was someone who originally thought me someone to be weary of as well, if you remember. Uh, I was created by the power of the wicked, as are several of my colleagues who existed at the time. Everything about me is... As much the wicked as everything of you is water or air or flesh. That is just mm. what I am. Mm. So he the fact she was using wickeds might... Remember when I ended up killing the Neverown King? Mm. I heard someone who sounded just like you. Maybe it's related to that to some extent? Just like me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. We talked about it, but we never really figured anything out about that yes i yeah, remember down. you bringing that up i did not see anything with you but now that this has happened perhaps that's something we need to look into hmm. from what it i heard 
from what he was talking with with Piper, he does not plan to do anything about that crawler thing. He's not going to that tournament thing, apparently. No, it's some kind of weird double plan he wants in the satellite with his sister or something. Apparently he wished for her to have ambition, which is fucked up when you think about it. You guys do remember, whenever you had seen the sister as well, she seemed to have almost a completely different personality about her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she's the one that, you know, pulled the alarm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Huh. Makes sense. But shouldn't she be relatively back to normal now that the wish is gone? Or is he literally doing something to empower that effect? I remember the fact that the dungeon's still there. The treaty's still there. The bike is still Well, yeah, still but there. no one's falling head over heels for Tank. Eh, maybe at least, try uh, hard at least outwardly. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> Shut up, Panther oh. Dealer. I don't care if, you, if you're a chubby chaser, please. <laughs> no, no I, I cannot in any way uh, explain anything of that's going on with that. Uh, maybe it's something that is unique to them. Uh, I don't know. The fact that perhaps... It really depends on, I suppose, when who's wish wished first. I I, I don't know, but all mm. I do know is that you should be safe of him at least for the time being. He is, according to what I saw with Piper, he is apparently planning for something after whatever is happening there. <sighs> Another reason to win the tournament, then I guess. He seems to be wanting his sister to win that, so I'm sure that if you do win, you will gain some sort of ire from him. However, I believe that there is a way to counteract him if he is using the power of a dealer. And what's that? Well, you would need the power of a dealer. Mm. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Get that. Remember when dragon type Pokemons could only be beaten by dragon type Pokemons? Huh. I would. I would essentially need to. I would need to disown my current master. If I were to do that, and if you were to provide an ample amount of replenishable energy to myself, then you should be able to counteract the dealer energy that he seems to be putting out. In a sense, making it to where he could not just wish up any card that he pleased. Hmm. What kind of energy are we talking Currently, what flows through me is the energy of the wicked. Even if my master is dead, his presence is felt far and wide throughout the spirit world. It is something that I've been able to sustain myself with, and I probably could continue with almost indefinitely. However, noting that someone is hunting me has me thinking that perhaps it might be time to find a new diet, as it were. So I'll help you. <laughs> So, if any of the four of you were to, let's say, be able to make that diet for me, then we would be able to uh, coexist a little bit better. And mm. it would, in fact, change whatever that energy is that is making up your cards. And I might even, depending on the amount of energy you are able to give me, perhaps I might even be able to be a little stronger. Maybe get back, I don't know, a limb that may or may not be gone because of all of you? I have a base form, but I need to make it better. I would be a little bit, and I'll be able to do that for you. Knowing that you sacrificed your arm for us, I would be more than willing to give up whatever I need to get it back for you. Hell, I'd even give you my own if I could. I, I'm not I actually. Got one numb. I'm not actually that <laughs> torn up over the arm. I'm. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm. I'm, I'm a righty anyway. 
it oh, was mostly good. it was mostly a jest. But technically, wouldn't you literally be torn up? Sorry, that came out weird. <laughs> no, it's perfectly fine. That was rather witty of you. You won't, you actually you uh, you won't get that. Uh that was a, that was an old joke. My name used to be Witty Fent. Don't worry about it. Um. Oh, okay. I get so it. then, it, will you just go back to being the Witty Phantom dealer then? From what you're saying, if you get a new source, most likely. Um, hmm. or I don't know, uh, Brotherhood <laughs> Phantom Dealer. No, let's go Witty Phantom Dealer. That sounds a lot better. <laughs> Con Bob Phantom Dealer. dealer. Of the brotherhood. Hmm. Phantom Dealer of the Brotherhood. Why do I have to? I don't. I don't have to. I don't have to like sign my name in blood to join your little group or anything. I, I think no. witty phantom dealer is fine. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> so, hmm. what you would need to do mm -hmm. is find some sort of a source of power that you can call your own. Riku, for example, mm -hmm. you have quite an enormous amount of ba that you are currently able to control. In fact. From what I saw, you were able to unleash a bit of that earlier. Quite impressive, by the way. Yeah, it takes a lot of anger. <laughs> it was enough for him to question whether or not you were human, that's for sure. <laughs> so I am human, then. I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> but who's to say? Um, you look human. Well, he doesn't Kiwi also that. looks human. That's, yeah, that's fair. True. That, that, that's fair. There's no <laughs> fucking way he's human, right? There's like he can't. Uh, he could just be both. That's weird. A that's a weird situation. thing for you to say, Otto. I don't know what. I don't. I don't know if I have. I don't like that idea, Otto. I don't want to think about that. What did a daddy spirit and a mommy not? Let's not worry about it. So. It's I mean, so I have to worry about that with my uncle. That kind of plot line where it's like a combination of two things that should not be breeding. <laughs> uh, well, if I get like a niece or even mm. <laughs> <laughs> no niece, is nearly scary enough. Only I wouldn't be an uncle because he's my uncle. Oh my god, Mad <laughs> Mad Jazz like Kiwi's human parent. Wanted that elf pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Rules of nature, am I right? Yeah. But no. Anyway. You would need to find some source of your own natural energy that I can find myself able to sustain myself onto. If you're able to find this great power or whatever it be, then most likely I would need to take a rather large sum of it. But in doing so, you would be completely immune to that man, and he would have to fight you fairly? Whatever that would mean. He does have actual cards. I could tell that from watching. It's just he was able to change them into whatever it is he wished. So if you're able to get through that effect of him, then you would be able to completely counteract that, and he would have to use his regular cards against you. That being said, uh, two of those regular cards, from what I saw of them, were extremely scary, and I don't like them. I also don't like the one I saw. <laughs> you would still have to beat him normally, um, but uh, hopefully you at that point you would be on even terms. Mm. The, the cards he were using were good, but it wasn't like he was being as efficient as he could have been, but like you were saying, he was getting weaker. I know I could probably beat him if we were on fair terms. I'm confident enough in that. Oh no, I want him. And that's fair, you can have him. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Just decided he gets a kick. I catch his ass. I do I do want Hold on. He steps forward toward all of you. Before we continue talking about this, I... Are you all okay? No. Mm. No, I'm not okay. I'm not okay at all. I can't. I'm I can't. trying to be. Then I will... 
You were all planning on doing what I ask, correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is all I need to hear. You see him look to you with a bit of a smile. His eyes begin to glow with that same kind of wicked energy that he had the first time you had seen him, as it does. I will make sure that until you are ready, he will not be a bother to you. Upon that being said, he gives a smile to you guys. Remember to strike up a deal with that person for me, right? The bunny? Yeah. We will. I was going to ask how we should he open puts that his, up. He but... puts his hands up over his, up over his head and makes little bunny ears with his, with his forefingers. <laughs> Chris is just going to just do like a full on full body bow and just go, thank you. For helping us. He looks to you, Prisca. He steps forward. He puts a hand on your shoulder. He can feel that Prisca's shaking. Her fists are like etching into the floor. Hey. Scrappa forgets to eat. Bring Cole something to drink every now and then because he overworks himself. As he says that, he seems to disappear. <sighs> you guys of feel, course. as this happens, you guys feel that Wicked Phantom Dealer has disappeared. You, for a moment, Think back to all the different times you've contacted Wicked Phantom Dealer, all the times you've walked into the underground and were taken further in toward the area where he was always at, toward the area where him and Scrappa were at. You no longer feel immediately that connection to him. Almost as if that there was a buzzing in the back of your head that you seem to have forgotten about, and now it is completely silent. Full fist clench. The hell? As what was that? Priska He's... gets up. He left. He's protecting us. He's protecting us because we couldn't stop him. Friska's not looking to anyone, kind of wipes away the tears that were obviously there. <sighs> we're not going to let that happen again, right? Hell no. No, absolutely not. No more of this no. bullshit. Other worldly powers being better than our shit. We're not going to be powerless. We're not going to let them laugh at us. Think of us as weak. I'm done with feeling like that. Same here. I was looking into magic and all that, thinking I needed to do a path on my own because I'm the weakest link and all that, but no. I can't think like that right now. We all need to be ready for whatever's coming. And it's coming faster than we thought. And it seems, Riku, you have a, a lot of stuff going on. Otto, you have that bloodline. Piper, you have horrors beyond imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Piper just gives a smile like the uh, this is fine face. <laughs> yeah. uh, the horrors are acceptable, honestly. They're a lot better than dying. 
And I managed to find a way to at least give some sort of fuel using the limited knowledge I have, so maybe we all have strength and we need to be using it together and we need to help each other find each other's strength with this whole Bonka stuff because right now we can't let a prick like that think he can get away with being a dirty little bastard, dirty little cheating bastard and get away with it. Acting like he was carrying the weight of some great justice bullshit. <laughs> That's the kind of vibe he, he was going for. Mm. Please, all I can tell is that he's a guy who cares about his list, little sister way too much. I am, su I am such a such a master of justice. Uses evil hero. I am, I am away from the wicked. Is also a wicked, wicked card. <laughs> also used yeah. a thing called wicked element to make it stronger. <laughs> mm -hmm. It counts as a wicked monster as well. It cannot have its shit halved at all, so you can just keep powering it up until its bullshit is broken. Oh, by the way, um, I just. It also wasn't a forbidden card. By the way, I just want you guys to know, um, this card. Uh, is the second card I have added to the game that is based off of an instant win card. Oh, cool. cool. This, this monster is an instant win card in the actual game. So why is there a big fat red F on it? Who knows, man? <laughs> it, it, it's magical bullshit. And Card Gardner hasn't seen it yet. I wish victory. Card Gardner is just like, oh, fuck that! <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, touch God. that! Oh no! You guys just hear in the ne in the next freaking thing immediately. He's just like the only change is that. <laughs> Fuck that card! <laughs> Actually, know. right now, card garden of the announcer has a cigar. The deed is done. I throw banned. Oh no! <laughs> PJ boy, thank you very much for the two hundred and twenty dollars. Shit, dude! What an oh, awesome shit. session to the Pharaoh Fund. Is there anything in the Pharaoh yeah. Fund currently? I think 80. Is there 80 in the Pharaoh Fund? There is! That's a 300! 300 for the Pharaoh Fundo. That means yeah, that we are full? that means that we are due for another uh another fan um, uh, fan pack stream. Ooh. Thank you. Hell yeah. We'll we'll decide yeah. what we'll decide what that one is at a later time. But thank you very much, PJ Boy. Much appreciated, much appreciated. <laughs> I don't understand. Seems perfectly balanced. Keep Aurelia banned. <laughs> Damn it, <crap. laughs> No, no, that's a, that's a perfectly balanced regular card there. <laughs> then, I guess all that's left to do is either do we go back to the surface and let people know that we're fine and prepare for the trip to the dungeon, or do we just go straight to the dungeon at this point? As you were saying that, as if on cue, just as Wicked Phantom Dealer would always have with you, you guys do feel that the darkness around you seemingly is starting to lessen. You never notice the darkness around you because you're in a fucking underground the entire time. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I was, I was what? the fact that we had swords in our chest for like a solid 15 seconds, I guess. As you guys do, you guys will find yourselves. I like to imagine that we now have scars. You guys, are, just you guys scars. will find yourselves. Right outside of Cole's place. Oh! Not only do you find yourselves right outside of Cole's place, <gasps> that is right outside of Cole's place. Piper Spike. <laughs> yeah, that explains the arm. Going oh, it's in there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the arm cost the bike. The, the repair service. <laughs> Otto, you remember looking at this thing last, and it exploded. <laughs> that that exploded. Uh, what? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm kind of having first victim syndrome. I feel like I yeah. missed a lot. You, um, well, uh, I noticed that you you weren't on your bike and it crashed into a wall. Yeah, that's what happens when you and get killed was, in a shadow realm. And he was just walking slowly, like, away from where it was. So I, I put two or two together. He did some fucky shit. But I don't understand. I didn't understand at the time, but now I see, oh, he literally just 
stops time for a second, I guess, pulls us out of reality into the darkness, and then it just ha- keeps going when he comes back out. Uh, Again, Otto, horror. it reminds you exactly of the shadow games that were happening around where you were, which means he was probably doing that to other things, too, around the time in the oh. satellite. That was the exact oh. thing you walked into earlier. He was doing the shadow games yesterday. He the the, the whole feeling he's been doing that everywhere now. Fuck. Wait, who's be? Has he been targeting the wood spirits? But he he was a man on a mission, destroying other spirits. Was he? Was he just? He targeted us because we took something from him. That's that's what at least what he said. Mm-hmm. But then, could he have been targeting like the spirits that next Trudy mentioned that were, or uh, one of the two I can't remember mentioned that they gave power to way back when? Maybe not just spirits. If it's as simple as we took something of his. You know that whatever it was, Otto, the shadow game lasted for a long time. So it whatever he whatever he was whatever he was doing, you know it wasn't a duel, first off, because Trudy said it wasn't. Uh, mm-hmm. whatever it was, it wasn't a duel and it lasted literally all day. So whoever it was he was going against made him freaking last an entire I day guess. against him. <laughs> and on top of that, you gotta think like not just an entire day. He stop, stops time or whatever. <laughs> they were playing Monopoly the whole time. No, no. We see an announcement the next morning. We see Card Gardener with a scar. <laughs> as you guys I tried would, my best, guys. As you guys would start to make your way out. Cole isn't here, by the way. Mm-hmm. He's never around anymore. <laughs> Cole's, like a, Cole's around whenever you guys want to go into the spirit world. That's, that's something. <laughs> He, he just, just, he, like he just want to talk to you, man. We want you want to you want to talk about your cool card lore all the time. Just how I guess is we are trying to do other things. As you guys, but when we have time to hang out, you're just nowhere to be found. As you guys would start to make your way back out, because you know that you you have no way of teleporting anymore. Mm-hmm. Currently, it takes you guys a good maybe half an hour to get all the way back to where you guys would get to here. As you guys do. You guys leave the bike down here for now. You guys have ways of getting it back up. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. You guys get up into the area back in your place. Because, you know, if you are going to go off into the underground, into that uh, weird thing, you're going to need other people. You guys had said so before. You guys notice, as you do, someone appearing on the other side of this area. Off behind you, looking off toward all of you, you guys see what appears to be this man's as we go into a flashback. A man's? Which man? Earlier on in the day, before Riku had gone off, got himself teleported across the world during because of the shadow game thing, before Otto started looking through everything before anything a man's was standing outside of a certain place guarding a certain someone whenever a different man's approached them as we see the camera focus in on our boy patch the one that just murdered everyone as he approaches yeah, he's- and looks over toward Another person who immediately gets a sense of danger from them to a point where they draw their blade. No. No. Like what happened. <laughs> no. <laughs> no oh. fucking way. Oh. That's where he was. You guys you guys haven't I haven't found Kiwi all day. <laughs> Kiwi. <laughs> Kiwi's a monster! <laughs> as soon as the darkness encroaches upon Kiwi, Kiwi draws out this blade, sensing that in front of him is an opponent that is beyond his dueling capability. He seems to almost get into a stance 
that makes himself into a much swifter opponent as he draws his blade, looks forward, and then takes off fucking running into the darkness. <laughs> Just kidding. This Just man kidding. then sighs, walking after him. <laughs> we trail forward 20 hours, <laughs> standing opposite of the area from you. You guys see what appears to be a Kiwi stomping his way onto the area. What appears to be a ragged looking cloak as if something had slashed into it. He sees you guys on the other side. He sits down and lets out a sigh <laughs> and lays down on the ground. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, there you go. I get it. Whenever, whenever Wicked Phantom Dealer got you guys out, he got him out. <laughs> <laughs> To be continued. Thanks, <laughs> you know, I'm glad that we had this game on Wednesday. <laughs> I I wouldn't be able to handle it a, a week without knowing what happens next. <laughs> Dude, don't fucking speak too soon. We'll have to see. We'll have to, we'll have to see if we can if we can do things on Sunday or not. But I'm also glad we did things here on Wednesday. I'm also glad that nobody really asked where Kiwi was. <laughs> well, how could we, who could we ask? I don't know, Who? man. Whoms? I don't know, man. Apollo. Ask me. <laughs> well, you won't give us answers. I won't. You're right. Funny man. <laughs> you know, this is on me. I should have noticed. <laughs> <laughs> the chat Listen, was already know. saying it in there. I'm just like, I'm just going to have that be the end card. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was going to have him just show up next game. Just like, I was, I was running. <laughs> I was running Bye. and I heard Wicked Phantom Dealer. <laughs> uh, I got some great legs. You see, I, I remember, you, you see, the, the whole reason why his arm is gone completely is because he needed it for Kiwi specifically. All of us, we, we, he could just lost like a finger for all of us. He needed a whole arm for Kiwi. <laughs> well, I mean, here's the big thing, too. There is a gash in his clothes, meaning eventually this man did catch up to him and stab him. <laughs> but, you know, he ran away for a full fucking day <laughs> until he was finally stopped. And that's mm -hmm. whenever Love dude you. started making his way home. I had mentioned to you guys in the last couple of games, like every now and then, I'm like, I've been rolling for something at the beginning of every game. I've been literally rolling to see how long it's taking Kiwi to actually outrun this man. <laughs> <laughs> what did he roll today then? He like, did it one. Just... <laughs> oh, poor boy. I, I get that. I don't gay. think it was. I don't think it was actually a one. I think it was like basically a one though. I was looking at it just mm -hmm. like. If he gets like under a five, it's like, ah, oh, fuck, whatever. I didn't even, yeah. I was, I, it was something. It was like a freaking low ass number. I can't remember it. I'm just going to say it was a one. <laughs> so not only did he spend hours running away, it was in a shadow game. No, no, so Magi, you longer. don't understand. You say, did Kiwi keep getting te teens until today? Literally the first two rolls I had him do, both of them were 18s. God damn. The dude. first two rolls were an 18. The third roll I had him do was a 19. He never got a nat 20. Otherwise, I might have just had him outrun him straight up. Um, but today, but today, literally, he got like a three. That's why I told you guys whenever I told you guys about this game in particular uh, beforehand. I'm just like, I don't know if it's going to happen today, but this there is a certain thing that may happen that you guys aren't going to like. And I'm very sorry. And again, I hope you guys are fine with what happened today. I know that I told yeah. you beforehand at the same time, though, I know That's it's fine. not. I know it's not fun to yeah. be in an unwinnable situation. Yeah, I get it. it. You, you told us and we most we got to see a little bit of how that was like with with, with, uh, with Piper, you guys. Which... Got to, you guys got to see a couple of his weaknesses, which is really good. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, for again, um, he Whenever you guys are able to neutralize the situation, he may or may not have like a minor ish power of this, but like he's not able to choose the same card twice from what you guys have found out today. Um, and he's still susceptible to my own stupid brain of I'm just going to dark bribe that dark bribe for so no fucking reason. <laughs> Listen, man, he was just in. He was just like, oh, hey, it's something different. 
than what I normally do for these for these <laughs> these these murder duels. Sure, I'll go for it. Why not? I can, As a I'm, I'm such a fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> no worries, man. It's, it was so I like to help. create a, a weakness for him. It's not one that'll pop up when we fight him, but now whenever the crawlers are like, oh, where are my house keys? Oh, I found them. That crawler's gone. <laughs> also, guys, we finally figured it out what the five D's are. The five dealers. <laughs> I was gonna say the five deaths. <laughs> Only four. I mean, I guess if Kiwi died, he could be part of the five deaths. <laughs> he died for That's it. Fine. He can be part of it. It's fine. Mm -hmm. he, he had a sword through his heart. That's where his sword went. <laughs> my man's my man's Kiwi over here went hard today. <laughs> Yeah. Good for him. He literally was just like, I'm not dueling him. I'm running is what I'm doing. <laughs> I am activating my swift style or some or some bullshit and getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> what do you mean I can't outrun the darkness? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Where's Piper? <laughs> uh, I'm late for work. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I'm so, I, I, I agree, Jen. I am so, I'm so surprised, but also very glad none of you guys gave up fa uh, Wicked Phantom Dealer. We got no reason to. Something, also, else, we're petty bitches. something else would have happened if you guys did give him up, and I expected that to happen. I, it, because it didn't, some fucking crazy shit's gonna happen now because of that. <laughs> so, so Diku, oh, you're, you're talking to your group of, uh, your, your five dark champions over here. Mm. We are petty bitches. <laughs> <laughs> we are so petty that even if even if it wasn't just us being like, we oh, are we team, can't give up our friends. We are team petty bitches. <laughs> we are team petty bitches. We are not going to give up shit to the man that's literally killing us one by one. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I just had no fucking idea what he was talking about. <laughs> That's fair. Well, it's also you weren't there to hear him say, "I killed your friend that came up before me." <laughs> yeah, that helps. I was the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I just love Riku in the. End. I love Will fucking messaging fucking Lindon, just going like, "I just found out." <laughs> <laughs> oh well, eleven out of ten for that. And just Riku, window. the Amazing. fuck, the fucking, the fucking straight face I'm imagining Riku did with it, with just like a grin slowly forming or some shit. It's like we found them. real good performances all around today. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. that one did real good. I'm so, great. I'm so like happy that we finally. I was gonna have this happen. uh if you guys went over this okay so this is something i've been waiting lindo to do with you for a while mm -hmm. because i thought you guys would have had this happen to you whenever you went to go and see the other uh factions in the in the uh the mountain yeah. whenever the genzo stuff was happening because one of the big things was they were all separated by a large river so if you would have, if you in particular would have ever went to cross that river, that's when that was going to happen to you. But it never happened there because none of you wanted to go and see the other factions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we didn't want to. It's that we couldn't. You, with you, how things were happening. You could have, but at the same time, it wasn't anything that you needed to do. And yeah. you guys had other things on your minds. Um, but like that was, I, I had that scene ready since then for you because it's just been like a thing of like uh water's whatever it's fucking what I, I i can handle it oh there goes the trauma <laughs> oh there it all is <laughs> maybe like after jinzo did his monologue and we didn't kill him after his monologue <laughs> maybe we would have had to cross the river <laughs> fit car shenanigans am i right gang oh that's fucking gonna be crazy too don't even get me started on that <laughs> Don't even get me started. As soon as you were like, I'm, 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 you know what the biggest, you know what the biggest thing is, Emerald? I'm going to do something here. What's up? You, you can you fucking, where's it at? Where the fuck? Where's what? Where the fuck is it at? You can what, have, the, you can have that back. Yeah. <laughs> you using these two with it. Like that's enough for what I'm doing. <laughs> to a stat point in demeanor. And again. I'm holding on to this over here as well. Uh, I'm holding on to this over here as as, as well, Fomal. The lovers you used, uh, yeah. it will come into play 
but it was not gonna come into play there. <laughs> It makes me feel better that it'll come back in Pro Skater 4. He come, <laughs> the next time you see him, he's like, hey, by the way, I'm kind of crushing on you. Is that fine? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's I'm... like, he's like chilling with the harbor men going, God damn it. Now I can only think of big titty goth women. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you fucking killed me. Are you good? <laughs> you know, when I stabbed it, I thought she was the one. <laughs> My fucking god! <laughs> she was the one, <laughs> guys. Oh god, I'm a horror movie project for real now. Guys, we've been going on for six hours, yeah. so yeah. we're gonna we're gonna end up stopping here. I'm sorry we went as late as we did, Lindo, because I know especially you are, are not. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I'm not sleeping today. I got work in an hour. Oh no! <laughs> Lindo and I are just like shaking hands right now, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lindo. Yeah, I'm sorry, That's both of you. You have work and like five hours right we're gonna end things here for now guys thank you guys very much for hanging out with us thank you guys very much for chilling out uh we'll let you guys know if we're gonna have anything on sunday if we don't have anything on sunday we might try to do it again at some other point in in, in the weeks or whatever we it won't be for another six hours like this one uh this one was this one was extremely crazily plot starty heavy so that's why mm -hmm. this one did what it did but uh we'll see how things kind of go from now on. I hope you guys know being Thank you guys very much for all your generosity as well. And until next time, guys, like always, later days. Goodbye. Join us next time on Five Darts Eternity. This is the new title. <laughs> <laughs>